Where's the video? There's two minutes. Oh, because it's not scheduled. Yeah, I think you have to click on the thing to go live, don't you? I thought I did it on the phone. Oh, there, oh, there it goes. Uh, yes. And then it just a delay. Oh. See what I mean? It's a delay. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday, y'all. Woo, woo. We made it. I'm always happy when I make it to Friday night. Yes. How's everybody's week been going? What have you been doing? I wish I could talk back to us. It'd be a lot more fun. I know. It'd just be a way. It's still fun. Well, yeah. yeah that'd be cool. But then everybody. Then I gotta go. read. <laughs> be oh. a lot more fun. You're gonna have to mute that. I did mute it. It <laughs> jumped on me. So Renee was first. Shocker there. And then Stephanie. Hey Stephanie. Hi Wright family. How are y'all? Hey Pam. Thank you. Welcome, Pam asked, welcome, welcome. Are you guys getting a lot of rain? It's been like drizzling all day. Yeah. Not nothing like heavy, just kind of and it's been overcast. Real, real bit muggy too. Yeah. Dark out. Not dark and all, but I mean, dreary. Right. It doesn't bother me. I like it. When I'm inside, it didn't bother me at all. Steph says, "Hey Heath. Oh, Glenda's here. Hi, Glenda. Hi." Steph said, "We were earlier in Waco. It's slacked up now, but not sure for how long." Uh, oh, TC's live's here. Hey. hey, TC. I think the oh. talking back is called Zoom He. I know. That's <laughs> funny, though. Nan's here. Hey, I'm Nan. I'm white boy. <laughs> oh, wow. TC's live got her second vaccine. That's oh, awesome. Oh, nice. Did it hurt? How are you feeling? Yeah. That's the one that everybody, so far all of my friends, like some, it seems like half are saying, oh, nothing happened, or maybe a little soreness, and then... The other half were like, oh, I was just kind of tired the next couple of days. So how did you fare? She says, it's just cloudy where she's at. I'm finishing up my Starbucks coffee. So every once in a while I like to get a treat and I uh, go through, I get the medium roast, uh, no classic, make sure they say that so they don't add a little syrup, just a small shot of heavy cream that's steamed and then uh, one single pump of sugar-free cinnamon dolce and that's it so I know a sugar-free thing isn't the cleanest thing in the world but I have this maybe once or twice a month hey Tara's here Julie's here hey welcome you two Thanks and I'm just having, having just a regular lemonade flavored Ultima <laughs> So we'll get, oh, Nan says she loves my hair. Thank you. I do too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Thanks. I, I feel like I'm kind of like Punky Brewster. Remember? <laughs> Punky you Brewster? don't have enough little bows or whatever in it. Oh, I need more bows. Like Those all different punches. color bows and everything. Yeah. That'd be cute. Uh, oh, Carla's here. Hey. Hello. She said, good evening, hungry horde. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. Steph said, I'd be glad when tomorrow gets here so I get to the gym. Second night, no gym because I won't leave Nessie alone and with Jimmy working. Aww. Right. Is, how is Nessie doing, Steph? Is she starting to do better? Is she uh, feeling better now that she's had a couple days of the medication in her? Um, and we're going to get started here in a minute. We are going to do uh, some kind of um, steak. <laughs> well, the recipe, the uh, protein that 2KK put out was beef stew meat. Well, our local Sprouts, I don't know if everybody's, but ours, had buy one, get one free on their roast. I think it was a chuck roast, right? Chuck and uh, rump roast. Rump roast. So I just took and cut it up into stew meat. Yeah, because it was less than 350 a pound that way. Yeah. And I mean, stew meat, that's all stew meat is, is a roast that they that trimmed. They trimmed to cut up. Well, Okay, I, I don't mind putting a little bit of elbow grease if it saves me money than paying them extra to do the work. And it's still a little too hot here in Texas. For The only thing I can think of with stew meat is stew or chili. Those are like the first two go-tos I can think of. So I'm just going to kind of treat it like steak. I found a marinade. I kind of hijacked and made it my own. I'm going to have to put it in the, the, put it in the marinade for... An hour though, but then we got some other things to entertain y'all with while we're waiting on the marinade to finish up. Yes. 
and then we're gonna put it in the air fryer to cook. Yeah. And at oh, well, I'm having a brain fart. How long did it say to cook it for? <laughs> like I think it's like five minutes. Okay. We'll get to that. Yeah. But um, I uh I saw today that Stephanie used it to make beef stroganoff. So that's, that's always a good, a good idea. idea. Too. Yeah, we could. Yeah. But just I know we've done that a bunch. So well, I want yeah, to try, do, I wanna try to do something off. different. And I already have a video on stroganoff. Yeah. TC's Life said, the first one made me really tired. The day after the second one, I was full of energy. Oh. After the first one, a nurse told me to load up on electrolytes for the second, and it must have worked. Oh, well, that's a good that's awesome. tip. We'll have to remember that. Yeah. Renee said it killed me to leave Jolly when he had his surgery, but they really do sleep all day and rest is best. That's very true. Speaking of, where's Delilah? She's on the couch couch resting. She had a nice uh, meal this evening. Yeah, when I trimmed the fat off the rump roast, I I cut it in smaller pieces and gave it to her. She loved that. Oh, she was happy. Steph said she's been a bit more vocal today, was very active with excitement when Jimmy came home. That's good. Tara said, I make stew meat all the time. Okay. But don't you live, like, up north where it's a little colder more? Like, there's right. some crazy parts still getting snow at the end of April. That just seems weird to me. Right. Oh, Rhonda's here. Hey, Hello. Rhonda. Hello. She said she'll be in and out. She's got the green kids for the weekend. Oh, Aw, that's so sweet. So right. let's get started since we got to Is marinate this for an hour, and then we can chit-chat. All right. Uh, so, so where do we start? I got, well... Let Swing around show. and show them the meat. Yeah, let's show you the meat. So, this is two pounds of a rump roast, and then Heath just went ahead and chunked it up into bite sized pieces. Of course, there's a delay, so I can't see it on the screen yet. I can see. And then we're going to add. Whoop. Now you see that. Right? Now you see my feet. <laughs> then we're going to add some jalapenos and some mushrooms. All right. Oops. And let's get that. Why don't we need to do that? Huh? You ready for starting that? Yeah, go right ahead. So I have two jalapenos that I sliced. They look like they were about to turn. So I went ahead and added it to this to get rid of them. And then I have to that, I'm also going to add four, what are they, bellow? Large button. Yeah, mushrooms. I sliced them. Yes. We always buy them whole at Sprouts. I love that because I can actually go over there and pick them out. Mm-hmm. And everywhere else, they're already pre-packaged for you. With them, they're in a little bin, and they have a, a, a paper tongs. sack sit, yeah. sitting there. You fill it up and have little tongs. And now to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of my beef rub. And the beef rub is mostly, it's on his uh, blog site, but basically it's salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of chipotle, and a little bit of swerve brown sugar. So that works really well. It's a good overall beef seasoning. Yeah. Okay, and then now what? You got the list, you tell me. So now you're gonna add two tablespoons of avocado oil. Uh, the reason why you're using avocado oil is because um, we're going to be air frying this, so oil needs to be for high temperature, so avocado oil can do that. Um, I was like, oh, let's just use baby grease, but my husband was like, but it won't, it'll congeal too quickly. That's what I'm afraid of, yeah. So he opted for the avocado. Okay, and, and then... then- no, Two tablespoons of the keto what's this here sauce. Just shake it up because it does settle. Yeah, I already shook it, shook it, shook it. Oh, Two tablespoons? Shook. Two tablespoons. That's it? That's plenty. I know. I mean, somehow, that's all the liquids we're adding to this? Yeah. Like, look, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot more. Mm-mm. That's it. That's, a, that's all it was. And then you're just going to toss everything together. Well, I'm going to spoon mine. Oh, you're going to spoon it? I got you the tongs. I know, to but I just I don't know. You want me to toss it? Well, all right, fine. <laughs> I just think it'd be better oh. stirred. I guess so. I feel like I can get it more mixed up evenly. And then what we're going to do is put this in the fridge and um, let marinate for about an hour. Oh, yeah. 
when I get up to uh, put it in the fridge, I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'll do a, a drive-by on the camera. A drive-by? Yeah. All right, let me set my clock. If I can find it. And then... Because my I'll Alexa don't work. Your who? My Alexa. Okay, well, you want me to just set it on the... Uh, no, I got it on my phone. Okay. And then what? We got some uh, surprise for them, too. Oh, yeah! So, eyeball that for me. Let me know if you like it. Think that's good enough? I'm just gonna leave the spoon in it when it's in the fridge too. Why not? Okay. I'm gonna wash my hands here. Okay. Got a little bit. You didn't do the drive-by showing them. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> oh. Everybody see that? No, so I'm, my ankle's all jacked. Oh. Mmm. I don't just don't want to spill it. So, that's what it looks like right now. Now I'm going to slip this into the fridge. I'm just going to clean this up because, you know. I'm going to need room. Okay. Yeah. We need room to move. So, how's everybody's Friday going? What did y'all do for your dinners tonight? Or have you had dinner yet? And, so what's the surprise, dear? We got viewer mail. Feels like I'm on a talk show, a late night talk show. <laughs> right? Viewer mail. First on the list was this gadget sent over to us from Stephanie's mother. It's called a stir crazy. Let's see if I can put her together and show you. It's cool. If you saw our video, what was that? I don't the, remember. That's what I'm drawing blank. The ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making the barbecue sauce for the ribs. Yeah, we well, didn't have to use it. But it's really cool. It's this I love little this thing. thing. And you put batteries in it, and then it automatically stirs. Wait, I got, here I am doing an infomercial. <laughs> so you turn it on, and there's like three settings. And then down here, this little thing moves, and it'll slowly move around, or however fast you want. It'll move around the pot and just stir it. So that way... Like, you know, you have a million other things going on. You could leave that in there, stirring it, while you go and do something else. So, Stephanie, tell your mother again. Tell her thank you. Yes. Please. That was awesome. Yes, that was highly really nice. Thank you so much. Highly, highly appreciated. Now, I just... <laughs> now to get it back. Yeah. Let's see. Right Family said, we just have to throw four packs of meat away. Oh, oh no. Oh, Steph said the vet said she would be okay at home alone with the others, but she just doesn't want to leave her. I know, it's hard, right? Yes, Tara said she's the same way. I know, it really is. All right, and now for box number two. Now, who wow. is this one from? This is from Tara. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, are you serious? Yes, this is amazing. She sent us a whole box of keto chow. Yeah, she uh, unfortunately isn't able to eat all of the keto chow, so she thought she would One, spin, two, spread the love three, and give it to you. Four, four bo uh, packs of pistachios so I far. I thought there's more. Five, <sighs> six, better learn to oh. love pistachio. Seven. I like pistachio. Eight, it makes a nine? really good pudding. Nine. Was this your favorite? You thought? <laughs> <laughs> She went to stock up on the pistachios. Was it nine, ten? So a lot of pistachios. Eleven. Jeez. Twelve. That's wow. awesome. Wow. Chocolate toffee, one. chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate, chocolate toffee, chocolate toffee. <laughs> the more toffee. Oh, chocolate mint. You oh, love I that love one. that one. That one's going over there. I'm gonna eat that one soon. Another pistachio. Jeez. Chocolate toffee. Wow. Another toffee. Thank you, Tara. Oh, wow. eggnog. I don't know if we've had that one yet. Yeah, we have. What what flavor have we not had? That's what I'm trying to figure out. A snickerdoodle? Oh, we've had that. Apple pie. I love oh, that. Oh, yeah, that apple we pie. We use the uh, 
the 2K cake custard recipe. Oh my god! I used the apple pie for it. Oh, it's so good. Yes. Oh, Tara says she had snow this week. Wow. Oh, that's awful. S'mores. Wow. Pumpkin Ooh, spice cool. caramel. Ooh. That sounds amazing. Is that Thank what they're using you. for the soup? You Another can, pistachio. You can, or we Another use pistachio. Up all of our pumpkin on other things, and some other people have put out some pumpkin spice recipes. And I was like, oh man, never gonna have to wait till fall, but now we don't. Two more Thank you. pistachios. What else do you got? Chocolate toffee. Oh. Another chocolate mint. Nice. Another pistachio. <laughs> a lemon meringue. Oh, yeah. I love the lemon. Chocolate. Wow. This lemon is incredible. meringue. This is, this is amazing. Yeah, now big bags. What big bags? Oh, mocha. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. Tara. Jeez. Uh. Snickerdoodle, a large bag. Wow. Oh, more smalls. Another pistachio. And another pistachio. Wow. And another big bag? Of uh, mocha. Wow. Wow, Tara. Thank, Thank you. you. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm going to have to, or we are going to have to get some of those uh, containers like Joe and Rachel have. Yes. To store the big bags in. Yes, definitely. When wow. we get a house. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Tara. Yeah, this is you. amazing. I'm going to pack this all back in here. Yes, and thank you. hopefully it fits. Uh, oh, yeah. I was supposed to make my ice cream today tonight, too, while we're working. Oh, okay. Because wow. I have a well, chocolate. Thank you again, Tara, for all of this. It's really sweet of you to think of yes, us. Yes, thank you so much. Well, uh, now that I have your address, I have a uh, spice blend coming your way pretty soon. Ooh, that's I don't know nice. if you saw our uh, our video the other day where we did the uh, five, Texas Five Spice. I, I don't think, Tara, you don't like spice, right? Oh, okay. And are there certain they Let us know. Send me like a message of uh, what you're allergic to because I know you have a couple things you can't have, I believe. Yeah, that's why I started this. <laughs> <laughs> Renee said, I've got day five of my workout to do in a few. Hope I don't die. We'll have you all on while I work. Oh, wow, Renee. Dedication. Shauna said, hi, everyone. I can hate hi. for a bit, but I'm one proud auntie. Aww. My niece Congrats. was accepted to Berkeley. Wow, that's awesome. I know. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Yes, congratulations. I Send her won the letter lotto. Know. Huh? We won the keto lotto. I'm saying we won the keto Thank you, lottery. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, Melly Mel's here. She said, I hey. worked late. Missed so much. You didn't miss you anything. Didn't anything. We put the, oh, we put the food in the marinade. There's one more in front, babe. Yeah, you haven't missed anything. You know us. You can come in 30 minutes or so. I, I and thought we'll we still actually be started working. a little early. <laughs> nah. Uh, Matreya's here. Hey, Matreya. Hey, Thanks for happening? that thread today. Did you find the thread? Yeah, I, didn't really, I liked yours. I reacted to yours. Oh, okay. I didn't um, post none of mine because it looked like mostly all women were posting in there and I want to be an oddball. But you are an oddball. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> but that was really cool. If y'all yeah, haven't, go into 2KK's family group. Matreya did a post with all these gorgeous dresses. Uh -huh. Like, I like love those uh, flapper style dresses. Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't do it because I don't have a dress to put on for it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. I didn't either. You don't have to put on a dress. Well, we'll I think you want to be one. taking a picture without a dress. We'll, we'll find you one tomorrow. We'll go to the thrift store. Fantastic. But uh, it was a really cool post. And, I mean, goodness, Matreya has, like, did you see her mm -hmm. pictures? It's awesome. It's like, Good I job. Can't, can't even recognize you. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. That's yeah. just incredible. I just love it. And I love seeing, like, everybody's reply with their photos yeah, and how awesome. much they've changed. It's just so great to see that. It's just, like, that's what makes me so happy about, like, keto and the keto community, especially in 2KK. We're all so supportive of each other and just seeing so many people, not only the weight loss, but all of the health changes. Yes, that's awesome. Like, that's just incredible to me that you just don't see that in other places like in uh, you know when i've been in other diet groups you might have one off but it's like in here constantly people are either showing their weight loss cha uh, changes 
or they're sharing all about their health benefits. And I, that to me is what's just amazing about keto in the community. Yes. It's just all the benefits to your health. That's just the best to me. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It really is. <laughs> I'm wearing you out. Uh, Renee said, Steph, I don't know if you'd like what the workouts are each day. Oh, I, oh. Steph said, I'm enjoying the gym a ton and more than I thought I would. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Matreya said, I picked up shrimp and crab for tomorrow's shrimp dish. Ooh, yes, what do you mean? What's your plan? Shrimp crab and crab. Crab sounds good. We got to do that. Because we were going to do shrimp and chicken, but now crab sounds better. <laughs> Doesn't it? Well, I mean, crab is always good. Yeah. Mel yeah. said, I'm having fuzzy shredded chicken salad, no tortilla. Fuzzy? Oh. Don't they clean the fur off of them first? Uh, started work early, ended late, not fried. So fans getting fuzzies. I don't blame you, especially oh, after a week. Okay. Yeah, it's a taco shop. Okay. Just... Yes. Uh, Renee said, I've really cut back on the cardio and way more other stuff and have actually lost a bit this work. I, Renee, I, I hope everybody got to see Renee's video yesterday with Bronson. Because he hasn't Girl, posted it, has he? Not yet. Okay. I didn't notice, but I've been busy all day. But, geez, I would be probably losing a lot, too, because mm -hmm. just lifting, I couldn't even lift that tire probably once. He's trying to kill you. <laughs> you doing it over and over. I was like, oh, my gosh. That's just, like, she's superwoman. Yes. Honestly, to be able to lift that up and I, flip it over I and over. I this up. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, oh, my gosh. That's incredible. But that was such a fun video, and that's so cool that you and Bronson shared that because I think for everybody who's doing the workouts with 2KK, that, you know, that kind of gives not only motivation, but then it kind of lets you kind of check with yourself like, oh, okay, that's how I'm doing it too. You know, that then, you know, I'm doing it right. Cause yeah, yeah. That's how I am. It's, it's like, like reinforcement. Well, reinforcement. Yeah, exactly, because I always need that. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Matre said, weirdly, I had a large gain after the vaccine. Uh, vaccine. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, she said, but it'll fall off, right? That's what I've heard, too, that it, it does, um, like, it's inflammation, and yeah. then it drops off. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Family's having ribeye tonight. Oh, Matreya's having good. keto chow like normal. What flavor, Matreya? We need to know. Tara said, I had bacon and hard-boiled eggs. Ooh. That's can't go good. Wrong there. Mel said, I'll need it back up the video because I can't hear your audio since that fuzzy's waiting. Looks delicious. Aw. Aw. Hey, I had eight ounce sirloin for lunch. Does that kind of stew me? Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. TC's life said, I made keto chow this morning for supper and I'm too tired to even eat tonight. Aw, oh, wow. sorry. Yeah, yeah and that's we had it. burgers for lunch. Yes, we've been having burgers on lunch. We light all week for lunch um, because I have just 30 minutes for my lunch. That's it. So it's really handy to just have everything meal prepped on Sunday. So all you have to do is heat it up during the week and then it's ready to go. And then I'm able to eat and then get back to work. But uh, we like to get the pre-made ones at, at HEB. It's just the meat. There's no seasonings added. Yeah. And that uh, same beef rub is what I used on the burgers this week. Yeah, it was really good. And I actually ended up cooking them on Monday just so that they were fresh that day for her lunches. And then we just, I got one of those big uh, foil pans. I threw all the leftovers in that, threw it in the fridge, and I just pull them out every day and just reheat them in a skillet. Nice. Um, Shauna said, I'll be treating my niece to dinner. We'll do takeout, but having a lime keto chow. Ooh, I like that key lime. Yeah, it is good. Tara said, what a cool gadget on the yeah, Stir her. Crazy. It's awesome. Matreya said, I would like to find someone like Marissa to train with, but more keto knowledgeable. Oh, okay. who's Marissa? I haven't heard of her. her. Hmm. Steph said, I love mine for cheese sauce, so it doesn't get that film on top while cooking. Oh, that's, that's a good smart. idea for the queso and yeah. stuff. That is. Oh, right family said the meat was gray. It wasn't in the fridge long. Oh, oh. that Did you sucks. get it on a discount? We ran into that a couple of times. Yeah, we the we discount did. stuff. Mm -hmm. We didn't bring it home and freeze it in time, and it, it turned on us. Yeah, Tara said the reason is because dairy. Oh. 
she realized she can't have any dairy and since yeah. they use the whey protein. But um, is she, is she uh, opposed to spices? Yeah. Let's see. Matreya said, wow, that is super generous. I'm saying, uh, Renee doesn't like the chocolate mint. That's fine. If she gets some, she can send it over to me. <laughs> Matreya loves eggnog. It is okay. good. Wild Turkey Bluff, thank you for joining us. All right. I, I need so, some of that, too. All right. Wow, how awesome. Some people are earthly angels. I'm yes. saying. Yes, thank you again, all of y'all. Yes. Oh, Renee does like eggnog and mocha with coffee. Yes, that's the way to do the mocha. Okay, well, I'll have it without the coffee. <laughs> Steph said, I need to come see Heath so I can do a bunch of keto chow cooking. Well, come on. <laughs> right? You got to have... For pistachio, especially. The hotel room right across from is open this time. Yes. We saw they just cleaned it today. <laughs> All right, Tara said, enjoy. So glad it has a good home now. Thank Aww, you. Thank you. Matreya said, Marissa Axel. She does women's cycling specific training and advocacy. Oh, oh okay. okay. Awesome. Wow. Uh, Tara said, my immune system is an overachiever. Right? Believe me, I, I know from, like, suffering from Crohn's, that's what they basically said is, like, too much. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry sorry. Van West is here. Hey, Welcome Jerry. back, Jerry and Patty. They hey. said blessings and salutations. Welcome both of you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Shelly just called you an old lady. Who did I call an old lady? Me? You? I that's what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe. Uh, oh, see, Matre said she wished more men would post. Post what? To replies and everything oh, else. Oh, well. I'm Steph said she'll that. send you a dress. Uh, and Renee said, I love the black dress with all the colors. So cool, right? That and Jerry said, no dress challenge. Bah ha ha. Right? Thank you, sir. Matre said, those flapper dresses are like 30 bucks on Amazon. Wow. Well, when I get down some more, I wouldn't mm. mind if we go somewhere fancy. Okay. Shauna like, said, he, like Fogo. he be the trendsetter, Mel, and post your photos. Because right. I saw a couple. I was like, oh my gosh, look at Heath. We could do this yeah. before and after, and even one of your, like, face, a facial one before and after. Well, some of those ones from that cruise with Amanda and Thomas, those were oh my gosh. Those huge back then. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. Uh, Okay, uh, Julie said, wow, I can't believe all the keto chow. I know, right? Oh, right? Surprised me. I thought it was be like three or four of them. I know. This I was amazing. not expecting this Thank much. Uh, let's see. It's okay. Like, it's like a, we got a bonus chow club this month. I know, right? Like three months of chow clubs with all those big bags. Right? Uh, Jerry said, I always feel I overshare, and Patty is more of an introvert and is shy about posting things. Oh. Mm -hmm. You never overshare. I like reading every. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, in the 2KK, I don't think it's possible to overshare. Right? Not because that I rude. think it's good to share what's going on because I promise you there's somebody else going through it or somebody that can benefit from it. Right. And seeing all of the new uh, members that they get every single day, yeah. And then it's good, you know, to have more people interact and share yeah. what's going on in their story. And I always love looking at pictures, especially yeah. before and after. And, you know, the transition pictures the are so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Steph said, I'm going to make a salmon pizza crust what? and shrimp and chicken for the topping. What? That sounds amazing. That's uh, different. Do you deliver? Deliver? Deliver. Deliver? Oh, deliver. <laughs> I thought you were saying, and are you going to eat liver? No. Why? No, I, I wouldn't. Know. Would, no, she, I like her. I'm not going to push that on her. <laughs> That's not nasty. Oh, I know. Oh, Lisa's here. She goes, sorry hey. I'm late. Was having trouble getting on YouTube. Uh, oh, I'm Are sorry. they doing that new thing? What new Ever, thing? Well, you went through this yesterday. When you try to log in to a device, and if it's been too long, when you accidentally log out, all of a sudden it's like, oh, we got to make sure you're who you are. We're sending yeah. you a code here. Remember? Yeah, you that was on Facebook, that. though. Not with YouTube for me. No, it's like on your phone. YouTube was doing that, too, and you had to enter all oh, this that's code. that's right. Yeah. Oh, so annoying. I guess it's for your safety, though. Jerry said we had a... Oops. It just bounced. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, oops, I, I saw that. 
Oh, yeah, here it goes. We had a bountiful ribeye for lunch. Mmm, nice. So I'm still so stuffed. So it's keto chow for dinner. I plan on making the orange key lime combo. Oh, that sounds good. I heard oh. somebody else did a chocolate and orange together. Yeah, that's It was like pre-keto. I used to love those chocolate oranges. Y'all remember yeah. those? It was a little uh, globe looking thing. That was good. And you break them apart and they're little, uh, like little slices of orange. Oh, God. They're so good. So I'm imagining that's what it's going to be like if I mix the orange and the chocolate together. But an orange key lime sounds so that sounds uh, good Caribbean. Too. Right? right? Yeah. Oh, you know, and Put a little Jerry, roll in it. <laughs> Jerry, and then make it with the coconut milk. Uh -huh. Oh, that would be real tropical tasting, yeah, right? that's a good idea. Renee said, I still haven't seen the video, so no idea how goofy I was. I you weren't goofy never at all. Never goofy at all. The only part that ever bothered me about watching it was when y'all walked, walked off camera. Yeah, so we just like, stared at the at the at the background, <laughs> but you didn't you didn't you only had a fixed camera, so it, it's not no big deal. Right, it's not no big deal. Mm-hmm. It, so it is a big deal. You know what I mean. <laughs> Y'all make me nervous. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Uh, Lisa said she's gonna make shrimp burgers. Ah, ah I've seen those that's before. a good idea. Renee said, Bronson said the tower was 150 pounds, but I swear that thing was way more. Maybe just awkward. Um, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I think that was 1,000 pounds. I'm going with what you said first. I think he's just trying to be like, oh, it's only 150. You could do it. Uh, Julie said, where is this video? It was on 2KK, but because there was music that was copyrighted, it got pulled. So uh, in the family group, and so Bronson's trying to find a workaround to then repost it. So uh, oh, Matre said cookies and cream add a half teaspoon of espresso powder to it. Oh, that would be good. That's gonna be you. Carla said I had sirloin burgers for lunch. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. TC's Life said I spent six hours cooking with clients today. I'm all oh. fooded out. Oh, what do you do? Are yeah. you a chef? That's awesome. Yeah, what did you cook? Oh, Tara said she's allergic to nightshades. That's what I remember. So no tomatoes or peppers. Okay. So is well, that also... It's all my spice blends, though, so how am I going to send her? Does that also include black pepper? Because I think you have one that's not uh, with any jalapeno or chilies, right? Hmm. The pork and poultry. What does that have? Uh, I always have it written down. I don't have oh, okay. We'll have to look. Uh, Matreya said it was a fundraiser weekend. The magazine is a lesbian publication. Oh, for the magazine, her pictures. Well, that's really that's cool. cool. Awesome. Wright family said no, it wasn't discounted. That's the bad thing about it. All beef, of course. Wow. Well, can Did you, you get take a refund? It? Yeah. Could you take it if back? You just bought it. I'd be throwing a fit. Yeah, because I know like H E B has like a guarantee on theirs. Yeah. So if it, you know, if you. Have I just bought this on Saturday, and it's already gray. Wow. Uh, Lisa said, I haven't tried the egg lime, key lime, or peaches and cream. Oh. Those are good, though. Yeah. The key lime, I really like. The peaches and cream was good, too. Yeah, but, but the I peaches and cream made a really good ice cream. Yeah, Matreya said, "There's she don't believe those blinkity blink tires are 150 pounds. No. Mm. 150, no. No. Shanta's here. Hey, hey, Shanta. We've already, Welcome. if you're just now joining us, we've already started the first part. We're marinating our beef. Basically, we took rump roast, chopped it into bite-sized pieces, added some sliced jalapenos, sliced mushrooms, and then it, we made a little marinade of avocado oil, uh, what's the sear sauce, and heats beef rub. And it's in the fridge marinating for about an hour, and then we're going to air fry it. What's the ETA on that? We got 30 minutes. All right. Um, about 15 till I'm going to uh, preheat the air fryer. Okay. Renee said, starting workout, so I'll be listening and not messaging much. Aww. Aww. I guess. She's a new friend. Jerry said, speaking of flapper dresses, Patty <laughs> loves watching a period piece called Miss... Fisher's Mysteries. Huh. I heard of it. Which is set in 1920s, 30s, Australia. It's a woman detective. Love it. 
Hashtag girl power. Oh. I'm is it not, on Netflix? I'm still not convinced that Australia actually exists. We've never been, so it's still fictional to me. We got close. Yeah. Uh, Rhonda said, okay, I silenced it. Are tall. Uh, what? Are y'all talking about the keto chow box? No. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. He was saying this was like getting the chow club box, but we, um, this is from Tara. We haven't gotten the chow box. Ours hasn't even been shipped yet. Yeah. So I'm like super nervous, Sorry. excited, because I can't wait to see what's in it. Right Family said, Brantley has added both. Of you to the Kisses Club. Aww. Aww. There you go, Brantley. Aww. Too sweet. Julie asked, do you both drink Keto Chow? Yes. I like it. I don't know. I don't really like it as a uh, a meal re replacement. I use it more as a dessert or just a sweet treat every once in a while. But I really like cooking with it, too. My favorite yeah. thing to make with the uh, sweet ones is uh, ice cream. And then we use the savory stuff all the time. Like the uh, the tomato basil. Yeah. I love using that for my barbecue sauce and for making uh, skillet pizzas. Yes. Because I hit... Because uh, with the skillet pizza, it's really hard to add sauce to them. Because they just get yucky. It doesn't hold up well because it's mainly all cheese. But when we do it with the keto chow tomato basil... It that that it feel I mean it tastes like there's sauce on it. Yeah, it's really. It's like good. my new favorite way to make pizzas now. Oh my gosh, it's it's really good. And um, I don't really I I I would say no. I never drink it as a meal replacement. So if I I'm type a person that I'm meat based, so it's gonna be whole meat first. Now, what I do is, like, every once in a while, if I'm short, you know, because I have to meet macros for my coaching. So, if I'm short, like, eight or nine protein grams, then I'll add a, um, like, maybe a tablespoon to a cup of coffee. Or, you know, if, if I don't have, like, um, a meat stick or something. Because sometimes, like, my fat is there, but my protein's not. So, if it's just, like eight or nine grams, I'll just add a tablespoon or like if we do ice cream or yeah. if we make, that's my idea of treats Yeah. because I feel like a lot of supposed keto treats that are pre-packaged and pre-made, uh, one, a lot of them are made with almond flour, which, you know, he can't have almonds, so yeah. I'm not going to bring that in. And two, it's, like, they have so many carbs in them, you know, because I'm just strictly total carbs. So, when I see all of those carbs, I'm like, nope, for nope. that, for a little cupcake? But I could go and make a keto child one, and it might have, you know, maybe 8 to 10 total carbs, including the keto chow, and then it's right there. Uh -huh. That's another thing we like using it for also, is making the keto child drop biscuits. Yes. But then we also start. I don't know if y'all saw some of our videos. We've been making larger ones and using them as like hamburger buns. Right. And it works out perfect. Yeah. So it's just like an addition or yeah. a treat for yeah. us. But I do love all of them. Or the I like using them also like that time when we did the seven day reset with them. And we used the, uh, was it the taco seasoning? And you made a sauce for the shrimp. Oh, yeah. That was, like was really good. Using it for good. stuff like that was yeah. really good. Yeah. Because then we put that over tri-tip. We, uh, oh, we had a, yeah, the shrimp in the sauce and poured it over the tri-tip. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, I that was really it. good. I want to get big bags of the uh, the taco seasoning from them. Yeah. The, not seasoning, but the taco blend. The taco soup. Yeah, that, that's amazing. I have so many uh, different uh, ideas, recipe ideas to do with that. So I'm, yeah. just, I'm like watching to see when the big bags are going to go back on sale. Yes. Tara said... 2KK is all about Sherry, the most supportive corner of Facebook. Yes. I agree 100%. For sure. You know, I've had quite a few, like probably all of you, other Facebook groups yeah. for keto and definitely love the 2KK one. There's Keto Chow and Watch Autumn Keto are like my three favorites. Yeah, I but I still feel like 2KK's group overall yes. is the most supportive, you know, to like oh, really yeah. help and, yeah. and encourage everybody and... So I really love that. Joe and Rachel's done a great job. Yes. Um, Matreya said she loves liver. Well, oh. I'll send it all to you. Yeah. 
Steph said, thank you, Heath, for not pushing liver on me. Right. <laughs> Jerry said, exercise, eggs are sides. Yes. I love that shirt. <laughs> uh, oops. Oops. Where'd it go? Okay. Jerry said, chocolate orange keto chow is like an Italian chocolate delight. Oh, Remember okay. back in the 70s, they had that General Foods... Oh, yeah, the International Coffees and Orange Cappuccino. Oh, um, yeah, I remember that. I grew up eating on that. That was really good. So that's what it tastes like? Hmm. Okay. Matreya said, Renee can post videos of workouts. I can't. Even with the 25-pound kettlebell bells, I swear through it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd be doing, too, Matreya. There'd be all kinds of... Fancy words coming out of my mouth. You're making words up too, probably. <laughs> right? Oh, Tara can do black pepper. There we go. All right. But can you do garlic? Yeah, can you have garlic? And can you have like jalapeno and... No, not jalapenos. That's a nightshade. Oh, okay. Peppers, tomatoes, eggplants are nightshades. No, but I'm trying to figure out like our spice blends. What's not going to be messing with her? You'll have to look it up later. Yeah. Shauna said, tried to watch and listen to this while my other niece and my brother put up balloons and streamers oh. to make for the surprise for her niece. Awesome. I apparently have no concentration. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I'm sure everybody's super excited right now. Right. Jerry said, peaches and cream mixed with orange is also delicious. Oh, that's a new one. Ah. Like that. Shauna that. said, but apple pie, yum. If you're just joining, they are fasting today, evident by the empty table. Really? <laughs> he fasting? That is hilarious. I did last night. Well, I slept. Yeah, that was it. Ter uh, TC's Life said, I work for Goodwill in supported community living. Oh, okay, wow. Cool. I help clients live independently in their homes. I help clients make deviled eggs, pizzas, chaffles, hamburgers, quesadillas, and more. Wow. That's so awesome. do you... Do you get to make, like, nutrition recommendation? Like, can you talk to them about keto? Or do you just help them with whatever they want to cook? But that's really cool. That sounds like a, a very rewarding job. It does. Jerry said it was on Netflix, the oh. woman detective one. But okay. she loved watching it over and over, so I bought the series and loaded on my Plex server. Nice. That's cool. And he said, I picked up four pounds of flank steak and three pounds of chicken drums, and both were on sale at Kroger. Oh. Well, see, we're going shopping tomorrow, so we're going to hit that up. We got all those yeah. coupons anyways for Kroger. Yeah. We got their expires, so we need to hit them up. Yeah. So, what for the next week, if you've been playing the 2KK Chop Challenge, what are you looking forward to, and what do you have ideas on? We, of course, have been talking all week, and we've come up with several recipes of what we're going to do for this final week of the no. Chop Channel Challenge. I think the one I'm most looking forward to is the roast beef. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Carla said, I love how excited Heath gets about food and thinking up new recipes or new ways to cook yeah. things. Well, that's what I've yes. told people before, that the Hungry Heath is not just a clever name. That's what I am. That's why I can't <laughs> fast. I love to eat. Yes. And like yesterday, you saw the video for the bologna. <sighs> he had some actually left over. Yeah. And I was like, what? I finished my plate. Yeah. That's but, what I had for breakfast today. Yeah. So he had it for breakfast. It Where, was amazing. See, like me, when I eat, I can eat. I can finish all. If, if you put a plate in front of me, I'm going to finish it. Yeah. I, I used to be that way. Uh, yeah, no. But so I used to eat four meals a day. Well, yeah, or more. But there was times when you were like, oh, I'm done, and you would push it away, where I was like, well, give it to me. I'll finish it. Sometimes she'll get me. mad at me when we go to Fogo to Chow, and she'll eat more than me. She's like, come on, pull your weight. I we know. we got to hit him. I know. We're going to make him pay. He's like, when he goes to Fogo, he's like, oh, let's do Fogo. And I said, well, you better starve that day, because we don't get the bunnies back worth on you. <laughs> but I'll definitely get them. I can, I'm like, no, keep going. Yeah. And what irritates me about Fogo is when they come to our channel, and Steph can our testify channel? our table. That maybe they'd come to our channel. <laughs> That'd be cool. But when they come to our table, I'll say, oh, yeah, I want some of that. And they'll give me this little tiny piece. Right. And then they'll kick him a slice that's like four ounces and I'm like well I'll get when I get the extra I'll give it go ahead and take it and put it on her plate I, I, but I'm like really I you think I need a small piece but he needs the big one no sir 
Give me the big piece. He's the one taking the tiny little slices. Um, I like how the variety. Bring up a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, I know. Jerry said, yeah, my channels I'm addicted to watching are Watch on Keto. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Team KK. Mm hmm Keto Chow and us. Aww. Oh, thank you. Hey, I Jerry, are you going to Keto Palooza or anybody else? Or anybody else yeah, who else going? I'm excited for that, too. Me, too. I don't think I could add another one. Right? <laughs> but these channels groups keep me accountable. Yes. Like. That, that's pretty much us. Well, we also watch Dr. Barry on Mondays, on and, Mondays Tuesdays. and Tuesdays. And then what is it? Keto Chow on Tuesdays. Yeah. Autumn on Wednesday. Yeah. 2KK on Thursday. And yes. Then and then us. And then all the other ones they put out, that's where we spend the, the other time or doing weekends look, look, yes. watching them. Uh, Kathy's here. Welcome, Kathy. Hey, she goes, hello. Hey, Thank Parkers you. and Chatty Chow Hounds. <laughs> Happy Feast Friday. Right. I like that. Thank That's you. good. That's like Welcome. a little jingle. Uh-huh. Welcome to the Parkers. Uh -huh. Have some Chatty Cow Hounds. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Happy Feast Friday. I right. like it. Shauna said, oh, uh, what about a chocolate raspberry keto chow? That sounds amazing. That's good. Oh, who all drinks Bones coffee? Not me. Did you see? Oh, we know. Team coffee. Uh, did you see that they released a chocolate strawberry cheesecake? Like, I'm really tempted to order that in the new dark roast uh, dark chocolate. Has anybody got those before? What do you think? We should have made some more nerves. Oh, see, Tara says, I use tons of garlic, and okay. I used to add spice to my food. Okay. Wow. That's good. So, that's good to know. Uh, Matreya said, nice. I love chicken drumsticks. Yeah, those are good. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I'm excited for tomorrow, but I'm not going to say what I'm making in case it fails. No, oh. it's not going to fail, Matreya. All right. You always put out excellent things, so I know it's going to do well. Oh, I liked cool. your um, pork... Or the bologna cups. That was yeah, a cute idea. Smart. Yeah. And getting it, you know, thin sliced to use. That was really good. Uh, Jerry said, all you can eat. It's an American challenge. Pretty much. Right. But I never liked to go into buffets. Like, I didn't want to fill up on buffets. Uh, no, you know, that's why I like Fogo better than, like, a regular one. Because they yeah. bring it to you. Yes. And it's just the whole idea of, like... The, where you go up and, and fill it yourself is the sneeze guard just turns me off. Yeah, like at Fogo, um, if you've been to Fogo, let us know. But when you go there, I don't really like the salad bar. I don't like to go around there. It just still that bothers me. Darcy's thing. here. Hey, Darcy, welcome. Yeah, when we go to the salad bar, all we ever pick up is some of the meat. They have the, the prosciutto and yeah, that, the ham and stuff there, and yeah. the cheese. And the cheese, and yeah. That's it. Uh, she asked, what's for dinner? So, we're making air fryer beef stew tips with yeah. mushrooms and jalapenos. So, it's marinated right now. So, we started off with uh, throwing everything together. Our this seasoning. two-pound rump roast yeah. that I sliced into stew meat. And then, we added some beef rub, some avocado oil, some what's this here sauce. It's all marinated in the fridge. We've got about 22 minutes left, and then we're going to throw it in the air fryer for a few minutes, and then it'll be ready to eat, and I think we're going to serve it with a little bit of goat cheese. Right? Yes, that sounds good. Yeah. Because we have a really good um, uh, farmer's market that's only open on Saturdays. It's about 30 minutes from us. So good, y'all. It's in the little town of Tomball, but there's a, one of the booths there is, their, their name is Dapper Goat Farm. And so good. they make some of the best goat cheese I've ever had. And they have such neat flavors for it. We always get the tomato basil. Yes. And then there's Jal one that's jalapeno. garlic herb. Yeah. And then the jalapeno. It's just jalapeno and goat cheese. And then the other one is cilantro, lime, and... I don't remember what else. I think that's all it is. Cilantro, lime. No, it's cilantro, lime, and I think something else. Maybe garlic. Do we have it? Yeah, it's in there somewhere. And, I mean, these are so good. And it's the nice creamy goat yes. cheese, which is my favorite. And it just is so good to add as a topping to anything. Um, classic chevrolet. Yeah, the classic, which is just their plain. With lime, cilantro, and garlic. Mm, see, I was right. 
And then this one is the sun-dried tomatoes and Italian herbs. Ah, uh, yeah, that was so good, especially with the Italian What I like food. about them is it comes in a little container, like, where am I at? Like, that size is like the size of, um, like, pimento cheese comes. And then we save these and use them later on for stuff. Yeah, it's like we save everything. Uh, of course, Betray is going to be at Keto Palooza. Awesome. And I saw several people this week saying that there's a Brazilian steakhouse. Yeah, they were talking about that the other yes. day in autos. Yes. So we're she was definitely... talking about she was going to call them and try and do a takeover. Oh, good. Yes, we need a takeover. That'd be so much fun. I wonder if we could do like musical chairs. Right. You know, like every few minutes get up and switch tables. Yeah, because we're going to be there Friday morning or Friday driving up. So we're leaving. Yeah, so we're going to leave Thursday morning and we're driving to Memphis. Um, and then, so we're going to go through Texarkana and then we're going to stay in Memphis for a Thursday night. And then that morning, we're going to get up and drive to Louisville. And we'll get there probably around 1 or 2 in the afternoon. I mean, no point getting there too early because, oh, you left the freezer door open. Oh, I hate that. Because uh, the hotel room, you can't check in until like 3 o'clock. So, um, and then we're going to start driving home Sunday. Stay, um, I think, in Little Rock on the way back. And then head home on Monday morning. So, I'm super excited. I'm, I like, we love road trips. Yeah. Like, that's just our jam is to... If we could do a road trip to Japan, we would be there. <laughs> oh, what did you see today? The flights. Um, okay, I got to get caught up. <laughs> TZ's Life says, it's what they want to cook and their specific diets. Okay, today everyone just wanted to cook. We do whatever they need help with. Housework, budgeting, shopping, medical appointments, etc. Oh, wow. Wow, that is so not... I mean, everybody needs help with that. Mm -hmm. I, you know, they really need to do... Like, that should be a basic class in high school to teach everybody how to budget how to shop, housework, medical appointments, all of that stuff. Because, like, people get out and I was never taught that in high school. Right. Like, I had to figure it all out on my own. And I think that's an important life skill, especially budgeting. Because if you don't, you just, like you, you, you got a credit card. You were like, oh, I thought it was to charge. I didn't know I had to pay it. <laughs> I'm getting more offers every day for more, more cards. Well, because your wife helped you. Mm -hmm. TC's life's going to be at Keto Palooza. Nice. Woo! Jerry said, unfortunately, we can't make it. Aw, would oh, have fine. loved to go, but we can't make it this year. Maybe next. Well, definitely next. Uh, Matreya said, well, I eat the same stuff a lot. Like, how many egg puddings do people want to see? Right. I always open to seeing i love pictures of everybody's food even if it's the same thing all the time right family said chris wants to try some of the bones coffee yes you should definitely order wait till they have they always have discounts and here's a little tip if you get an email and like a week later you're like oh i didn't take the sale those sell codes still work so i just uh, <laughs> save the email with the code and I just use it at a later date, and they've always worked for me, even oh, wow. if they supposedly expire. Rhonda said, and to those loving it on keto in CJ's Kitchen. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't seen CJ's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll have to look that one up. But, yes, Wendy, that's a cute channel, too. Mm -hmm. Shauna said, I may have to try some of that, um, the Bones Coffee. Yes, you would like it, Shauna. Jerry said, I want to try Bones Coffee. Do they have Keurig Siegel Cups? Uh, yes, they do on certain flavors. You get the Keurig Cup. So I've gotten that like on my Salty Siren. I highly recommend that one. It's still my favorite. But do you have that little refillable one? Yeah, and what I do, Jerry, um, I went to Kroger, and they have the little Keurig refillable one, and I just use that, and I fill it with my ground coffee. And it works fine in my, my cure rig. And I've never had any issues with it. And I just, so that it's cheaper usually if you get a bag of coffee. And then this way I can use whatever flavor I want. And I just use that reusable cure cup. And it, you can find it. Like at our Kroger's, it was just reusable K-cup. Uh, Wild Turkey said, who is Autumn? 
uh, what's her last name? Weathers, I think. Her channel is called Watch, uh, it's all one word, Watch Autumn Keto. And she used to do it every single day. It was at 8.30 Central Time, and now she's like every other day. Yeah. And then she does a Wednesday night one at 8.30 yeah. Central uh, at No, PM. Eastern, right? Is no, it Central? Well, no, I'm sorry. It's 7.30? I think it is. I'm sorry. Go to her channel. So yeah. she's all keto. Mm hmm and so she'll do, you know, what I eat in a day video. She does, like, her workouts. Uh, she does uh, keto unboxings. Yeah. Where they, I like hers the way she does it. Is they'll do, like, the keto crate. And she'll usually have her mom, who is, like, fabulous. Like, yeah. we all want She's awesome. her to be our mom. And, and so, her husband's there. And then yes. her sister. And, and her husband, cousin. Richard. Yes. And they'll all they'll open the keto or keto box, whatever one it is, and they each sample it, and then she has a ranking system, which is really cool. So she'll have like it's three, two, one, and I think tier three means I, you know, you give it to me, I'm still not gonna eat it. Right. Tier two is well, if it's given to me, I'll eat it, and tier one is like I'll go buy it. Right. Correct me if I'm wrong. I so I that's really, she says it. I really like that. That's just that like a cool, I think, view on it because. You know, sometimes with those, you just have people giving their, like, oh, okay, it's good, or it's not good, or it's okay. But really, where is it? Would, is this something that you would pay for, or is it just something, hey, I'll take it because it's free? Because right. Because that does make a difference. Yeah. Because, like, at my old job, when my first huge corporate job, they used to feed us, and it was a free meal. So it was really good when it was free. Yeah. And then when they decided to go public and all this mess, but anyways, then they started charging. Guess what? That food was not that good when it would cost money. Like when it was free, I was like, okay, I can eat this. Mm -hmm. But once they started charging like $6 for a basic BLT, I was like, no, it's not that good. I'll just bring my own. All right. So it definitely makes a difference. Um, let's see. Oh, Tara says she uses garlic. Ginger, horseradish, and turmeric. Oh, yes. that way I don't miss nightshades. That's right, especially horseradish. Yeah. That definitely gives you some kick. That's um, smart. Yeah, that's a perfect blend. Shauna said, I had the Bones Tropical something or other. Oh, was it the tropical pie, the like uh, the lime pie or something? Uh, Lisa said, Oops, stepped away for a minute. What did I miss? You missed it all, Lisa. You missed the big surprise. I guess you'll have to rewatch. <laughs> You're <laughs> no. so mean. You didn't miss anything. Jerry said, looks like Bones has the single cup, so I'll have to try it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Tara said, I love farmer's markets. Ours yes. will be starting to open up back next month. Oh, wow. I, I There's a new one that opened because right now oh, our hotel right. is up here in the area called the Woodlands. And they just opened one, and they're doing it, I think, once a week right now, since it's new. But I wasn't that impressed with it, but it's new. So, you know, when things first start out, you right. got to give it some time. So, we'll go back again probably each month and just see. But the one we like, really like is out in Tomball. But, you know, we could try the other one that's over here in the Woodlands, um, the Tamina one. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's supposed to be a good one, too. Yeah, yeah, we'll try. I like to go. I just love looking at, you know, what all people bring that are, you know, creative and make stuff. And then I like just seeing all the different farmers and what they have. Yeah. You never know. One Tom, the one in Tomball, though, we always like buying the jalapenos from that one oh, guy. Oh, I know. Huge. And They're then the so duck good. eggs from that other farm. Oh, yeah. Darcy said, I've never had goat cheese. Have you ever put it on pizza? No, I'm not having it, but that's a good idea. I want to try. Yeah, it's good. It's good on everything. We put it on jalapenos. We put it, we stuff it in mushrooms all the time, yes, too. Yes, that's one of my favorite things to do. Lisa said, wow, those different goat cheeses sound amazing. Yeah. I know. They're even better. Matray said, I usually go to Fogo in Indy while I'm at Gen Con. I go mm -hmm. twice, once as part of a big meetup, and once with special gamer friends. Wow. Weirdly, this year, Keto Palooza and Gen Con conflict. Oh, uh -huh. that's no fun. So, which one's winning? Well, Keto Palooza. Okay, good. They remember she'll be yeah, there. Yeah, that's good. Shana said, okay, we'll see how strong and resistant I am. Family is getting raviolis, mafatis at 
niece's request. Thank God for my keto chow. You can do it, Shauna. Yeah. Believe me, it's not going to be that good. You know your keto chow tastes way better, right. and it's way healthier, and you'll feel so much better tomorrow than eating raviolis. Because it... You know, a lot of times, raviolis always tasted kind of like uh, pasty to me. Right. Uh, Matre said, Gen Con is too big for me to consider this year. Right now, they are getting rather... You got this. Thanks. And Tara said, I love a good road trip, too. Yes. And you always go on so many neat trips and right. all her hiking. Like, when we get more active, I, I definitely want to go hike. I don't know if I'm going to go camping, no. but I wouldn't mind going hiking and yeah. just enjoying it for a few hours and then heading back and go to a nice hotel. Right. We've <laughs> talked about redoing part of the road trips we've already done. Because like we went mm -hmm. through, um, oh, where was it? The Grand Canyon. And then part of, where was it? The, when, when Wyoming, what, wasn't it? Where we yeah, did where, the uh, devil. Oh, uh, where, where Evil Can Evil jumped Snake yeah, River. Yeah, that was. We the were gonna trend. walk over and look at the stuff, but back then it was too far for us to walk, and we're like, eh, whatever. Yeah. But now I kind of want to go back and see. In the Devil's Tower, we went to yeah. there, but we remember people were climbing yeah. the tower, and we didn't get to do that right. at all. I would have at least walked up part of it, yeah. you know, what you could. Because I was amazed that on our last trip to New York. We were able to walk pretty much all of Central Park with no issues. I know. So, like, and not feeling away. it the next day either. Yeah. Like, it I was didn't, amazing. I wasn't dreading it or, or hurting or nothing afterwards. Yeah. And before, we wouldn't have even gotten, like, used public transportation because we would have been like, oh, no, we're just going to Uber. That's too yeah. much to go up and down stairs and yeah. go through all of that. Nah, we'll just Uber. And then now, it's like, okay, we, we can do this. We're not, you know... So overweight and everything that we feel like I always felt like in public spaces, like oh I'm taking up so much room, people are gonna say something, someone's gonna snicker, or you know I don't want to be. I used to avoid restaurants that only had booths. Why well, would just refuse to go even there? Now I don't care anymore. I know. I don't care and anymore. I, we honestly, as we were kind of big foodies per se because yeah. we've always loved like, food like eight and or cooking. nine different food groups on Facebook. But when we would hear about a new restaurant our first our first thing was not about the food or anything. The first thing is what's what's the seating like? Yeah. How is the seating? Yeah. It, you know, are we gonna be comfortable? Because no, if it's booth, if it's plastic chairs, nope, can't Because I we even had one steakhouse order special chairs just for me. And I, I we only went, like, twice after we did <laughs> no. that. It was so bad. Uh, oh, Wright family said they don't even teach how to write a check in high school. Right. Well, I mean, on one thing, you don't yes. really write checks anymore. Not very rarely. Right? Karen said, good evening to the Hungry Horde. Good Hello. evening, Karen. Welcome. 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 Oh, Linda's here, too. Hi. Welcome, Linda. Welcome. Thank you all for goes, joining us. I need meat to eat. Yes. Yes. Tara said, Autumn's mom is awesome. Oh, Rhonda said it's 7.30 Central for Autumn's Wednesday night. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought. I Shauna that. said, free and or cooked for me always tastes so good. Right? Right, that well, is I, true. Yeah, back in the day, I used to tell everybody my favorite beer was free and free light. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jerry said, I also love watching Low Carb Love with Myra. It's serious that. keto, but they aren't live streams. Right. Yeah, and we also watch um, the Keto Fossil Love Me. Oh, yeah, hers is good, yeah, too. Yeah, that's a good channel, too. Yeah, we definitely, and then, of course, Sassy, Chef Steph, yes. we watch her channel, yeah, Christopher's good. channel. Yeah. So, we so, enjoy watching, the, those are our fillers between the live streams. Right. So, we don't even watch any. Yeah, we don't even have cable TV anymore. We turn yeah. all that off. Yeah, we don't watch any of that. Uh, Linda said, what? Shelly, we're going camping. No, not no, with that. No, no, not no. with us. Wrong Shelly. <laughs> oh, Miriam's here. Hey, Miriam. Hey, welcome. Welcome. We were just talking about you. <laughs> we just got a huge box of keto chow from Tara. We're just preaching about how much we love keto chow. Like every flavor I've ever had, I've, I've oh, enjoyed. Oh, my gosh, yes. And, and, and then I'm waiting for you to like... Tell me what's in the May yes. Chow Club. You can message her right now. I'm gonna tell anybody. I know we won't. We won't hush, reveal hush. what it is. I can keep a secret. <laughs> Tara said you can always look at cabins too. Camping vibe with all of it. 
That's true. Yeah. I have stayed at cabins before. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some, one we like we went it. to. Um, oh, Lynette's here. Hey, Lynette. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, that one with the cat's meow. Oh, yeah. There's a place. Have, it's um, Fredericksburg, isn't it? Yeah. Has anybody been to Fredericksburg, Texas? It's in the hill country. It's amazing out there. It's a beautiful place in Texas. You know, definitely if you're in Texas, don't judge Texas by the big cities like yeah. Dallas or Houston. Right. They're That's very ugly. <laughs> metropolitan. They're not pretty. Go to the hill country yes. like Fredericksburg, even Austin. parts of Austin. Yeah. And it's just so pretty. And Fredericksburg is like such a nice weekend to go. Yes. They have little shops, they're a little pricey, and then they have, you know, different Airbnbs, different little cabins. And the one we stand at, they call it the Cat's Meow. Yeah. But I think they have either, I remember, it's three or four different cabins, and they're pretty isolated off in the woods. Yes. But she'll come, the, the, uh, the host comes every day and leaves a little care package for, for breakfast. Yeah. And it's all from local stuff that she sources and brings over yes. to you. Yes. It's really neat. And it was such, because it's, you know, all in the hills. So, like, one morning we woke up and there was deer out there, yeah. remember? It was so cute. And I just love, like, to me, if I want a weekend where I'm like, I just want to relax and get away and have complete relaxation, something quiet, even romantic, I'm like, let's go to the hill country. Yeah. That's, like, our quick place to go and, and just get away and relax. I really love it there. And... That's where you went to that one bourbon place. Remember the yeah. distillery? Yeah. That uh, garrison. Yeah that, yeah, that one was cool. That was a cool one. Cause I even they take a deer hide and that's what they put around it, you know, like on a to, to the your pull tap to, to yeah. break the seal and everything. And I got to put one of those on there too. That yeah, was really that was neat. fun. Tara said her husband still writes checks and takes them to the post office. He's well, such a weirdo. Checks too. That's what we're using to pay the, the contractor for the house. Oh, that's true. I forget. Because well, she yeah. has to go hunt down the checkbook. I know. I'm like, oh, shoot. Where oh, did you're I one of those checkbook? that take te texts? I know. But where do I do that? Yes. But, you know, people do because it's like the company I work for, a life insurance company. I'm always amazed at how many people just write a check to pay for their life insurance. Well, it's kind of a cool thing, I guess, because then you have a paper trail on it. Yeah, you get to yeah, you do. So I mean, uh, but you also have it with a card. Yeah, that's true. But it, yeah, it always amazes me. They're like, I mailed my check until last you week. mail your card off to somebody. <laughs> I don't think so. They never ever replied. I, it must have just dropped that disappeared. Because y'all know she sells antiques, and yeah, one day we were doing something. I don't know what it was, and somehow she asked me to bring the card over to her so she could fill out something. And I never got it back from her. She's like, I think I may have packed it in a sale. I thought maybe I grabbed it when I was packing a package because I was multitasking, which I shouldn't have done. I was packing a sale and I was working. And so I was trying to do all these different things. And I'm like, that's the only thing I can think of is maybe I accidentally packed it in the box. But the seller never notified her about it. No, nothing. I mean, I canceled it. But yeah, nobody ever told me. So I don't know. We'll see. Miriam said, Lynette and I are walking on a river trail listening to you beautiful people. Oh, that's, that's so awesome. nice. Thank you. I bet it's gorgeous. Steph said, woohoo. Sorry, I've been running around feeding babies, giving medicine, changing into workout clothes. We're going to the gym after y'all eat. Oh, nice, Steph. We're not going to eat till 10 p.m. tonight then. All right. <laughs> that's what it feels said, like. That's why I had to grab my uh, Tillamook uh, jerky. Okay, we got to get caught up because we got two minutes. Okay, right. Lisa said, I don't have cable either. See? TC's Life said, my lawn and snow guy still requires checks. Oh, wow. Wow. Marion said, oh, you guys are so nice. When well, you're yeah. nice to us. Yeah. Um, Carla said, hey, Miriam and Lynette. Oh, Michelle Sprinkles here. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. What's on your plate? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I think I got caught up. That's oh, wow. good. Okay, Jerry just said, I have, as a policy, never use checks. This is due to security concerns. You give out your account number and bank routing number with the check, it's way too easy to be robbed by a nefarious actor or scammer. Right, that's, that's, that's kind of true. Yeah, that's true. You got to be careful. 
Karen says, I still buy stamps, write checks, and yeah. go to the post office. Yeah. I'm a weirdo, too. No, nah, you know, it's, I get it. It's That's a way that you might have been doing it forever, so you just keep doing it. It keeps them in business, right? If you're a check uh, printing company, at least right. there's people still buying them. Yeah, that's true, too. And then the post office... Steph said, Shelly, you best not eat at 10. That would give me just enough time to drive there and have a good fight with y'all. All All right, we're doing it then. (laughs) Come on, let's go. Bring it. Shauna said, back, made a chocolate raspberry cheesecake keto chow. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, get to me now. It's ready? Well, I mean, 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going to clear this stuff off the table so we have room for everything. And Shana said, I have a checkbook. Only write two checks a month to my nail lady. Oh, wow. Your nail lady takes it. Wow. And then Jerry said, I do banking with Chase and all my checks are done with bill pay. Oh, right? Okay. And so I can write checks but have a secure way to do it now. Oh, uh, you know yes. what we didn't We know we messed up? What? We didn't preheat the air fryer. Oh, we'll do it right now while you're getting everything out. Would you say 400? 350. 400. Okay. For like five minutes. We'll just turn it. Um, that's what I tell my customers too that call in and they're like, because the way it's set up, if you do it through us, and like it's only a certain due date, and some people, like especially if they're on fixed income or social security, they're like, oh, I only get paid on the third, so I can't, if you charge me on the second, then it's going to bounce. So, I always tell them, well, does your bank offer bill pay? Just do it through them, and then you don't have to go through us. Right. And But, you know, there, unfortunately, there's a lot of people who don't have the ability to have a checking account, and so for them, they have to do, like, money orders. Well, I think a lot of them, too, are just stuck in the way they've always done it. Yeah, well, it is hard, you know, if you... Because we do have a, a lot of uh, older people who, you know, have policies on lots of grandkids and great-grandkids and great-great-grandkids. So, they're like, no, I just mail a check. And that's what they want to do because, mm-hmm. you know, they want to set up everything online. Or to them, that's scary to do it online. They trust more by mailing it. Um, oh, Steph said she loves us. Well, we love, we you, love too. you too. Even though you're going to fight us. Uh, Michelle said, wow, Heath and Shelly, I haven't managed to catch a live for a while. I usually uh-huh. have my grandson. You both look great. Wow, well, I you. can't believe the difference since I last caught a live. Really? See, it's so hard for me because, like, even when I posted that picture on Betrayus thread today, I, when I look at it, I'm like, I, I don't know, I don't see much of a difference. To me, I, I'm like, there, people are just going to look and they're going to be like, well, keto's not working for her. Look, she still looks the same. Because in my mind, that's what I see at the picture. But apparently people tell me that I am. So he just got the tray out. And we just have one of our trash towels that we use. This for- is, I've had this towel since my first a uh, single, uh, first single apartment. <laughs> oh, we can tell. <laughs> well, I mean, because I love the jumbo towels. But look, it has holes in it and everything. Oh, yeah. But this is perfect because if it gets trashed up, so what? That's true. Shauna said, nail lady takes checks or cash only. Oh, wow. Uh, no credit card, no PayPal, no Venmo. I think wow. a lot of that is probably because she gets charged. Yeah, or, that is true. They, there is a fee for that. Yeah. Uh, TZ's Life said, I use bill pay all the time. Makes my life easier. Yes, the bill pay and the auto pay is such a lifesaver, especially for me because I have a couple bills that I'm like, well, I'm not going to put this on auto pay because they, they seem to always have change of what's due. And then I go and I forget that I have to pay it. <laughs> So when I go to put this in, you're gonna spin around so I can see it going in, or, yeah, gonna, I'm gonna or are they around. just gonna trust me? I'm gonna spin around, right round, right round. Right. I'm gonna have to probably just use my hands and do it. Uh, Steph said, "Hey, it'd be a food fight. Who no. don't like a food fight? I don't. I don't want to waste the food. Oh, I don't, don't want to waste it and then get hit in the face with like a thing of keto chow." <laughs> 
<laughs> Kathy said, you two are slipping down so much. You think so? Wow, the incredible shrinking carnivores. Well, thank you, Kathy. Because I don't want the stuff on me. I don't even want to touch this stuff. I have to put my gloves on. <laughs> That's why I love when I go to Costco to buy these. They come in a twin pack. Yes. Oh, Michelle said, yes, really. I totally went, wow. Oh, thank you. All right. Shawnee said, me too. Matreya said, there's definite difference. Wow. You thank okay. you. Seth said, Shelly, I'm the same way. Only now I have more wrinkles from loose skin. Hopefully, Jim will help with that. It will, Stephanie. And it just takes time. Gail's here. Hey, Gail. Hey, welcome. So I'm going to start loading these in here. I'm just going to make that even layer. I'll try to. Yeah. Uh, let's see how it was said earlier. Welcome to the Chatty Chow Club <laughs> with the Parkers on the Friday Night Feast. Did I do it right? It sounds good. Yeah. I'm not a, a singer like uh, Rachel or Miriam or Autumn. Or Autumn. Autumn. a lot on her channel. I know. I love hearing people sing. I was like one thing that I wished I was given that ability to sing. And what's funny is like in my family, um, one of my cousins, her, oh, I guess it would be my aunt. Uh, she actually taught singing to people. Like oh, she was wow. a singing coach. But apparently, my mother was like, "Well, it's not even worth coaching her." <laughs> I don't know the way some of these mushrooms are frilling up. They kind of look like onions. I was like, "Wait a minute, oh. we don't put onions in this, do we?" Well, that would go good with it if you wanted it. Yeah. It smells good, y'all. I wish you could smell it. What did, what did uh, Emerald call it? You, uh, oh, smell-a-vision. Uh, yeah. I know. It smells so good. And there was some bacon grease, because uh, if you watched our Bacon Knots video, still had some of the bacon grease down in here. So that'll be good to, for it to cook in. Come on. Wow. It's going to be so good, y'all. I've enjoyed the Chop Challenge yes. like so much. It's really made us broaden our horizons on coming up with ideas of what to cook and how to cook it and new recipes. Because a lot of times uh, we were looking at the at the, the list and we're like, well, we can make that. We're like, well, we've already made that. We've already done videos on that. Push it out over. Yeah. Into the corner there. Yeah, see, that's like a loose spot. But, um, like, we're already trying to come up with a recipe for the eggs for next week. Yeah, I'm really stuck on that one. Yeah, I mean, we've thought of a couple things, uh, but, like, we've already done a frittata before. And then Heath was like, oh, we'll just do deviled eggs. No, that was your idea. Whatever, you were all for it. I was just teasing. And then we were um, trying to think of a, I don't know, I was like, well, we could do a souffle, but we just know. have a semi oven. Yeah. All right, let's get this going, y'all. Here, I'm going to give a close up first. See how good it's that looks? like a casserole. <laughs> but the one jalapeno looks like an, a sad face. Huh. It does. Oops. Sorry. It does get eight. Look, this little jalapeno. Doesn't yeah. it look like an angry face yeah. or a sad like, face? It's almost like the yuck sticker. Right? It does. Okay, so now we're going to go into the air fryer. You good? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to flip good. the door open to make it easier. Mmm. Ooh, that looks good. And... We're going to have to turn the vent on because every once in a while oh, this will set, yeah. the, this'll set the, uh, the alarm off. What is it at though? I'll have to learn this The thing. bottom right. Okay. Sorry, y'all. And you said five minutes? I think that's what, what it was. 400 for five minutes. Okay. And then while that's going, look I'm who's gonna passed out. Look at that recipe one more time. Oh, she's all passed out. Oh, he's showing off my dog. My dog. There's he. On the computer. That's his favorite place to be. Well, that's where I get stuff done. Oh, good night, Jerry. Thanks night. for joining us. I hope you and Patty have a great weekend. 
Yeah. Coke time, 15 minutes. Yeah, so we'll just flip it at okay. seven minutes. Alright. Let's see. Let me correct this. Alright. Can y'all still hear us? Yeah. I know that thing gets loud. And I don't remember who which one of y'all it was that told me to put a damp towel oh. over the smoke detector. It kind of worked. It's back is still hanging there. The they came and cleaned the house. The house. They came and cleaned the room today, and they didn't pull it down. But I know. That, was funny. that is nice. So, anybody got any plans for the weekend? As little as possible. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay, we saw Gail. Shauna said, I missed singing all through high school and a few years in college and band in the 90s and lots of church went, wow, Shauna. Dang. So at Keto Palooza, you're going to have to get to sing it with uh, Autumn. That'll and, be fun. Uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, Rachel and Miriam. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to have like a singing uh, yeah. group. TZ Slice said, what's in the marinade again? It is... Some uh, avocado oil, with some uh, keto what's this here sauce, my beef rub, that's it. and that's it. And then uh, just some uh, jal fresh jalapenos and sl uh, fresh sliced uh, mushrooms. Yeah, real simple marinade. Yeah. It just smells that uh, keto style uh, what's this here sauce or Worcestershire sauce. Just gives a good aroma. Yeah. And then the uh, avocado oil will help it also cook in the air fryer. Now, see, pre keto and a meal like this, we would have made mashed potatoes or rice to go with it. Yeah. We and would. I don't even miss them anymore. Or noodles. Yeah. I, don't I know. Miss them at I don't. I would have more meat. Me too. How's everybody that's doing the uh, one to one? How are you feeling with it? Now you've been doing it for three weeks now. How's it going? You know, I just thought of it. I don't know if it's too late. We could have had some uh, the egg like wraps with it. Do you want any? No, I'm good. Okay, never mind. Uh, Steph says Hillary hums and she sounds like that possessed girl on the others when oh. that kid has that dress on and play with the puppet. Oh. Freaks me out. Oh, goodness. That Is sounds it? scary. Yeah. Oh, Lisa said she's stuck on the eggs, too. Yeah. Right? Okay, Shana had to go. Her niece got home. Aww. Awesome. Well, thanks I hope y'all have fun. In. See you next time. She was surprised by all the decorations. That's awesome. That's Shana awesome. said she's having keto chow and some beef ribs. What flavor, Shanta? Beef. You said beef ribs. Of keto chow. Oh, I think you got what flavor the ribs. <laughs> Dan <laughs> said the egg custard might be good. Yeah, that's a good one. TC Slice said taco deviled eggs, taco seasoning, and topped with jalapenos. That's not a bad idea. That is a good one. Because I usually make mine with just, I, I use my pork and poultry rub, and you know how most people just dust it with paprika? I do it with the pork and poultry rub instead. Yeah. And then we usually top it with maybe some chopped up bacon and uh, the sliced jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos. Yeah, that's good. I do like them. Jerry said, got to go. Have an appointment tonight. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Hope to see everyone tomorrow morning. All righty. Cheers. Cheers, Jerry. Thanks for tuning in. Seventy said, haha, last week when y'all's fire alarm went off, my dogs went nuts. Uh, I did too. Yeah. Oh, Shauna said, make seafood deviled eggs. That's an idea. Put some crab in it again. Ooh, that'd or be good. Or top of shrimp. Oh, shrimp. Cece Mama's here. She goes, hey. good evening. Shelly and the Horde family. Good evening, awesome. CC Mama. Welcome, welcome. You're going to be at Keto Palooza, right? Yeah. Uh, Karen said, I'm going to Chateau Relaxo this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which simply means I don't have to work and stay at home to chill out. Those are the best weekends. I like just chilling out. Yeah. Well, there have been, we used to be, you know, some weekends we would not leave the house at all. I know. I we would really go through happy. and get all of our, uh, our uh, shopping done during the week. Yeah. And we just 
just go on shutdown basically for the whole weekend. Or we would get the food delivered. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Especially when they were having food, uh, free delivery. Yeah. That was really handy. Uh, CC Mama said it's rainstorms in Dallas. Oh. Uh -huh. Gail said the fire alarm scared by cat also. Wow. Aww, I'm sorry. Wild Turkey Bless said check out Marie Emmert's breakfast casserole with cream cheese and gravy. That's an idea. Hmm, yeah, that gives us some ideas. That's good. So what we were talking about earlier, I'm in different travel groups. Oh, yeah. And uh, somebody posted that right now you can fly for like base economy to Japan for like 240 bucks. I said let's go. <laughs> yes. I always wanted to go to Japan. Um, and so I was told he I made a mistake and he's <laughs> like let's go let's go and I'm like okay it's an 18 hour flight. Okay. So we'll, I said so. We'll sleep. I don't have any time off yet so what are we going to do? Go fly there on Friday and fly back on, sun, on Saturday night? Like what are, we're just going to drop in and drop out? Well, you can take a day off and just do like a three day weekend. Maybe if I get the day off. It's That's true, you're sick. No. If you can call in to sit at the house, because you need that, what did you say, a health day? No, a, a mental, a mental health, health day. day? Well, you need a travel day too. But still, then we're going to show up for nine hours and then leave. No. Yeah. Now, if to, I go to Japan... You want to stay a week? I want to stay a week. Who's uh, with me? Would you... Okay, do y'all think it's a good enough deal to just fly there, like, basically fly there, spend a few hours, and fly back home? Would you do it? We'll spend more time in the plane than we will in Japan. Yeah, that'd be 36 hours, 18 each way. In economy. And think of the story we'll have. In economy, so you're... When I you know, sleep, but I'm skinnier now. Yes. You heard everybody say it. Yeah, but when you're sleeping, you're going to have to sleep like this. You don't get to lay down and sleep. You're like this, sleeping. Yeah, so like that on the couch anyways. Dang, what would y'all do? Uh, Shanta said she makes vanilla with strawberry collagen. Oh, that's good. Oh, CC Mama said, unfortunately, I will not physically be at Kita Palooza. Oh, I'm sorry. I have another traveling obligation. Oh, that's sad. We're going to miss you. TZ's Life said, it was great to see he show off his climbing skills last week. Are you still doing DDP walk? Yes. Uh, yeah, but I turned it off for tonight. Because you can go in and schedule what days you want to do it, and I turned it off for tonight. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, he's still doing. He's actually almost done with the uh, the Stand Strong program. So each program is 14 weeks, and he's in the Middle. end of week 12. Yeah. So I think he only has two more weeks left on it. We need to do another MS update. Yeah. Right. He, I've been telling him you need to update even if like nothing's happening. You should still give periodic updates yeah, sure. on your MS. We should. Yes. So yeah, he's definitely doing that. Is uh, she snoring over there? Probably. She's hilarious. Michelle said, "How pito cheese and bacon omelets sound yummy? Ooh, with a slice of avocado inside. That does sound good." Jennifer said, "I made it late, but I'm here. Welcome, Jennifer. Good. You're good just friend. in time. Mm -hmm. We're um, still cooking because most of the time I sit." with the uh, food marinating. You can turn this off now? You can for a second. Okay, so he is getting the food out of the air fryer if it's ready yet. Ooh. I mean, it looks like it is. I don't know. Let's pull it all the way up. Or not. Well, I was going to grab the thermometer and double check it. Oh, okay. Ooh. I just don't want to spill the grease. Oh, good night, Matreya. Good night. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining in. us. All right, let's get close up here. Wow, y'all. That looks good, right? I'm going to pick one from the middle. How's it on the underside? It looks good. I think it's done, but I just want to double check it. Oh, come on. Oh. Delilah gets that piece. 
Oh, wow. Older Pennsylvanian. Welcome to my keto buddy made sushi yeah, with cauliflower 125, rice. 125, 127, 28. Yeah, that's done. 131. Yeah. Where's Parrot Head Renee? Cece Bauman? She's working out. And so she's ear hustling tonight. See? That's done. Okay. Well, here. I want to try a little little bite here. Give me just a little one. Like, like one of these. Mm. There, let's see here. Oh, what now? Oh, who's that? Friend Robbie. Sorry, y'all. Let's see. I'm just tossing these just to see. In there. This is perfect bite size. Okay. See, is it for the, me or for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, for you. But I'm just looking at it. Tell me if that's on camera. Yeah. I can't see. You don't want to crisp up the edges just a little? Okay. What do you think? That's fine. Don't Taste it. Yeah, here's a little little piece that's a little rare still. Here, you taste it. Okay, right here. That's good. Mm-hmm. It is good. But yeah, put it in for just a couple more minutes. You want to do it on a broil? Air fry is fine. Okay. Yeah, just a couple more. That's really it. good. Uh, the jalapenos have like given a little heat to everything. They're getting married. Mm -hmm. You want to do a little higher? Just like like it is. Four hundred's good, and just like three minutes. Mm. And then I'm gonna grab me a water. Do you mind getting the? Uh, Bottle. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use that. The one you already have open, the tall one. Yeah. What's it on the thing? Now, this is a little tricky because the timer on this uh, air fryer starts at 10. It goes to uh, yeah. 10, 20, 30, yes. 40. So we have to set it at 10 to make sure it cooks right. And I just set a timer on the, um, on the microwave. And then, um, let's see. That smells really good. So, I got this at Whole Foods. We went there to get some steaks or something else we went specifically for. Because everybody else, what, was, what day was that? The tuna. The tuna oh. night. Everybody else was just doing tuna salads, we saw. We're like, let's do something different. And that's when we came up with the tuna pinos. Yeah, but. So, we, we wanted steaks to go with it. So we ran to Whole Foods, that's the closest place here. We can go the back roads and not have to get on the main freeway and everything. Because it was right at rush hour traffic. And so we got some steaks. I think we got some uh, other stuff too. Oh, we found fun. some sausage that was clean. Clean yeah. sausage at Whole Foods. There's no wonky ingredients. They had Italian flavor. Um, I think regular, what was the other? Uh, bratwurst. Yeah, he's pulling it out. He just says pork bratwurst. Yes, and they were clean, you guys. So I was really excited. Because a lot of times, you know, the bratwurst, especially the Italian sausage, like Johnsonville has like corn syrup and stuff in it. I don't know um, where that one went. Well, it's somewhere in there. Somebody ate it. They cleaned our room and took our food. And the other one was, yeah, just spicy Italian spicy pork. Spicy Italian, and like even the H-E Brie, ugh. The H-E-B brand of Italian sausage and stuff that they do, they'll still put like dextrose and stuff in it. Yeah. But the Whole Foods ones, they were clean and they were on sale. So anyways, while we were there, <laughs> long story short, right, on top for a mile, um, we saw these in the sparkling mineral waters. It's pineapple passion fruit. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, and it's... It's just basically organic flavors and mineral water. I mean, that's it. Zero on everything. Even the oh. whole bottle. So, I like this. They do per serving or per container. So, the whole bottle, of course, it does have a little bit of sodium, 50 milligrams. But everything else is zero. Oh, and it's got calcium. But I was like, that sounds really good. And so, we went ahead and got it to try. Mm. So it's got a little bit of a, that pineapple flavor to it. And then I'm going to have my black cherry zevia. Oh, there's your timer. 
Uh, oh, older Pennsylvanian said that looks yummy. I like stew beef and put some sour cream or cream cheese with it and maybe some nice mushrooms. That is good. The good thing you reminded me. We're not doing cream cheese, but we are doing goat cheese. Yes. Which one do you want? You surprise me. Gail said, Surprise, what? you ain't getting none. That's I don't need she, those looks. That's what she said, <laughs> as Autumn would say. Uh, Gail said, what did you name this yummy dish tonight? Um, air quotes, fried steak. <laughs> air quotes? Yeah, because it's steak. Steak bites. Because the steak. recipe I saw the girl doing on uh, in, um, uh, uh, YouTube, she that's where we got the recipe from, and then we kind of tweaked it. Yeah. Because I told it, he, she actually I said, used steak. I said, why don't we, instead of, you know, doing stew and stuff, why why can't we just air fry the stew meat? And at first I was thinking, well, maybe we should, like, coat it in something and then air fry it. And then, so I got the thought process going and we watched, like, several, di excuse me, sparkling. We watched several different videos and then we kind of, like, settled on, you know, tweaking, we'd, like, take ideas from several different people. We're like, okay, let's do it this way. Do you need to weigh uh, yours out? No, go ahead, just split it. Uh, Lisa said, oh, that's cool. What's the name of the sausage? It's just Whole Foods. It's their brand sausage where it was in the fresh food area and they had the sausage links there. Um, Older Pennsylvanian said, my bacon cheeseburger soup turned out great. I was able to put three quarts up to freeze. Wow, it's great That's to awesome. use for the beef base. That's very true. That sounds great. Um, okay, you're going to show the picture? I think you have to go a lot higher. A lot higher. Yeah. Ooh, look at the steam coming off of that. Are y'all seeing a good shot of that? Are you? Yeah, I am. Okay, well, have you seen it in the camera? That's yeah, I just want to make sure they're happy with it. That looks amazing. That does. I love all the steam coming off of it. Um, oh, CC Mama says, uh, Shelly, you look so good. Your hair is beautiful. Aw, that's sweet of you to say. Thank Fine. you. Lisa said, where did you find that water? Also at Whole Foods. So it's actually the Whole Foods brand. It says product of Italy. It's in the sparkling water. They have like, I think, two or three different flavors. Because we got one other one, didn't we? Yeah, but I can't remember the name. I can't the, remember the flavor. The flavor. I think it was like blackberry or something like that. That or a raspberry or something. Something. Some but they had like two different one, two or three different ones, and it's just the Whole Foods brand. <sighs> but it's good. Do you need help, babe? No, I'm just mad at myself. We said that those bowls that the mushrooms and the, the yeah, we should jalapenos that we were gonna eat out of those, and here I am making up or dirtying up another uh, plate. Steph said, what's the update on the house? Waiting. Uh, Lisa, on, uh, oh, behind their meat counter. They did have it, but these we actually found, like, they went ahead and wrapped up a whole bunch. You know how sometimes Whole Foods and uh, H-E-B will do that? They'll have some already pre-packaged for you, and then but you can go behind the counter and get it, too. So, we saw the pre-packaged, so that's... I would just grab those, but they I saw they had it behind the counter, too. So, where they keep all their steaks and all of that, that's where it was. But uh, they had it pre-packaged because I guess they were on sale this past week. And so, it was like an extra little percentage off if you got them. So and they I were Amazon something. members, too, so we had another discount. Yeah. And then uh, we brought our own bag and got another discount. Yeah, that's right. We do. We always bring our bags. Older Pennsylvanian said, Shelly, that is how I cook too. I watch a bunch of other people and pick and choose methods. Usually works out. Yeah, I find that. And I just like to see everybody's ideas. And sometimes what I find is it gets like my, yeah, it gets like my creative juices flowing where I'm like, oh, you know what? I think I'll do this and this. Or maybe I'll switch up and do this. Or, okay, that's like a good idea. But how I would do it. And so that just kind of gives me, like, ideas. And I watch a couple of other channels that are just about food, but none of them are keto. So if all we do is when we watch it, we're like, okay, how can we keto that? Yes. Or how can we carnivore that? Yeah. Uh, what beef is this? So all we did is 
at Sprouts last week, they had their rump and chuck roast. Buy one, get one free, y'all. So it was uh, basically $3.50 a pound, a little bit less. But and we were like, okay, so instead of cutting up our own stew or buying stew meat that's already cut up, which is generally from a roast, we could save and just get the whole thing and then slice it ourselves. So he got the rump roast and sliced it up and made it stew meat. You want it there? Thank you. And made it stew meat, and that's what we're using. And it's so far, it looks really good. And we're using the. Uh, I'm gonna show you all this, the the sign on this, the label. Oh, okay. This is that dapper goat we were talking about, on one of our favorite ones. Oh yeah, this is the tomato one. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do a couple tablespoons here. But I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. Uh oh. So I'll wait for him to get You back. go ahead, Amy. That's fine. Oh, I'll chit-chat with all my friends. Uh, Cece Mama said, I'm about to stretch on my foam roller while visiting with y'all. How nice. So, Cece Mama, are you doing the Bronson workouts? Renee said, that foam roller is the devil this week. <laughs> TC's life said, that looks great. I'll be there in about 12 hours. Come on. Come join us. We'll cook for you. Lynette said, thanks for the fun. The freezer, so we make another batch. Right? We do have another one. We'll have it ready tomorrow. Lynette said, thanks for fun tonight. I'm going to head out. Keep being awesome. Aw, thanks, Lynette. You too. Thank you for joining us. You and Miriam on your walks. That was so great to have you all check in with us. Um... Oh, CC Mama said, need to study for my OB certification. I'm scheduled to take the test May 5th. I think I'm going to need to reschedule it. Oh, wow. So what is an OB certification? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, Renee. When last week was Lynette and her husband's 25th anniversary, like, they didn't even look old enough to be married for 25 years because they both look like they're only 25. Ooh. So I don't know how that works. Lynette. Oh, yeah. And they went hiking. That's so much fun. That's what I like about this is that we're all able to, you know, be more active and just enjoy so much more in life because you can get out and move now. Lisa said, oh, cool. Thanks, Shelly. I got to check them out next time I go to Whole Foods. Yes. I was so surprised. Oh, my God. Lisa says, your meal looks amazing. Thank you. Gail, how long did you marinate? We did it for one hour. Just marin we poured it over and did that for one hour. Because I was going to put it all in a Ziploc bag with her. She's like, fine. Just going to do it in a bowl. Oh, okay. Mmm, that's good. Mm-hmm. Let me put a little jalapeno with it this time. Mmm. Yeah, this is going on the rotation for now, on. This is mm -hmm. a winner. Mm-hmm. Do y'all do that? If you find a dish you really like, do y'all repeat it several times? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only thing that kind of probably... I'm not going to say that sounds like a first world problems with her, but the AC vent for this hotel is right there pointed at us and our food. But yeah. if we turn it down anymore or turn it up, it gets real hot in here. It's like hot. Believe me. Um, oh, thanks, Renee. She said, just a reminder, everyone, give them a thumbs up before you leave. Yes, thank you. thank you. And then, if you can, what really helps too is after the video posts, like tomorrow, Go in and leave us a comment. That yeah. really helps too. The more Please. comments we get on our videos, the better it looks and the more will show up when people are looking for keto cooking recipes. The more chance of us showing up when people put that into YouTube search. And it this actually will show us like, okay, this is how many people who are your subscribers watched your video. And then it breaks down and tells you, and this is how many were people who were just doing a YouTube search. So it's really cool to kind of see those YouTube searches slowly going up because then that's how we end up getting more subscribers. Mm -hmm. uh, TC's Live said, have to go uh, enjoy that good food. We sure Thank will. You. Thank, Thank you for, you tuning, for in. tuning in. You have a yeah. good one. Thanks. Kathy.
Kathy said, yummy pile of meat. Uh-huh. That's my favorite. Is it really 8 o'clock? No, it's 8 11. So. It just seemed like we just turned on. I know. <laughs> I guess because it was the marinade. Yeah. Uh, let's see. CC Mama said, button smashed. Nice. Thank you. Steph said, well, now that I don't have a pit bull on my lap, we're headed to the gym. Love y'all. Talk to you when we get right. back. Have fun. Enjoy. Be careful. Gail said, yes, I rotate, especially if it's simple. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, that's the one thing this month, really, besides lunch, which we meal prep, mm -hmm. we every day has been something different for us. Right. So we haven't got to really... So, rotate a lot of our stuff, but it's like widen our arsenal, right? Well, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll make a big meal and then have leftovers the next day. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to cook but once. <laughs> right, family said, we're going to go. Chris has All to right. work again tomorrow. Oh, well, well, thanks for joining yeah. us. Good night, Brantley. Thank you. Yeah, good night. You're supposed to say, hey, yo, Brantley. Hey, yo, Brantley. <laughs> Uh, Gail said, I always go back after the live and watch from the beginning. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you, you, Gail. Thank you, I appreciate you. Does that, like, uh, does it get boring, though? Are you like, oh, my gosh. Because I can't crazy. even do that. So, bless your heart. Thank you. <laughs> Kathy says, time flies when you're having fun and mm -hmm. lots of meat. That's right. I thought we were going to have something else with this, too, but I can't remember what it is, and we don't really need it. Well, you thought before we were going to have, like, the, um, the, like, chocolate muffins. Yeah. Things. Okay. Cece Mama said, is it raining in Houston? It was. I don't know about now. It rained on us on the way here. Mm-hmm. But not heavy. Like, just drizzling. Yeah. Uh, Renee said, cloudy and humid in Rockport. Oh, fun. Uh, Renee said, what's tonight's meat? I missed it. I know, beef. <laughs> the rump roast. Yes. The protein beef set up by 2KK was beef stew meat. But, like, uh, Sprouts had roast on sale. Buy one, get one free. I can't pass that up. So I took one when we first got here and sliced it up into stew meat. Mm -hmm. It was about a two-pound roast. It was just over, wasn't it? Like 201 or something like that? 2.1. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. And Gail said she's got her beef stew meat today, so I think I'll have it on Sunday. Nice. How are you going to make it, Gail? <laughs> and tomorrow's the shrimp? Mm-hmm. Do you want to share how we're doing the shrimp? Because I'm no... Uh, yes, I do, but I don't want to say it. You tell them, because... You, you shot down my idea. What? It was fun. Because I want to do the almond flour on it. You said no. You can't do almond. Not almond. I'm sorry. The coconut flour. So, we're going to try to do a spin on coconut shrimp. Because we have some unsweetened coconut left. So, I was thinking I was going to dip them in egg. And then I was going to make a batter... Or coating of pork rind crumbs and unsweetened coconut shreds. Kind of mix that together, dip the shrimp in it, and then air fry them. And then we were going to make a sauce to go with it. And I thought that would be good. That would be. He wanted me to do where you coat them in the coconut flour. Yeah. And then and dip the it in egg. Or how was Egg, then the flour, and then the coconut. But your yeah. pork rind would work too. Oh, I don't know. And then I can't decide if we want to do chicken with it, do the, the, the bread bread it the same way, or we're going to do some crabs, crab meat or something. Mm -hmm. I can't decide yet, because it is Seafood Saturday. Anyhow, um, Gail says, no, she doesn't get bored at all. She enjoys it. Aw, thank you so much, Gail. That's so sweet of you. CC Baba said, what? Sprouts have roast on sale? Buy one, get one, CC. Buy one, get one. Mm -hmm. It was like a really good deal. And they were they had the $10 off, 75 or more. I thought it was tomorrow. What was it starts. 
No, we used it last week. Okay, well, there's we got... some, another one for this week, too, and I can't remember what it is, though. Mmm. Mmm. This week is, like, 20% off their health food. Yeah, but... Yeah, their health food, which is a lot of vegan products. <laughs> Uh, Lisa said, yes, what are y'all making with the shrimp? So we're going to try to do coconut shrimp, and then you want to tell them your idea of the sauce? I don't remember what it is. I sent you a link on it, but I can't remember. Oh. It's a huckleberry. We have a no-sugar huckleberry jelly and preserved type sauce. And I found a sauce that uses apricot jam. I'm like, why don't we use the, Hulk of, the huckleberry instead? Because we have it. Well, I don't remember what all goes in it, though. And I can have to look at my phone because we're recording with it. <laughs> I have the world's worst memory. Yeah, who are you again? Exactly. It's like, so we were going to take some huckleberry... I think it's actually a syrup, like pancake syrup, oh, okay. but it's no sugar, and all the ingredients is just plain huckleberries with a little lemon juice and sugar-free gelatin, and we, so we were going to use like a little bit of that, and then mix it with some sambal. Oh, yeah. And was it like mayo with it or I something? I think so. Anyways, we're going to come up with some kind of sauce. I think we'll play around with it tomorrow. And kind of taste it, and that was going to be, because when I ever had coconut shrimp, it was always like a tasty shrimp. Mm -hmm. You know, like a tasty, sweet and spicy sauce. Yeah. So I wanted to create something like that. Uh, what are your plans? You're doing shrimp burgers, right? Lisa is. Yeah, what goes in that? That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Gail said, probably in the slow cooker with radishes, keto chow beef base, and some cream cheese to make a gravy. That sounds good I'm for the beef stew. Cece Mama said, I'll check it out. Gail said, I wanted some shrimp but couldn't find any wild caught ones for a reasonable price. Maybe I'll look at Walmart tomorrow. Gail, I think it remember, do you have like a Kroger up there? Because that's where we get it. Uh... Cece Mama said, Sprout sells those outer aisle cauliflower thins. Yes, they do. I may go tomorrow or Sunday to see if they're on sale. They also, ours has the egg life wraps, which I like those too. This is the shrimp we usually get at Kroger. Mm -hmm. It's in the frozen section, but we just pull it out the night before we want to cook it, and it peels, I mean, it thaws perfectly. And these have the, uh, these are the veins still on them, the, the, the shells on them still, so, right? Yeah, but they're easy peeled. Yeah. And that they also make, uh, I think it's a green bag or whatever, and they're already peeled for you. Yeah. But, but these are really good because she really, really likes the Argentine red. She's not a real big fan of, like, the gold shrimp or whatever. But these she can eat all day and never get tired of them. Aww. Miriam said, I've had to spend some girl time with my daughter. That's so sweet. That's awesome. Have a great night, yeah, hugs. Hugs to you, too. Thank you for stopping by, yeah, Miriam. thanks for coming in. You're I all have, good one. See I you tomorrow got morning. The, I haven't got the text about what's in the chow club for me. <laughs> uh, Renee said. She said, just wait longer. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll text it in a week. You'll see in May. Uh, Renee said, run into H-E-B real quick, but taking my earbud. Aww. You better take this with you. <laughs> Who is she? Really? <sighs> oh, Gail's in Ohio. There's no Kroger up there. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, that sucks. Mm. Yeah, because that's right. You're not too far from Avon Lake, right? Oh, that's yeah. where we stayed that one time. But I thought they had little, like, sister companies up there, too, though. I don't know. Because they have, like, like, I don't know, a whole... I think that's still down south. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Cece Mama said, yes, Shelly, I used the last of my egg life wraps. Oh, no! Gotta get more. Yeah, we used to only be able to find them at Sprouts, but now we... Shelly found out that they sell them online now. Yes. You can order them. And that's what I prefer to do is just buy them on, buy a yeah. bunch online. 
You only still have the coupon for like 50 cents off or whatever, so we can get them tomorrow for bonus mm -hmm. Yeah, CC, if you're going to pick up some more, go to 8 Life's website. I think it's still up where you can get a dollar off a package. You just print out the coupon. So that's what I did before. Uh, and I think when you buy them online, they're still the same price as they are in the store. Yes. I think they're like, what, six, seven dollars a package or whatever. Five, five fifty or something. Uh, oh, Lisa said her Kroger doesn't sell those shrimp. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. BSM327 says, hey, Beef, welcome. Hey, Beef? Yeah, hey, Beef. Who is that? That's not... I don't know. What, did somebody call you that? They used to call me that when I was a kid, remember? Oh. oh. I wonder, is that Brian? Brian Malin. Is that Brian? Is that you, Brian? Um, let's see, Gail Thanks said... Thanks for tuning in, so I'll give you a call tomorrow, man. Uh, Gail said, I live in Northeast Ohio. Matreya has Kroger. She's in Southern Ohio. Oh, oh okay. okay. That's cool. Renee said, who's the goober watching YouTube as she shops? Probably <laughs> my cousin. She sounds like she'd do something silly like that, right? But y'all, this is pretty cool, though. If that is my buddy Brian, it is, he is, is, yeah. That is my oldest friend in the world. Seriously. He's a day older than me. And his mother and my aunt have been friends for years. And, like, seriously, I've known him my whole life. He's known my, like, my family, everything. Were you in the same crib together? No, we weren't that close. But, I mean, but he's like family. He's like a cousin. Like, like, like that, you know. Did he take you to get your first drunk, right? Yes. He made me get drunk for my birthday. Actually, it's, uh, <laughs> I was actually only 20 years old when we did that. What? Uh -huh. Oh, because it was the day before? No, it was yeah. the year before. What? Yeah, we were sitting in a bar there in Pearland with uh, Lloyd and uh, I think it was Chad. <laughs> Brian can confirm for me. Uh-huh. But yeah. Oh, wow. Well, so how did you get served beer if you were underage? We knew some people. Oh. Yes, Brian. <laughs> well, that's true. Well, I don't know. Well, wow. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Yeah, how's Sheree and the kids doing? You're right. Um... Cece Mama said, oh, really? I'll do that, Shelly and Keith. Yeah, that's... I'm always looking for coupons, like, yeah, all the time for anything. She'll use a coupon on a coupon if she has to. I would mm -hmm. love it. I don't know if I've told you a story before, but when she goes to file our taxes at the end of the year, she'll pull it up on H&R Block and then in a TurboTax or whatever. Mm -hmm. Before she gets finalized, she, whoever uses the biggest return, who she clicks with that year. Or this year, whoever gives us the cheapest who we have to pay. Right. Uh, Michelle said, you have so many stores we don't have in this area. What area are you in? She says, they don't have Kroger, Whole Foods, Sprouts, or Trader Joe's. Oh, wow. Do you have Aldi? Yeah. No Whole Foods even. Wow. Nuts. What grocery store do you have where you're at? Piggly Wiggly? Piggly? <laughs> I think mean, it's all down in the south. Uh, or what's the other one, Joe Rachel, like Win Dixie or whatever they go to? I don't know. Lisa said, I'm going to Fresh Tide Market tomorrow. Oh, wow. So let's see if they have that shrimp. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have, don't we have a Fresh Tide? Yeah, that's where we went that one time to try and find the egg. That was a harvest. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Because we're, we're kind of like creatures of habit. Mm-hmm. And then H-E-B also has, like, it's called a central market. We only have one of them, and it's in downtown Houston. Oh. But it's like their version of Whole Foods. So we only go there for certain things. Certain, and we only go, like, once, maybe twice a year. Mm-hmm. It's fun to go to browse in. Yeah. I... Are y'all like this? Do you like browsing grocery stores? I like to just browse and see what they have. Like it's like when I go to Whole Foods, I'm like, ooh, what do they have here? Yeah. Brian said, life is good, kids are good, wife is good. I'll be home all day tomorrow. Nice. Cool. Mm. Mm. Michelle said Wisconsin. Yes, we have Aldi's. Uh, festivals, Woodman's, no Piggly Wiggly. That's what I mean. They're all, Piggly Wiggly's down south. 
Are you okay. the one who said? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm about to say after I said it, I remembered. Oh, okay. Because we went to, let's see, where did we visit in Wisconsin? I don't remember. <laughs> Dude, we've gone everywhere. <sighs> it was the sand, the white sands. Does that make sense? Bear sands, something like that. And then we stayed at uh, Traverse City. Oh, yeah. Was it that Wisconsin or am I thinking Michigan? It's all the same. It's not Texas. Ugh, that's not right. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Let's see. Traverse City. Because that's where we had... Oh, that is Michigan. Okay. So where did we go in Wisconsin? I'm thinking of Michigan. Wisconsin's over there. Is that where... Um, oh, that's where Milwaukee is. Uh, is that where um, that one chef with the barbecue place was? Which chef? Oh, Michael Simon. Where's he? No, that's Ohio. Oh, my that's bad. up in Avon Lake area. Okay, okay so Wisconsin. Let's see, where did we go? Milwaukee. I think we did go to. Okay, so we went from Minneapolis. Yeah, remember we stayed in Minneapolis and then we went to Milwaukee. Is that where that one hotel was? But we isn't that where we went to a barbecue place in Milwaukee? I think so. Is that the one where the guy he's like, you don't want remember because they gave you like basically a whole loaf of bread? Yes. And they got like, you're not gonna eat those? I said, No, sir, I beat my diabetes, I don't need the bread anymore. Right. Was right. you don't miss it? I said, No, I don't miss being a diabetic. Right, because we went to some market uh, and they had some neat stuff there, like cheeses and stuff, and then we went to a barbecue restaurant. And, and they we did, were... they gave you Texas toast. Yeah. But they gave us like three or four pieces each. I mean, we ordered like yes. several different plates because all we wanted was the meat. I mean, yeah. Every every plate you ordered came with three or four slices of the Texas toast. And I swear, we had like a whole loaf of bread. It was crazy. Um, mm. It was a big piece. Cece Mama said, I do that at Sprouts, just browse. And mm -hmm. Sprouts is fun to browse it because yeah. they have... What I like is you see some stuff that you normally don't see at other stores, so it's fun to just walk through and see everything. Well, that one time we were there, they had the Pedersen's sugar-free mm. bacon on sale, mm. 99 cents a piece. Mm -hmm. We bought them all out, and Shelly's like, are we mean for buying them all? I said, no, they're in business to make money. That's their I know, selling it. but I always think, well, somebody else might need this deal, too. Well, they should have came and got it then. Brian said Wegmans and H E B use the same vendors for their personal brown or brands. Oh, okay. Oh, remember, right. he, used to work, he used to be high, kind of high up in the H E B. Mm -hmm. He was like a department head or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Renee said they have Piggly Wiggly where she grew up in Pensacola. See, down south. Yeah, Florida has it. I yeah. like the Piggly Wiggly. Mm -hmm. It just sounds like a like a what you would hear in a TV bunking. show. No, like in a sitcom. Oh, let's go to the Piggly Wiggly. Right. Like in um, the Clements, what was uh, that? Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, the Beverly like Hillbillies. Right. They'd be like, we went all day off to the Piggly Wiggly. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> Gail said, yes, Shelly. I like to do that when I go to the store. Even though I'm disciplined and stick to my list. I just love to see if there's new keto-friendly items. Me too, Gail. That's what I do. Is because he will be like, because he's very much a. This is the list. Let's get in, get out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What and I'm like, do. well, I want to browse this line. You know, this little section. I'm just interested to see if there's anything new. What's out there? Like, we'll go at Sprouts. All of their like Quest bars. All those like uh. bars. And a couple of them came up, and I was like, oh, I haven't seen this Keto Crisp or something. And there was another one. And then I read the ingredients, and I was like, yeah, that's This is why we don't buy them. That's <laughs> what like, I really yeah. love about Sprouts, too, is when we hit up the little cheese area. They have oh, those, they have yeah. They have stand with all their cheese. And they always mm -hmm. have some kind of weird, odd one we never had before. Mm-hmm. And they have a lot of raw cheese, too. Mm -hmm. But also, what I like about them is the... Um, if you, like, are crunch, like, sometimes on the weekend, I want to do a lot of cooking. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a hot pepper. But they'll have already shredded up the rotisserie chicken. Uh -huh. And the ingredients are just, like, chicken, salt, pepper or something. It's, like, real basic. 
but it's already in like their little refrigerator meal to go place and it's just like you get like a half pound of chicken and so sometimes I've gotten that and then we get home and I just make chicken salad I just make tacos with mine yeah but before I just like put in mayo and some seasonings and my mustard and I just stir that up let it refrigerate for an hour and then I have lunch you really like their too their eggs oh yeah the happy company eggs and then their uh, heavy whipping cream. You like theirs better mm -hmm. than anybody else's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Uh, Are you done with the cheese? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, I was going to use this to pick up everything. That's else. the one that's near Lisa. Yeah. That heavy cream, that farm is right near where oh, okay. she's at. Because cool. she gets it all the time. Yeah, I like their heavy cream. But then her, uh, she said her Whole Foods has the uh, clean bologna. Mm -mm. Um, Michelle said, nope, not familiar. It's okay, Heath. I'm a transplant. Ha, ha, ha. She's at about 90 miles from Minneapolis, and Milwaukee's about 250 miles. Oh, okay. All right. See, we did our road trip because we didn't get um, Minnesota, so we went straight up to North Dakota, and then we crossed over, stayed in Minneapolis, and then headed to Milwaukee, and then to Chicago, and then we went all the way up um, in Michigan, and then headed over to Detroit, and then went through Canada, uh, towards Niagara Falls, and then Buffalo, New York, and then down from, like, then we went out towards Delaware, and then down through New York, city and then all the way home yeah so it was, was like fun. one big road trip that we did it was like our last big trip and so it like all runs together now <laughs> when i think back i'm like where was right. it kind of goes. um brian said only pinkly wiggly i know around here is in orange texas oh, well, that's okay. almost in uh Not louisiana <coughs> five uh, dad used to work at one a Piggly Wiggly? Like an owl That area. sounds so like your father. <laughs> uh, Cece Bonus said, Heath, is that your way of saying you snooze, you lose? Basically. Like I always tell everybody when we have big cookouts at the house, if you leave here hungry, it's your own fault. Mm -hmm. Another cool thing about my buddy Brian, mm -hmm. my dad was a huge, huge gun nut. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to be cremated when he passed away. Well, Brian got it figured out. He borrowed, I don't know if it was his daddy's or his uncle's or whatever, but a family friend of his. He brought over a little miniature cannon. We loaded a dad's ashes and shot him out of the cannon <laughs> as a celebratory for him. He would have loved it. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for doing that, Brian. You know he would have loved that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for my tear. I'm just thinking about that. Aww. Well, I've just had, like I said, he's been my oldest friend. I've had so many great memories together. Yes, with Brian, yeah. Aww. Lisa said, I love to browse uh, the grocery store, especially somewhere new, to see if they have keto friendly foods. Me too. Like when we They went do. To it's called the meat section. <laughs> <laughs> but when we went to that, remember that one? <coughs> the Harvest Market one? <coughs> I don't know. Uh, when we went through there, that's I was just like, oh, let's look at this, this, and this, and see all these different things. And then we didn't really buy anything because they were like, oh, okay, that's cool. We'll uh, come back, and we never did. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, we'll come back another time, and now. Uh... <laughs> I didn't cut that one up big enough, huh? Or good enough? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Well, keep talking. <sighs> I've, my eyes are watering from the jalapenos. It's like I got the, the hottest one of the last bite. <laughs> I'm really full, y'all. That was a good, good dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we decided to do it that way. Oh. What is Sunday? What, what's the meal plan for that? I don't remember what the protein is. I'm, I'm, it's all it's all one big blur. The ground chicken. Ground chicken. Oh yeah. I think for that we're going to do a. Uh, Stuff the Poblanos with the Yeah, chicken. stuff okay. We're gonna do uh, chili rianos. Yeah, we're gonna plan to do chili rianos with the ground chicken. And I'm trying to figure out, because I don't feel like making my own salsa and whatnot, but I love what they call Christmas style. Because you do the red and the green. 
-hmm. That's my favorite way of eating those. And I think that one garlic sauce in there should be good for the grid. We used, oh, we yeah. used to use the Herdez green salsa, but I don't remember if it's clean or not. Because mm -hmm. I don't remember the last time we bought it. I think it was pre keto when we bought that. Mm. So we're just going to have to well, check. The garlic gringo. Yeah, but I don't have any in stock, do I? I think I've used it all. And I don't know if if I can hook up with Carrie to get him any get me from him. Uh, well, you think that would work? Is it yeah. the salsa? Yeah, or I don't mind making the tomatillo again. That's a good salsa. Can you make it here? Because usually we roast it on the, on the grill at the house. Yeah, that's true. Well, we could do it in the air fryer. Oh, uh, that's true. Uh, Michelle said, when we travel, I have been in a lot of Kroger's. Okay. That's where we got all our groceries for our trip in March. Oh, nice. We uh, Twice now we've gone there and hit their, uh, their uh, discount meat section. We put a hurting on them. We was we left with like two bat two buggies full of stuff, mm -hmm. and the markdown was so big that they had to call a manager over and get approval for yeah, it. Yeah, that we, was. We fun. saved almost four hundred bucks. Yeah. From all the markdowns, because yes. we pretty much cleared cleared them out those days. Mm-hmm. That's we have three freezers at the house. Oh, I know. So we we fill them up on the yes. regular. Yes. I am. Let's see, Gail said, I went to Meyer today, and to my surprise and sadness, I found sugar-free sausages. One brand was Tetton Grass-Fed Breakfast Sausage. We love Tetton Farms. And an Applegate Farms, no sugar added on clearance. I bought four packages. But why is that sad? That sounds amazing. Tetton yeah, Water that's Farms a great really good. deal. She won a contest on Instagram. Mm-hmm. It was a year's supply of Tetan Water Farms. So what? Awesome! They're gonna send us a box of meat. This would be great. No, she got an envelope with a bunch of coupons. What? That's still. Free. That, that's awesome. That's that. Go on. But here I am complaining. You know, first world problems. But the best place for us to get them is they're they're basically they're hot. They look like hot dogs. They're, they're sausages. <clears throat> but the only place we can get them here is at uh, at Costco. But Costco doesn't take the manufacturer coupons. Yeah. So then Sprouts had some preformed burgers from them. They weren't all that great. Mm -mm. And then they have uh, the other one was the Whole Foods there in Houston. Not Whole Foods, but um, uh, the market, the uh, Central Market in Houston. And they had a breakfast sausage. Mm, that was good. So we basically just used up used up all the coupons at uh, Central Market. That Brian said, you could always come down and you could shoot some carbs out of the canyon for your channel. <laughs> also, the girls are producing tons of eggs and we have oh. healthy whey fresh milk dairy. That's cool. You can make a day of it. Wow. That's an idea. Nice. Eggs. I love farm eggs. What are you cooking tomorrow then? Because <laughs> we're supposed to be cooking shrimp and he hates shrimp. <laughs> oh. Because Brian, we're in the middle well, of... Like he doesn't eat eggs. Does he? Right. Well, he raises them, though, but his wife and kids eat them. Uh, Cece Baba said, my husband made homemade green salsa the other day. I'm afraid to try it. Whoa. Oh, like, it's, you think it's going to be too spicy? Do you like spicy food? Now, generally speaking, when I made my tomatillo salsa, it's not spicy. Uh, the tomatillos really don't have much heat to it. And then yeah. I generally just add, like, one or two jalapenos. So I guess it depends on how many of those he added. But I like our our green salsa. Or maybe she's afraid to try it because it's addictive. And she's got to eat the but whole thing. But she got the jalapeno Oh, food. okay. Uh, Michelle, nice deal. I have a friend that shops at Sprouts, and I can't believe the clearance meat she yeah. gets either. I know. And they usually run, a lot of times they'll run specials on their um, um, scallops, too. Oh, yeah. We've done that before. Gotten good deals on the scallops. Yeah. Um, they were discounting them. That's why I was sad. Oh, discontinuing. Oh, okay. Oh, that is sad. sad that they're this discontinuing. Ten Water Farms is a really good sausage. I know. And I've got the Applegate ones before. Yeah, those the are good, too. The sugar, the pork ones. I, think I the, like them. The Ten Water is good. The um, Applegate and um, the Pedersons. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, this good sausage, is Prazix. But I think they're only in Texas. Aren't yeah. They? But those are like the top four we buy that are clean sausages. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think of, yeah. well, there's one of them. Was it the Titan Farms? That they're, um, oh, uh, oh, what's it? The, it's the Mexican breakfast sausage stuff. Was it called? Oh, chorizo? Yeah, aren't theirs? Is it down and dirty? Or is it the Pedersons? It was. The Pedersons. It's they got had, a little something in it. It had the uh, dextrose or something in it. Yeah. We're, we're but like, all their other products were clean. Um, let's see. Gail said, oh, okay. Whoops, I skipped on. CC Mama said, I started making. Homemade ground chicken sausage. Well, that's an idea, Because Apple too. Gates is so expensive. That's an idea. Oh, or make the ground I mean, we chicken. Have the, we have the grinder. We just haven't bought any of the tubing, you know, the, the stuffing yeah. stuff for it yet. Or the... Uh, the stuffing stuff? The, the, not the link. What's the thing I'm looking the for? The casing? The casings. We haven't bought any of that yet. The stuffing stuff. Because yeah. I actually have a whole list on my... To- to do list of different sausages we want to try making. Yeah, because one time on a this is why we like our road trips. Uh-huh. Um, tell me if y'all do this too. Like we, okay, we usually will either be listening to podcast. Yeah. Or we're sitting there like daydreaming, right? Yeah. And so we start talking about, you know, oh, this is what we should do. We should like come up and start making sausages and have our own like sell and, our own sausages. Or win them in the lottery. This is what right. we're gonna do. And sell our sausages at like farmers markets. And we're like, yeah, but we need to come up with, you know, everybody's got like Italian or jalapeno and cheese. You know, like you think. And I was like, yeah, we should have like sausages that are like the flavor would be chicken and waffles. In a sausage, yeah. right? Like make that as the flavor and advertise it. Chicken and waffles sausage. Or uh, another one was biscuits and gravy sausage. Where it would taste like biscuits and gravy in a sausage. And I was like, we were bouncing off ideas of like all these different like names of the sausage. And, and I was then, like, wait a minute. I'm going to write this down. <laughs> yeah. And how we would create that in a sausage. Yeah. Like, wasn't one of them like peanut butter and jelly sausage? I think so. <laughs> it was like, like I have a buddy of mine that makes his own sausages, and he does, he does a chicken and apple in his. Yeah, and, and really I was good. like, but that's a common one. Like you can buy. I said, I wanted to come up with sausages that you can't get at a store. That these are like specially made sausage. I think we partly got the idea too from that one hot dog stand. There yeah. in New York. What was it called? No, it was in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay. And I forget what it was called, but basically they have like 15 different types of animal sausages. So you can get deer, elk, duck, um, duck uh, alligator. I think one was rabbit. Rabbit, yeah. Mm. Um, and then uh, cam- antelope. And camel yeah, too, I think. Yeah, and camel. Yeah. Yeah, because you were sad because they were out of the camel. Yeah. Yeah. Get to try it. I've never tried camel before. And uh, like, so all these like really exotic animals made into sausage or hot dogs or sausages. So uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Yeah, it was a really good place in um, I think it was Philadelphia. Possibly. It was somewhere in Pennsylvania. You know, you travel too much and you can't even remember where you've gone. I know, right? <laughs> Uh, Gail said, every time there are good at clean ingredients, stores get rid of it. And I know. A lot. I know. I don't understand that. Yeah. It's like. I really we, like, like when you see the sausages and they're like, there's dextrose and sugar in it. Like, what are you doing? I know. It's so annoying. It, it, yeah. I guess because crap sells better. I guess. People just don't know better. And they're like, oh, sausage is sausage. Uh, Michelle said. My friend that gets all the deals at Sprouts is also in Texas. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Cece Mama said, "I've never found the sugar-free Applegate sausage at my Sprouts." Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Where it's at on ours, ours has like this little like center frozen where it's just like the the half freezer, and they usually have like the bone marrow, the already made different um, pre-frozen meats and fish. And then also the vegan food. And then they also then have the different sugar-free sausages there. It's kind of like hidden there. That's where ours keeps it. Yeah. Um, Renee said, Pricing sausage link packs, the short fat ones, are a clearance for $9.09. Buy them all. Yes. We're going to have to look. Are we going to H-E-B tomorrow? We are now. (laughs) 
Uh, Cece Mama said, I saw some habanero peppers in the refrigerator that are no longer there, so I'm guessing they're in that salsa. Oh, wow. I'm excited for that. That's awesome. That sounds good. Habaneros in a green salsa? Yeah. Mm. Um, let's see here. Oh, let's see. Gail said she'd been looking for the Applegate sugar-free forever and never found them until today. Can you order Applegate online? I don't know. I haven't looked. Oh, Brian said the best sausage he ever had was a brisket sausage that was from a smoked brisket that was emulsified. They also had a brisket and cheddar. It was amazing. I don't remember what barbecue joint that was. That sounds amazing. That does sound good. I don't they want made to try making that. Yeah. <sighs> Brian said camel. Ha ha. Man, I could make a racy joke from that. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, I bet so. <laughs> Michelle said, that's a great idea. CC Mama said, does venison taste gamey? I don't usually. think so. Not when it's cleaned correctly. Yeah, the main thing is the hunter just has to clean it right. Yeah. And also, whenever they kill it, it kill it correctly, right? right? Um, but generally, I, I, venison, once it's cooked up, I can't even tell. That the difference between venison and beef. Can you? Yeah, I can. Because oh. to me, venison tastes better, honestly. Oh. I like it better than beef. It's leaner. Yeah. So that's the main thing. But we've done a couple recipes with it. Yeah. I mean, I like it. I uh, generally don't find it too often in stores, though. No. I really like making my chili with it. Yeah, that is good. But I don't find it gamey. What I find gamey a lot of times is wild boar. Yeah. Um, what's another one I've got? I don't think bingo, really. But, yeah, sometimes wild boar. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not always a fan well, of Well, you're it. also very picky with pork in general. Yeah. Because, like, she won't eat pork chops that are from the store. She only gets them from this one guy that we see at the uh, farmer's market. Yeah. But she'll eat sausage and ham and whatnot from the store, just not yeah. pork chops. I love front... I love freaking ham. It's so good. Yeah. We oh still have gosh. a whole one in the freezer. I know, and that's from the farmer. I oh, know. Trying to figure out the best way to cook it. Uh, just eat it. I just <laughs> thought, eat it. Uh-huh. Gail said, that dang vegan food ought to be discontinued. It's yeah. taken over. It should be. That's like a crime against humanity. I've noticed, though, at some of our stores... Maybe because it's in Texas that they actually had to discontinue it. Or they put it, like I noticed at H-E-B, they just put it off in its own little container off to the side. And it just sits there so long, there's like ice all over it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody it. everybody's like, It's just some weird science it. experiment. Well, my thing is, here's mine. When I was a vegan, um, why would I even go to the meat department to find non-meat stuff to me that you know if i was a hardcore vegan that would be kind of like it would hurt me to even have to walk into the meat department so why would you put vegan meat in a meat department it should be separated ostracized somewhere far away from meat like find a frozen area in the vegetables to put it in because it makes no sense to me to put a vegan product in with meat but I, I don't know that just not my thought process so I'm so box <laughs> what because if you were vegan you yeah. wouldn't even go to the meat department right because you'd be like well that's you know that's just wrong I don't eat meat why would you even walk through there you would just be in the produce section and then the middle part of the grocery store so, yeah, if I was that... I think it's also the, the people that, that invented it and thought it out and all aren't really thinking correctly. Because if they were, they wouldn't have invented it. <laughs> well, they're just trying to make money. And yeah. I think really what it is, it's probably not even vegans eating it. It's right. people who are like, oh, I'm going to do Meatless Monday. Yeah. And they think that they're helping by not eating meat or by eating a meat-like product. Right. <sighs> Fools. I don't know. It just bothers me. Brian said the closest sprouts is in Parallel to him. Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah, because what he said, yeah. A little podunk. Cece Mama said, never thought about Applegate online orders. Oh, so do they do it online? Uh, I don't know. 
Renee said, five pound baby back ribs in my basket to make on Sunday. Yum. Nice. 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 You're doing them in the oven, right? <laughs> well, of course. Well, I mean, she could do them in her uh, instant or in her uh, uh, crock pot. Yeah, that's true. Renee said, I came in carrying a basket because I wasn't getting much, but dang, meat's heavy when it's on sale. Yep. Renee, you, I saw you yesterday. Yeah, you can carry it. You can carry that in that basket. Come on. Show them. Just do it with a little pinky. You'd be like, oh, and this doesn't weigh anything. It's showing off. <laughs> Man, look at all the dishes we got to do. Wait, this is wait. You got a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> I hate this one little single sink in here. <sighs> oh, I know. I miss being at home. I do too, y'all. It's like, I really miss it. I like see my house every day and I'm like, oh, I just want to be back home already. Just so ready for it. Just to be at home, chilling again, not having to drive every day. That'd be so nice. Uh, Michelle said, two of my guys are big hunters. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Nice. We have several deer in the freezer. Wow. I love my husband's homemade venison sticks and jerky, but that's it. Oh. Oh, well. You want to eat backstrap? <laughs> that's my favorite cut. Yeah, he loves backstrap. We did. What did we do with those? We made kebabs with them, right? No, we did something else with them. That was, uh, uh, I thought we, because I usually just grill those. No, we made it when Steph and Jimmy were Oh, that, that was backstrap? Yeah. Yeah. Those were, yeah, those uh, were pretty good. Oh, I want to try the venison sticks of jerky. Yes. Gail said, right, Chili? Renee laughed. Michelle said, right on the vegan meat. <laughs> uh, CZ Mama said, Heath is full and sleepy. Yes. Right? Like, right on time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just give him a bottle and he wouldn't be. Go get your keto gel. I can't. I don't have room. No, I'm have room. done. Good. Uh, Renee said, I am lucky to carry my dang backpack into work this week. That's what I said. Homeboy's torturing you. I know. That sounds just like, oof. I, but I'm so impressed. You're so awesome for, you know, I think, too, it's a good representation, like, for the group, right? Because yeah. a lot of the people in 2KK... You know, I've barely worked out or never worked out. Or if they did, it was just the standard gym. Mm -hmm. So to see, you know, it could be intimidating to yeah. see like Bronson saying, oh, here's the workout. And it was really cool that Joe and Rachel filmed their workout. And I think it was good, too, that you stepped in and you're like, look, you can do this. I'm doing it. See how it's done. It's, you know, it's not, it's, it, in itself, it's not difficult you make it as heavy or difficult as you want by the weights, but I think that really inspired everybody yeah. to get in it and see, okay, I shouldn't be, you know, afraid to try Bronson's. Right. You know, and if other people in the group are doing it, then I think that's more encouraging to show, okay, yeah, every other people are doing this, I could do it too. Right. But I'm doing DD people. <laughs> right. Because that's, that's my thing. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, Brian said, have you ever looked at the buns from Marina Bakery? Since I'm gluten-free, I get them at TJ Reed's. No, I have, gave up buns. Yeah, well, I've looked at their stuff. Here's what I heard. I don't know. This is hearsay, right, Brian? So, a while back when we first started keto, we were in this one group, and apparently this one woman says that... They're not completely honest with their ingredient labeling that she did several tests and it would spike her blood sugar. But she thinks, and with her dealings, what she would try to speak to the owners, apparently they weren't that nice to her. So she didn't even let them advertise in her Houston keto group because they, uh, she just didn't think that they were being honest with their labeling. So... For that reason, when somebody is, like, speculating on stuff, that's why I don't even bother with Chop Zero. Because so many people I know have reported having issues with their blood sugar. So, it's not worth to even try it for me. Like, you know, sometimes I'm like, well, you know, like, we'll get a Lily's and we'll, that bar, a bar of Lily's will last, like, a month. For who? For us, because you don't eat it. You'll have, like, I'm a I'm eyeballing one on top of the fridge right now. You were just full. I know, but... 
But I'm, I'm saying, so sometimes I was like, oh, well, you know, people talk about Chalk Zero, but then I'll see people saying, oh, no, it, it spiked my blood sugar horribly. So I'm like, well, it's not, if some people are reporting that, I don't want to take a chance because given my diabetes history, I don't want to chance it. And another thing with those bakeries, Brian, is most of them are not, they can't, to be keto, they can't use flour anymore. So they're substituting it with almond flour. Well, I figured out that I'm allergic to almonds, so I can't have that stuff anyways. Yeah. So we, we don't buy it, but I think if you're just trying to be gluten-free, it's probably a good substitution. Yeah. Um, if I could still eat almonds, then I would I would probably be trying them. Right? Trying my place you recommended. Cece Mama said, I miss you both being at home Aww. soon. Aww. Thank you. I know. I'm hoping, I hope it all gets put back to where. Well, I talked to a contractor today. He's writing up the uh, an invoice so we can send it in to get some more money from the insurance for it. And he's supposed to be letting me know when he's coming back, too, because he's also working another job in Austin, and he's just dr they're dragging him out on that job. The, yeah. like, the stuff that's supposed to be done by the other contractors and the, the, um, the owners and whatnot, he says it hasn't gotten done yet. So it's, it's delaying his work. Yeah. I just, it's, you know, I want it to, I've got some, like, like I'm, I'm changing a few things out since, you know, we can. we can. Everything's getting moved anyways. And so, like, I got a new curtain for the kitchen. I mean, I've been in, if y'all don't know, this is the house I grew up in. So, I've lived there my whole life. And uh, so, a lot of things, when I officially bought it from my mom, I left a lot of the stuff because I was like, well, you know, I at the time, because this was, like, almost 20 years ago, I could barely afford, you know, to really pay the note, so I didn't have a budget to, you know, decorate everything. So I was like, oh, okay, what well, already has a curtain and already has this, so I'll just leave that there. And then slowly over time, we've done, you know, certain upgrades, like when he replaced the kitchen. So a lot of the curtains are just the curtains that my mom had there, which oh, really are. Whatever she picked out. Huh? Yeah, they're not really my style. So, like, in the kitchen, it was all these, like, um, if y'all remember back in, like, the early 2000s or 1990s, the little fat chefs that people used to decorate with. So, the curtain had those fat chefs on them, and I've just left it up. So, now I'm like, well, since we're changing things up, I got a new curtain for it. So, I think that'll be cute when that gets hung up. And then, in the laundry room, when they start, you know, Actually fixing everything, I found out the curtain in there, I have a little long win, uh, window. That curtain, which again, wasn't really my style, but you know, it's there. It was like this watermelon curtain. Well, it got tore when everything fell in there, so I'm gonna get that replaced. And then um, and just some ins and odds. I mean, we're getting new flooring, so that'll be a change. And I started going through and just kind of like, okay, we don't need this. Let's have a garage sale or let's just get rid of this and just try to get rid of a lot of stuff that's just been more minimal on everything. Right. Um, Gail said, he, uh, uh, he, you are whipping out. You're supposed to be able to eat more. I ate a whole plate and Gail? I had two... Bacon, I had two cheeseburgers at lunch. Gail, I can out-eat Heath almost any day, right? Sometimes. Oh, and when do, have I Well, now? you didn't eat breakfast. I ate breakfast. So well, I, I'm I, saying, I but you. if we sit down to eat, who can finish off a, a big ribeye? Usually you. <laughs> like, I can out-eat. When yeah. it comes to, like, meat, I will eat it. Yeah. Now, um, I think really... Yeah, the thing is, I usually eat twice a day. He'll eat three times a day. So he's probably just, you know, And I had, two, I had two of the F-bomb meat sticks today, too. Oh, and you had some of the Tillamook oh, yeah. earlier, and I didn't. I had an appetizer. See? He had the appetizer. I save room for the main thing. Blah, That's blah, what blah, I want. Blah, 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 blah. But, like, when it comes to chicken wings, I could out-eat him on chicken usually. wings. Yeah. Uh... 
Ooh, Renee said $85 needed. Just $85 later, I just needed a few things. Isn't that how it works? Yep. yep. Like you go in and you're like, okay, I'm just going to run it for two things. And the next thing you know. Right. And I, it, it's so hard. Tell me if y'all are like this. It seems like every time we go to any grocery store, it's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks. Like everything's a hundred dollars. Like it's so hard to do go anywhere for less than a hundred dollars. It hurt me the going to H E B the other day just to get the al- that avocado <laughs> oil because I was like, well, I can't get that. No, don't even look. Don't even look. Just get this and get out. <laughs> and like, be strong. I know, right? Because you know me, when I, every time I go to ATV or Kroger, the first thing I do is I go over to look for the discounts. I know. Every single time. I didn't go. I went straight to that aisle and right back out. Well, and like my job gave me a gift card for $20 to Target or Target. But I'm like, I know if I walk into Target, uh-huh. I'm not getting out with just $20 worth of stuff. And then Renee was like, oh, they have $5 t-shirts. And now I'm like, oh, great. Now I want to go get t-shirts. <laughs> so I don't know. It's like a coupon. It's a $20 coupon. It's not really a gift. It's just a coupon. Well, how many times does that burn this whenever we had like a $25 <sighs> gift card to some restaurant or whatever? We go over there to get to use it, and then it ends up costing us two hundred bucks to get out of there. I know, I know, because he gets like, he's like, "But well, we got use- that money to use. We got to use it." And I'm like, yeah. "Babe, it's not really free money because there's nothing you can order at this fancy schmancy restaurant for twenty five dollars. <laughs> so you're going to be <laughs> right. You're going to end up spending a lot more than twenty five because." We're not going to just show up and say, okay, we're going to have this shrimp cocktail that has five pieces of shrimp and then leave. <laughs> and he's all like, yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. And I'm like, well, I'm glad I know you better than you know you. I'm trying to convince myself that we will. <laughs> right. Because uh, before keto, we used to eat out all the time. And I was in the um, all the little rewards clubs. I had like a, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the members uh, card. Yeah, birthday cards. Yeah, yeah, because like we go to different pizza joints and get free pizzas on our birthdays, both of us. Yes. Like a a whole free pizza and whatnot. And then we used to get coupons all the time, like Chick fil A. Yeah. So we, they saw us coming basically. Because we knew when the sales were too, and that's the only time we'd go eat, but thought we were saving money, but we really weren't. (laughs) Michelle said, I think Keith's pillow is calling him. Probably. That's what I heard. Brian said, contractor or talking about an other contractor? Not oh, over. <laughs> well, that's why I'm not mad at him. And everything he does is amazing. CC Mama said, Heath is going downhill fast. No, I'm not. <laughs> Your eyes are starting to glaze over. Probably. <laughs> it's called a food coma. <laughs> uh, Renee said, meat, meat, pork, more pork, sausage, 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 and smoked salmon. Nice. At least you threw in the salmon there. I'm just proud of her eating more pork. I know. That's awesome. I'm never proud of her. Mm, and that's a praisex, right? Yes. Well, yeah, because she got them on sale. Yeah. Brian said, all you can eat Waffle House back in the day. Yeah. That's what made us fat. Yes. We used to we used to crush that. <sighs> what would you order? The burger, the waffle, the, I mean, the steak wasn't on there, but I, yeah, I just load up on the burgers. I'd have like five or six burgers. And then we'd have the uh, you know scrambled eggs, I think, and then the uh, the taters. I think, I think that was on the road in there too, because I love their scattered, covered, smothered. That was one of my favorite things there. And then we'd go with buddies, and we'd sit there. We would crush them because we sit there and play cards while we ate the all you can eat. And so you would eat five burgers with buns yeah. and everything. Yeah. And it was all you could eat burgers. Yeah. Were they crazy? <laughs> yeah. Like, who would offer all Like, the whole burger is, like, maybe this big around. Oh, so it's, it's like, like the like Yeah, no, not that small, but, like, the maybe, like, the, uh... The, the Whataburger the, Kids? Not, yeah, and that, or, like, the, the regular ones at, uh, at uh, McDonald's. Mm. But all it was on it was just meat and cheese. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I could see you crushing And they're a little bit thin, the thin patties, too. <laughs> and back yeah. then, you remember, I used to eat two or three pizzas at a time, so that wasn't nothing. That's true. So was my record at uh, CC's was forty six slices. So, and but that CC's, was, that was, their slices are small. I know, but still, but I, that was crossed and all though. 
Jeez. Yeah, I don't know why I was 460 pounds and diabetic. <laughs> I know. Uh, Cece Robbins said, yes, I can eat some wings. I yep. heard it was chicken wing shortage. I yes. heard too, That's but when I'm going um, to Ugh. our store, I think sometimes, and maybe y'all that are also in Texas, tell me this. I feel like Texas, we don't get the sh the meat shortages like other states. It well, seems kinda. like... Well, not in the grocery stores, but some of the restaurants said it. Like, when Buffalo Wild Wings were running out, remember? But we got them, buy one, get one free. Yeah. They were just tiny. Yeah. And then but, they, they shorted us, too. But that is a national chain. Right. So, it could be they just send it out to all the chain. Right. right. But I feel like if you go to Texas grocery stores, well, it doesn't yeah. look like there's any short... Like, there was plenty of wings. Especially even if they were on sale. Yeah. So... I don't know, because we were getting wings for about $2 a pound. Yeah. And that was last week. So, um, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't seem like a shortage. So, I don't know if it's like, you know, Texas and the school textbooks. You know, we, we're the state that picks it all. Uh -huh. So, do all the meat come to Texas first? And then, uh -huh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being biased. Um, Lisa said, sorry I've been quiet. Was actually making out my... Grocery list for what I need for the next week. This right. helped me from going overboard. Yes. Yeah, we're the same way. We have it on our phone. We use the Google Docs. And he writes all the different stuff. And then it's helpful on Google Docs because we have our phones with us. So if we're like going somewhere I'm like, oh, yeah, we need that. You know, like during the week, and then he just pops in there, and writes down, "Oh yeah, get mustard because we ran out." That yeah, kind of we're thing. almost out. I don't remember if it's on the list or not. It's not. Okay. Uh, a while. We're using my phone right now. Uh, Renee said that pork is y'all's fault. You're welcome. That sausage is pork and beef. Yeah. Oh, yum. I got all my quality meats on sale. Over 20 pounds of meat today. Wow. Nice. For 85? That's, That's pretty awesome. good. That's like a little bit over $4 a pound. That's still cheap. Because a lot of times we'll make our list and have our menus made up what we're going to make, you know. We'll get to the store and then they have something else on sale instead. So we'll just rearrange it. Yeah. And just we'll make something else instead because that's on sale. Yes. Uh Renee says, I make lists, but when I get there and they have sales, the list changes. Yeah, that makes sense. Karen said, I make a list and then leave it on the table. Whoops. That's why I, she was saying with the Google Docs, because we both have notes. Do you use a note? I don't remember. Renee, yeah, Brian's in Texas. He's south of us. Yeah, he's in Santa Fe. Uh, but yeah, I have a note. I'm on uh, Note 10, right? Yeah. But it's an Android note, so I can just write down my list on that. And, and that's she it, just we types do. it on her phone. Because we don't go anywhere, without nowhere phone. without our phone. No. All right, there's nowhere we go. It's like weird. I think sometimes in the night he wakes up like, where's my phone? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is she still just, asleep? Yeah, she wow. passed out. That's awesome. Oh, she's so cute. Uh-huh. Uh, Renee says, I feel like H-E-B meats are still far better than any other grocery chain. Yes. They come from Texas. I think so, Renee. Yes. But I have to say, I don't know if we already said this. So, last weekend, uh, we had, were near our house, and we kind of went a different way, and there's a what's called a Joe V's. Oh, yeah. Which I was is impressed the, with them. You were or were not? Yes. They're the, like, the... The Aldi of H-E-B. So, it's H-E-B's Aldi, right? Yeah. So, you go in, it's you pack, you sack everything yourself. Yeah, Everything's just kind of put in flats, and you grab the food. It's not, they don't have all the special, like, there's no Prasics there. Right. Uh, but it's a lot of H-E-B brand, the Hill Country brand, and, uh, but, like, the cheeses are just limited. <coughs> like, it's just the popular items. Like, they didn't have Swiss cheese. And then they had meats, and the meats were generally about 50 cents cheaper per pound. Well, uh, that's where we got our hamburgers, but then they had some ribeyes for like $6 a pound, and we got them. Well, I noticed that they seem to age a little more quickly than the yeah. ones we get from H-E-B, because the H-E-B one, generally, we could keep them in the fridge for a whole week, and they're still fine. These started to have the little bit of brown on the edges 
And when we cooked the ribeye, I cooked it just like I do all my other ribeyes, but it was chewy. Yeah. So I'm thinking it might have been the chuck rope or the chuck eye part of a ribeye. I don't know. Something just wasn't as good. And I'm thinking that maybe by the time it gets to Joe V's, it must already be like older. Like mm -hmm. it must be HB knows that, okay, these we only have a couple days, so send it to Joe V's. And keep the fresher at the HEB. Right. Something. I mean, it is good, especially when you're penny pitching. Okay, here's how you can save. Like on the burgers, we save fifty cents per package, which three packages that's a dollar fifty. You know that then you know pays for something else like the cheese. But um, it's just I feel like maybe on the meats you got to use them a little quicker. Well, hey Brian, I got a question. If you're still around. Since you worked at H-E-B for so long, why do they have an H-E-B brand and a Hill Country Fair? <laughs> right. Well, I mean, seriously, I don't understand why. They do both. And they're both store brand stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Renee said, I use my notes program in my phone, so it's always with me. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, That's the way I used to do uh, it before the server. Brian just said goodnight. He had okay. to go. Who are you? I'm hollering later. Yeah. I, I know his number. <laughs> Do you? Uh, oh, and older Pennsylvania said, "Have a good night, everybody." All right, Time good for night. Late Thank dog for walkies. Oh, this is what? Late dog walkies. Well, oh, I want to yeah. know what kind of dogs you have next time. We'll have to walk ours pretty soon. Yes. Uh, Linda said, "Hi, I'm back. I ate. What did you have, Linda? Oh, and Linda wants to know what I'm drinking. I got this at Whole Foods. It's their mineral sparkling water. So oh. I was reading." Judy Cho, if anybody follows her on Instagram, she, like, wrote a carnivore book and everything. She goes into the science of everything. I don't go real deep into a lot of it because it's like, okay, I know. Meat's healthy. Let's stick with it. But she was saying if you're going to drink water to get the mineral water because then you're getting actual minerals, which are good for you. Which if you're just drinking, like, plain, plain water or the other just sparkling waters, you're not really getting all the minerals that you should be getting. So anyhow, uh, so this is a sparkling mineral water by Whole Foods, and it's pineapple passion fruit flavor. Why does it feel like we're doing a commercial? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and so, look, I take my glass, that's how I'm old. It's just mineral water with organic natural flavors. But it, I like it too, because on the label, it tells you per serving and for the whole container. And there's no carbs, there's no protein, no fat. All that's basically in this for the whole thing is 50 milligrams of sodium and 140 calcium. So that's one way of doing it. And I generally don't drink like the whole thing right away. I kind of sip on it. Like I'll drink part of it one night and the rest the next night. Right. And, um, Let's see. Uh, Renee said, the ribs I got were the H-E-B natural brand. No hormones, so a little more, but tastes far better. Nice. Oh, that's, I like H-E-B's natural brand. Yeah. And that's the pork we get, too. The ground pork is their natural brand. Yeah. And that's I think what we comes, use for the bologna. Yeah, yeah. yeah the holy bologna. Uh, Linda said, so is Topo Chico okay? I yeah. have chicken. I don't personally have a problem with Topo. I think it's fine. Now, you know, some people, like, I know that Judy Cho and some others will say, oh, you shouldn't drink Topo. You gotta watch out for PF PUFAs or whatever, but I'm not guzzling a dozen bottles of Topo a day. I maybe have one a day. Like, to me, my sparkling water is just like my dinner treat. Um, Renee said, still 20 Hagen. Have y'all thumbs up? Aw, thanks, Thank Renee. You, Appreciate you. Linda, uh, Linda said, I'll look for that one at Whole Foods. And they had a couple other flavors, Linda. They had like five or six different flavors, I think. Did they? I don't know. Then, then they had one that was just, just water. It wasn't Yeah, flavor. just mineral. But it says product of Italy. Uh -huh. But, I mean, it was like, I think... A dollar sixty nine. Don't quote me at ours for this, but uh, it's not real strong on the flavor. Like Keith was like, "Oh, it's gonna taste like pineapple." I'm like, "Babe, no. You need no, to just set yourself." Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not real. I mean, to me, it's enough. Yeah, it's it just nice. gets that, that hint of flavor. Just enough to kind of remember what a pineapple tastes like. I mean, it's good, but I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. Well, I'd rather it be stronger. <laughs> well, yeah, but you also drink Zevias a lot, and I think they're too too much for me right. to drink a whole Zevia. Um, Karen said, yes, I smashed that button. Woohoo! I always do before I enter chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it. Blenda said, Heath has the full tummy sleepy. Yes. It actually started before we started eating. I don't know why, just this time of the night, I guess. I just like... <laughs> I know. We've uh, been on the couch before, like, editing a video. The next thing you know, we're like... <laughs> uh-huh. uh, especially this month, because we've been trying to do a video every single day for the challenge. Yeah. So it's really been like, oh, we gotta hurry up and edit this video and try to get this out tonight. And then we just gotta get go to work tomorrow. I know. I wonder sometimes too if maybe I'm like partially narcoleptic or something because I've even fallen asleep while when I used to be in a band, I fell asleep during band rehearsal while I was playing my guitar. Well, it's from all those freaking burgers you ate at, at Waffle House. Probably. <laughs> it was the carb coma. Yeah, probably. Uh, and then at the end, at the same time, just when I was sitting, I had the roommates. One worked at Papa John, one worked at Pizza Hut. And I just ate pizza every day for like a month and a half or something. Just that, that's how long they were there? A month and a half? Well, no, they would, all, they would re- replenish, but it just kind of just... I got tired of it for a little while. What? You for a little while. Tired of pizza? Well, then um, Patrick started bringing home all the ones with the olives on it to make oh. sure I didn't eat it. Oh, he, he got booby trapped the pizza to make sure I didn't eat it because he knows I didn't like olives. That way, he makes sure he had some left. <laughs> He's like, all right, all right, now I know how to get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you so, shouldn't have told him. Right. Because I can't even pick it off because it's just painted now. Oh, but yeah. Mm-mm. I love olives, not but not cooked. Like I don't, I, it's just weird to me. Like anytime something's um, pickled, like even pickled jalapenos or pickled um, pickles. <laughs> but <you laughs> like know, pickles. No, no, I'm just saying anything that's pickled, I don't like it cooked. cooked. Oh yeah. I think what ruined it is one time my mother had some pickled okra. Oh no. And pickled asparagus. No. And she was trying to create a dish. Uh-huh. And she took the pickled asparagus and, like, uh, chopped it up. And then cooked it with, like, a cream mix oh, that sounds awesome. to make creamed asparagus. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> but no. it was, like, no. all that vinegar in the asparagus from being pickled. And then... <laughs> With oh, that, no. she said it was the worst tasting stuff ever. And I was just like, oh, why would you ever even cook something that's pickled? It's it's good. You don't need to cook it. She's like, well, I wanted hot asparagus. I was like, oh. So go buy some uh, fresh asparagus. I know. Man. The only uh, exception I make is I will cook the pickled jalapenos. Like I'll put them on pizza or something like that. Or nachos. No. That's still good. Linda said, wow, I'm glad you told me. I never knew that. Well, you're welcome. Shauna said, woohoo, I made it in time to say goodnight to a sleepy looking heat. Ha 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 Thank you. <laughs> now you go to sleep. <laughs> wow, welcome back, Shauna. How was the party? Did you yeah. do well? Like I know you did. Yeah. Um, you fun? Yeah. CC Mama said, love me some Zevia too, Heat. Nice. And then she told Sean, yes, Heath is about tapped out. I'm um, not either. I'm trying to decide. Am I taking her for the walk or are you? Which one is taking Delilah for the walk? Which one is doing the dishes? <laughs> she thinks I'm doing it all. <laughs> you uh, did leave all the comments. That's right. And I worked hard today. Yeah, you did. What does that mean? Uh, there was something on the table. I'm sorry. That's what I thought. This might be teeth last night. <laughs> oh, Lisa said, I'm headed to bed. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Lisa. Thanks for Good joining night. us. Thanks. See you next week. Uh, uh, Linda said, hmm, could we mix a Zevia and dilute it? 
You could, but why? Oh. I have heard, I don't know if you do the keto chow, but I have heard people use the Zevias as their liquid for the keto chow. Like somebody was making a butter beer, you know, the um, the Hogwarts Harry Potter thing. They were using the Zevia, uh, let me think here, is the Zevia cream soda, cream soda with, uh, was it the Snickerdoodle? I or the salted caramel, one of those, and it was supposed to taste like butter, that butter beer from uh, Harry Potter. Huh. Renee said, I used to love the awful waffle steak and fluffy omelet with cheese and their coffee sticks to your ribs, but back then I used to also get cheese grits too. Oh, yeah, I've never been a fan of grits. I like grits. The awful waffles, <laughs> steak and fluffy omelet. Mmm, that sounds kind of good. My biggest though. thing I always looked forward to when we ate at Waffle House was the hash browns. <sighs> Linda said, "Have you ever had pickled eggs? Do they taste good?" Oh, no. good night, Michelle. Yes and no. <laughs> I've had them, and no, they do not taste good. Well, we tried the pickled chicken eggs. Yeah. I think we all agreed those were okay. Yeah. But then the other one was the pickled ox. No, the pickled um, ostrich eggs. Oh right? yeah. No, was it? No, it wasn't ostrich. Quail eggs. Yeah, that was no. And those were a no, no, no. Like we all said no. Well, yeah, when we, Stephanie and Jimmy came to visit, they did. We did our own uh, fear factor thing. Yeah, they she, brought she just some. Surprised us. Yes, because she likes a, like the pickled. Um, ham hocks, and she's like, oh, she saw uh, pickled eggs. She's like, oh, let's have that. So we tried, and the pickled eggs were okay, but the pickled quail eggs, we all just said nope and threw it in the trash. That's how much we disliked it. Yeah. But um, I, it isn't something I would go for. If, if there was nothing else and I was starving, okay, I would eat it. Otherwise, no. Uh, Gail said, that's funny, Shelly. Hot pickled asparagus. Oh. Yeah. No. That was just awful. That I sounds like, like no. I don't know why. That sounds awful. <laughs> it was It was awful. Shana said, yes, I made my chocolate raspberry cheesecake keto chow. It was so full, even the garlic bread and cake didn't took me. Yay! Yeah, nice. See, Shauna, I knew you could do it. And I'm telling you, that keto chow, I promise was way better than any of the stuff they had. CC Mama said, I don't know about that. Hot pickles asparagus. No, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. That's like, uh, that's what you feed somebody you don't like. Oh, here, let me do this, and I'll just mix some butter and yeah. cream and pour it over All with right. the asparagus and cook that together. And, All right. Because mm. oh. <laughs> my mom, like, loved uh, creamed asparagus. And then when she would make it, did y'all, anybody ever have creamed asparagus? So when she would make it, so she'd get fresh asparagus, kind of like, um, chop it up, you know, not real small, but enough where there was chunks. And she'd cook it with some butter, and then she would add cream and get it nice and creamy. And then, here's, like that, perfectly keto. But yeah. then she would get bread, uh, and she'd be healthy and do wheat bread, toast it up, put two pieces of toast on her plate, and then cover it with the creamed asparagus. And she's like, oh, this is a perfect dinner. She loved it. And I was like, but there's no meat. And she's like, oh, no, I could be a vegetarian. Uh, Linda said, oh, wow, Zevia with Keto Chow. Yes, uh, Linda, if you're part of the Keto Chow Facebook group, People in there are so creative yeah, with they really are. their mixes and everything. And that's people have been experimenting with Zevia as the liquid for a keto chow. I mean, I've thought about what that'd be like, but like as far as I've gotten is like doing coffee with it. I'll do sometimes I'll have like you know my dinner coffee with just like a tablespoon of chocolate peanut butter or mocha or something. Well, like with this black cherry, what would I mix that with? Vanilla? Vanilla and what? Maybe the chocolate? Because chocolate and cherry go together. Yeah. Uh, or mocha, chop, black cherry mocha? Maybe. 
But then doesn't it lose a lot of the carbonation? I don't know. I wonder if that would make, you know, that would probably make a really good cake. Because you remember we used to make 7-Up cakes and yeah. stuff? Because the carbonation, I bet you could do a cake with it. And that would be good. Like make the batter and everything. Pour it in the mold. And then that I wonder if that would make the cake real light and fluffy. That's a good idea, right, y'all? Uh, I uh, uh, right? Um, okay, let's see. Where did I get? Are you going to use a lemon lime or are you going to use one of these other flavors? Well, you could, yeah, you could you do an that. actual 7 Up cake with the lemon lime. Or there's an orange, too. Their orange soda is pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Or that strawberry. That's yeah, rich. Oh, that'd be good, too. The <laughs> strawberry cake? Yeah, but then. Yeah, but I was saying to use their strawberry also as like a mug cake kind of thing. That's true. Y'all, I don't know why, but I've been, I've been seeing all these pictures uh -huh. of fresh strawberries because it's strawberry season. And I kind of want strawberries, but I don't want like a whole pint. I just want one strawberry. <laughs> one strawberry. Is that silly or just like, like I thought about, tell me what you think if this is silly. Like, because it's been... Gosh, probably over a year and a half since I've had any fruit whatsoever. So I was thinking, what if I go to the farmer's market, buy the, if they won't sell me one or two, buy the pint, take out the two that I want, and give it to somebody else the rest. Is that just silly, or should I just not even mess with it? Is it not worth mm -hmm. having a, a strawberry? Just tell me that's, that's just plain silly. I don't need it. It's not going to do anything for me and just uh, blow it off and in two weeks they'll be out of season. Blow it off. Shauna said, found out all the 5,000s already taken care of for the niece's school too. Wow, wow. That's so good. That's amazing. Yeah. Rhonda Clark said, oh no, y'all, you still, you not still here? Are you trying to beat our four hour night? Oh. Maybe. Uh, if Maybe. I can stay awake. We'll do like uh, everybody keeps suggesting to Joe and Rachel. We'll do the 24 hours. Uh, Renee said, I got pickled quail eggs for a Bucky's and actually like them. Ah, well, we should have saved those for you then, Renee. Yeah. Shauna said, I like pickled pickles. <laughs> yeah, you know, pickled pickles. I used to love the, the, the sweet pickles or the bread and butter. Yeah, the bread and butter, they, uh, they were good. Cece Mama said, just shooting the breeze here. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. This, this is our social hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Renee said, don't forget to add the butter, coconut, <laughs> coconut oil, bacon fat, heavy cream, and kitchen sink to your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of cocoa. I mean, I was like, yeah, the cocoa. Fresh cocoa, too. <laughs> right, some fresh cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm starting to get a little antsy. These dishes are yelling at me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I know. They're laughing because they're like, yeah, Renee's already exercised, got grocery shopping, and got back home. Right. During our live. Well, maybe we should call it a night. Oh, okay. Linda said she's not part of that Facebook group. Yeah, check it out. Which There's one? Some, the uh, Keto Chow one. Yeah, you should. Is this, what is it? The Keto Chow Support or Facebook? Or something Facebook about. Support Group? Something yeah. like that. Uh, Rhonda said, it's like a float. I made one with vanilla the other day. Oh, with the keto chow. Yeah. Well, you mean, you kind of did that when you do the keto chow ice cream yeah. import. Yeah. I've done it with the strawberry, and I used strawberry ice cream and the, um, strawberry, um, Zevia, and then we've done it with the ginger root beer and vanilla, and I've done it with the root beer and the root beer flavor also. Renee said, not silly, but COVID... So folks may not want it. What did I miss? May not want what? COVID. Okay. I guess. I don't know. You know, she's uh, always talking about stuff. Shia said, I made my own bread and butter pickles sugar free. Nice. Ah. Remember that one guy at the farmer's market said it's impossible to make pickles without sugar? Yeah, we were in San Francisco and they had this huge, I mean huge farmer's market. And it's like when we're traveling, I love to find like local things going on. Yeah. And there was this farmer's market happened to be on the two days we were in San Francisco. We went to it. It's right at like Pier 21, I believe. 
It's huge. So we're walking through. We were keto. We had just started keto, in fact. Um, and we went to this one guy that was selling pickles. And I was like, oh, but is there sugar in it? He's like, well, yeah. How else would you make pickles? Seriously, y'all. That's what he said. That was his response. You can't make pickles without sugar. And I was like... Who's on then, sir? Well, but you were like, well, we're buying it anyways. And I was like, uh, okay. Did we? Yeah, you bought it anyways. Because you were like, well, see, you have to have sugar to make it. Well, I that's was what like, the man said. I was like, that just doesn't sound right, Keith. And you're well, like... Well, you said we were new. Yeah, we were. Like, we had just been keto for maybe two months at that point. Yeah. So, we had just started, and we were still... And like, I was we, more low-carb than I was keto. She was yeah. more strict than I was. Right. And we had just started, like, really reading labels and paying attention, and we right. didn't even know, like, everything to look out for. It was just, like, most, mostly I was like, no sugar, no vegetable oils. But I didn't know, like, all the other terms for sugars. So, but at least I knew that and asked, but I thought that was ridiculous, right? Um... Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, exactly. Except I just. Where did it go? Oh, I want to turn the laptop to get my phone. And now you can add showered, deep condition, and shade to the list. I was talking about the strawberries you didn't want. Oh, no, silly. But COVID, so folks may not want it. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, they might I was thinking not. we should just, if we buy the whole little package of them, slice them and put them in the freezer. Hmm? Or I was thinking about like, making it like a strawberry hot sauce. Yeah. But still, I mean, you're still not eating it though, but. Yeah. Uh, but, oh, so Ronnie said just blend it with ice. Okay. Can't move, the youngest is laying on me. Uh, uh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I even want to go all the way to the farmer's market for it. Do you? No, because I don't want to get up early. And I don't want to miss keto chow. You're going to get up early. I know you. What time did you wake up today? Uh, 7. What time did you wake up yesterday? 6.30. And the day before? 4. The day before? 4. But, oh, but then no. I went back to sleep. Oh, no, but I can't get but up. But if I get up before you, I'll sit in here and watch wrestling while you continue to sleep. It's no big deal. But it's also, we get up early, we get stuff done and back to the hotel early. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you, you don't want to get up early. Uh, you final think vote. sleeping is an uh, Olympic sport. Final vote. It tell don't matter. Now, gonna, we're going to decide in the morning. No, tell me now. Yes for strawberries or no? Oh. I need to know. I need y'all's feedback. You, you make you got to make up your own mind, woman. No, they're going to make up my mind for me. Yes or no? You're a diabetic. You don't need them. I'm not a diabetic anymore. I know. Let's keep it that way. I don't need them either because if we buy the whole thing, I'm going to eat the whole thing. You know, I know me. that's what I'm saying. I'm I'll not just a moderator. I'll two out usually. and I'll be like, look, can I just buy two? I might even ask the farmer, look, all I want is two strawberries. He's like, yeah, that'll be five bucks. <laughs> probably. Because uh, I was thinking too, we could probably go out to eat and then tell them that's what you want. And they'll just bring it to you. And, but then, I'm just saying. I want to pick out because I want. You I are. Want, you're picking it out from the menu. No, it's not the same. <laughs> Renee said, I wonder how heavy Steph is lifting at the gym right now. Uh, I'm sure... Probably as, high, as heavy as my eyes. I'm sure she's tossing the tire like you did, Renee. Uh, she said, you know, Shelly's going to sleep in Manana. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I could sleep. If, if it was an Olympic sport, I would be an Olympian. I would be, be a, a gold champion. Olympian. Uh, Gail said, that explains how Heath answers my comments early in the morning. <laughs> right? And that's why Shelly answers, like, in the afternoon. Yep. <laughs> we got a system. <laughs> the only thing that she kind of regrets is I didn't bring my headphones with me. So she didn't have to hear the TV. <laughs> oh, I don't hear nothing. Oh, I can good. sleep through hurricanes. Huh? Shana said, I like strawberries, but I don't know what I'm saying yes or no to. <sighs> Should I, Shauna, here's the thing. I don't know why, 
But I've been kind of praying in strawberries because they're in season and they look beautiful. Well, Dr. Berry says that's when you're supposed to eat them. We'll put but them I was like, I was going to go to the farmer's market in the morning because I want like local fresh strawberries. I don't want something imported from Guatemala. I want Texas strawberries. Like there is Poteet, Texas does strawberry festivals. So that's what I'm wanting but I was thinking, I just want to buy like one or two strawberries. Like that's, I'm going to tell the farmer, look, I can't have a lot of strawberries. Can I just buy two strawberries and see if they'll just let me pay a dollar for a couple? So should I do that or just say, Shelly, you're being weird. Get over it and you don't need strawberries. It's been over a year since you've had a strawberry. Let it go. Strawberries aren't carnivore. I know, they're not. Just saying. <sighs> Renee says, Shauna eats lots of blueberries, <laughs> so you should be fine. Well, but they're not the same. I'm not going to have blueberries. I don't really care for blueberries, honestly. Uh, not really. The only way I ever what? liked them was in pancakes. Yeah. Chocolate and pancakes. Rhonda said, I just added cherry spark ice to my iced coffee. Chocolate keto chow. What? That sounds crazy. Good. <laughs> Linda said, Olympic sport. I love it. I'm <laughs> saying. Linda said, can you make sugar-free jam out of the rest of them? That's yeah, what I was can. thinking of two things we could do, too. Because I've got the beef gelatin. See? So I could use that, or there are sugar-free pectins that you can use, too. Well, you know what the rule is, right? Oh. If we're going to do that, we have to tape it, too. And we because, might we may have to get more jars too though, because we're running out. Because we have um we have made them before. I'm like we went to one place that up in uh, Oregon and they had like all this sh sh no no sugar stuff. Is that where we got the huckleberry stuff? Yeah. It, oh, is Oregon? Yeah, that one I said. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. They had cranberries, and I don't know why at the time I was really crazy craving cranberries, but I was like, okay, there can't be any sugar added. She's like, no, we even used the sugarless pectin. She goes, but some people find it too tart because there is no sugar in the cranberries whatsoever. I was like, that's what I want. I want a tart because I like tart and I love sour. Right. I was like, I want tart cranberries. I don't like... When cranberries are over sweet and all you taste is the sweetness, I want that tart. Is that the one where we took some of it off and put it in another jar for me and added monk fruit to it yeah. so it would be sweet enough? Right. It That's worked. What we did it worked for perfect. Him. But for me, I would just have like, I would add a tablespoon. Yeah. Uh, because there's still carbs in it. Even though there's no sugar, it still had carbs. So I'd have a tablespoon and I was like, that, that was enough for me. I just wanted that like tart flavor because a lot of times in meat you don't get a lot of tartness yeah. to it and every once in a while i love a tart and sour because to my things pre-keto when we did eat candy she would always i would go towards more chocolate stuff or m&ms that kind of thing rollos yeah she always got the really tart uh candies yeah she loved those yeah the tart stuff is just like mm. I just like sweet. Yeah, I I really like tart. Cece Mama said, I was about to say, I think she'll be fine eating strawberries in moderation. Probably. Let's do it what they said. Who was that? Was Rhonda that said it? Cece Mama. Now, Rhonda said, get it. I eat them all the time and blackberries. Yeah. Well, mm, nice I, jam. That'd be awesome, actually, to make that. That would be. Or the hot or, sauce idea. Or both. We do a little bit of each. And then, ooh, that'd be really good. Just make some chaffles and put that on that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Or, yeah, or even in the chocolate mix. Well, yeah, that too. Okay, that's an idea. But now, damn it, now I'm talking myself into getting up early. Shada said, I eat blueberries that don't have a problem. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, Brian wants us to come by tomorrow, right? That's what he said earlier. Oh. Well, there's Froberg's now towards him where you can pick your own. You, If you want to be like really natural, you go pick your own. But are they good? I don't know. I've heard of other people doing it before. <laughs> well, I've heard people doing it too. That doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rhonda said with her yogurt. Oh, yeah, that would be good. I do have some yogurt. Because you know my deal. If we go to the farmer's market in Tomball, I want to go to Tejas. 
Shauna <laughs> said, Shelly, I, I say have a few strawberries. Thank you. I don't mind reading them. I'm not going to tell her she can't, but I don't like her idea of buying them and throwing them to somebody else. If we're going to buy them, we're going to eat them. Linda said, our issue is that they sell only $20 boxes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Really, Linda? Where's that at? And Rhonda said, cranberries have a lot more carbs and raisins. Oh, wow. And Shana said, cranberries are not worth it. Yeah. yeah that's what we just, found out. <laughs> well, I mean, I still have that jar, so it's two years old now. Is because, it still good? Yeah, I mean... There's no mold well, on it, so well, to me, it's still good. We'll, we'll find out. But it, so we went on a road trip. Like, so basically, what happened? Uh, whenever I almost died, we were in New Zealand. Then we came home, and it like took almost two months for me to heal up with this huge gaping hole. Long story. So when I finally healed up, I was like, I want to go on a trip because the whole thing is we were supposed to take this long trip, this long cruise, and we weren't going to be back from the cruise until um, it was like April 19th or something. Well, I ended up getting off the cruise in mid-February, and I was like, so I missed the whole cru the other half of the cruise because I got sick, and I really, you know, I planned to be out for that. And they booked her, the, the hospital said she was safe to travel, but then the cruise line wouldn't let her go back onto the ship. Right. And so then when we got home, I told him, I said, okay, when I get healed up, and the doctor's like, okay, you could go. I want to go on a road trip, and I'd like to go up the Pacific Coast Highway through California all the way up to Oregon and, you know, go visit and do that road trip. And so... Because we were supposed to have gone to Oregon through a cruise... And the weather got canceled on that stop. Yeah. So we never got Oregon. So that was a good way we could go check it off. So then we did that. We drove all the way out and we started at the. Uh, we, we did it, probably Sean will say, we did it backwards. Uh -huh. I think we, we did. started at where the Pacific Coast Highway starts in San Diego and went all the way north, all the way up to, uh, isn't it Coos Bay or somewhere so. Oregon? I don't know, Astoria Beach, Oregon. Yeah. And so we did that whole thing all the way up there, and we had so much fun. It, it was, was amazing. It was an amazing drive. And you know, thinking back, I would like to do that again the because, a, yeah, go opposite, head from Oregon all the way to San Diego, um, because there was a lot of stops we just drove through, and yeah. there was a lot of scenery on the Pacific Coast Highway that. You have to get out and walk it. And, and we that also, we were supposed to go through the redwoods, and we got we there. Did. We weren't that impressed with it, though. No, we were impressed with the, the redwoods. Oh, there was a, what was the other one then? We went through, and then like no. we couldn't drive through it anymore. Right. So they have a. There's three stops, or there used to be three stops where you could drive your car through a redwood tree. That's what it was. We did two of them. And then the third one we went to, the place was all closed. And they didn't say anything that it was closed. And we got there, and they were like, yeah, it's closed because part of where the Redwood was that you're supposed to be able to drive your car, it had, like, collapsed. Not the tree, but the road that they built through it had collapsed, and you could no longer get as safely a car through there. Not in case it was, like, a Jeep or four-wheeler uh, because it was almost like it had... Um, like cratered really bad but they were allowing people that there was nobody there so but the gate was unlocked so we just walked through it <laughs> and went through it so it's kind of cool looking but we didn't get to drive the car through it so it's disappointing because we actually kind of like um spent an extra hour of our time just trying to do that where you know we could have been closer to our next destination yeah but that was a really, really fun trip, yes. and I was just really happy to do it. So, I don't even know where I started with that story. <laughs> Sorry. It's getting late for you, too. I know. But, yeah, so we went there, and Oregon's known for cranberries, and I I liked cranberries, so I got a jar of it, and it's been two years, and I haven't even used a third of it, right. of that container. Like it's, it's still in the door right now. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still there. Oh, like, all I ever did was I would have a tablespoon, right. and that was just enough for me to be like, oh, okay, that's good. Um, Renee said, y'all could do like Chris and make a bacon jam, but add strawberries and habaneros. 
thinking about that. I'm really good. Because we were actually thinking about doing it. I was trying to figure out making a, a, a hot sauce with it. Yeah, but that would be cool. To cook down the bacon, add the habaneros, yeah. and the strawberries to it. Yeah. And let that all soak together and make a strawberry habanero bacon jam. Do you want to? I mean, that is a really good I idea. Make it here. You feel comfortable making it here? Well, yeah, I feel comfortable okay. making stuff. Well, I mean, not make it comfortable. I mean, like, feel like there's enough stuff to do it with. Yeah, all okay. you need is a skillet. Okay. Because hmm. I've actually been trying to play with a bacon jam recipe because, you know, how we don't have a lot of sweet stuff, so I didn't want to add a lot of sweet syrups and well, sweetener to it. the berry or the strawberry will do it. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's enough sweetness. Yeah. Gail said, there's your answer. Strawberry it is. Well, I set my alarm for Eight. Roddy said, cream cheese smashed blackberries oh. with a sweetener spread on a chaffle. That Ooh. sounds amazing. That does sound good. Linda said, it's Central California, so when you buy them, you have quite a few. Oh, well, I'm wondering, that too, if we made that jam stuff, would it be good over, like, if we did another thing of uh, chicken and waffles? Oh, yeah, that'd be good, too. Shawnee said, only if you stopped in Napa. We did. We've yeah. done Napa. When was this trip? Um, two years ago. It yeah, it was two years ago. Um, April, uh, Actually, this month, two years ago, we did that trip. And it, it was a... It was a blast. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we honestly, like, because I've traveled with other people on road trips, and it's, like, such a headache. Yeah. But, like, him, Heath and I, we, like, we just mesh on a road trip. I mean, The only time we, we ever have a problem is when I drink too much Zevia. I mean, I'm a uh, Zip <laughs> oh, Fizz. Yeah. Zip Fizz. Well, sometimes we've had a little spat here and there, but nothing, like, every once in a while, I think, just because... I get on your nerves or something? No, I get on yours. Probably. But then otherwise, I mean, we just have so much fun on a yeah. road trip. Like, it's just... I'm ready to go on another one. Yeah, we're just, like, chill with it, and we just enjoy going. I think because we both want the same thing out of a trip, and we're both kind of planners. So, like, when we do a road trip, we're planning that out for, like, a month. Or sometimes, some of them we, we, we plan out for a year in advance. Yeah, and we map everything out. We're like, oh, cool, we found this and we found that. Like, we've been mapping our trip to Quito Palooza and we're like, oh, we could stop here and we could do this and let's do this. Back when we used to have cable, one of the things I used to watch Food Network, we, we used to watch Food Network all the time. And that one show, I don't remember if it was Food Network or the other the other channel, was the, the one show was uh, The Best Thing I Ever Ate. Oh, yeah. So we would take notes from that show. Yeah. A lot of time, like uh, that, um, that one from uh, Guy Fieri's show. Uh, and we'd make notes of where we were going and look up and see what yeah, restaurants they were recommending. We yeah. would we'd base our trip around that, too. Yes. Oh, Gail said, uh, if you go to San Diego, you could stop and see my daughter. Yeah, okay. we could have. I don't know why you didn't hit us up back then. All right. Uh Shot a left at us starting in San Diego. Well, we didn't know. Yeah, and we traveled from Texas, so we drove up to Amarillo. We yeah. did the Cadillac Ranch, and yeah. then we drove all the way over. We stayed in uh, Tucson, Arizona, yeah, awesome. which is gorgeous. Isn't that where we also did a little mini? We did our own tour of uh, the Breaking Bad stuff. That was another trip, okay. but yeah, we've been there to that. Um, oh, Defense Wiz, Paul's here. He said, oh, you hey. guys are still going? Yes, we're Who waiting on you? you. We couldn't leave without talking to you, man. I'm saying. Thanks for popping in. He said, I had to hit karaoke, but home now, and cool, you're still going strong. I don't know about going strong. Yeah, we're actually, I'm starting to fade. And I still got to do all these dang dishes. Um, but at least Mama, she's, at least she's sn uh, snoring so you don't yeah. have to take her out. <laughs> Cece Mama said, what does Zip Fizz do to you, Heath? Yes, do share. <laughs> Pit Stop Central. <laughs> he had it like, some people, the Zip Fizz will cause you to go to the restroom more, like uh, more number one yeah. than usual. Drain and on drain. one trip... Because he was drinking them, and he didn't know. We we were like, I don't know why you're having to go like to me, every thirty minutes. It was like just it's like I called it my keto Kool Aid. 
Because my thing is, when I'm on a road trip, like, we plan it all out, right? We're like, okay, this is stop A, B, C, D, you know? So I'm very much, okay, we're going to get here to here. You'll find a restroom at this place. So I, I'm i good to go. We can go two, three hours and wait till the next stop. And he's like, it's 30 minutes. I got to go. Gotta I didn't tell you it's 30 minutes. I said, hey, we got an issue. Yeah. Or we're fixing to have an issue in the car. I know. He's like, we got to stop. We got to stop. And I'm like, damn it. I just passed all these Stores. people. And now I have to stop. And they're all going to get ahead of me. All those slow pokes I passed. Because you got It's not a competition. It is a competition. You're crazy. It is. And I'm like, so then he would have to stop and use the restroom. And I'm like, watching all the people I sped past. And now I'm like, now they're ahead of me. Somebody had to use the restroom again. She forbid me to drink <laughs> zoo, uh, Zip Fizz unless we're already back at the hotel. Yes, it's like, no night. more. And one of them in Louisville, I love how she says that, how Autumn says Louisville. Uh, I had a customer that was from there, and she's like, I'm in Louisville. And I said, oh, okay, Louisville. Did you ask her how to say it correctly? No. Or you just mimicked her? I don't have time for that. <laughs> uh, but anyways, he needed to go so bad, I hadn't even gotten off of the the main road yet. Like, it was a Walgreens right there. I hadn't got into the parking lot of the Walgreens. He's hopping out of the vehicle to run in to go use the restroom. Well, I figured you'd like that better than be using it in the car. Well, yeah, but it was like, it was not late at night and everything. And I'm like, this just seems dangerous. You just hop it out because you can't wait for me to turn the corner. Because you didn't do it an hour ago when I asked you to. <laughs> oh, Renee said you need to make sure you wear the right shirt to make the jam heat. <laughs> you you need to hush. <laughs> Linda said, Shauna, are you in Napa? Awesome. Oh, Shauna's in Napa Valley. Oh, oh wow. nice. You know, where was the place we went that Fest Parker? Wow. Have you heard of Fest Parker, Shauna? I think that is in the Napa area. Is oh, that my gosh. Hotel like? That hotel that we yeah. loved. It was in, oh, what was the little town I called? Remember. All I know is the driving was getting on my nerves because it was so steep and curvy and windy. And we ended up at this place called Fest Parker. This hotel, y'all. It it's was, all in my Google Docs. I know. It was so gorgeous. The rooms were amazing. And, of course, there's all these little wineries and everything. They had their own winery. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I wish we could have stayed here a week. And we only had, like, one night there, right? Because we went to the restaurant. And the oh, my gosh. The restaurant was amazing. Is that the one where we ate dinner and breakfast at? And yes. Yeah. And then the next day, I told the guy, well, I can't have potatoes or anything. And so they instead sauteed me some spinach to go with my breakfast. Yeah. It was really good. Is that the one where they had the chili? It was really, really good. And I went ahead and ate the cornbread anyways just because I couldn't I couldn't pass on it. Was that the same place, wasn't it? Yeah, he had the cornbread. I was like, I'm not going to. Because they brought it out in a little miniature uh, It was like this whole skillet. thing. And, yeah. <laughs> and they served it with some kind of sweet butter. And I was like, I'm not going to eat the cornbread. Well, then I'll eat it all. And he was like, he goes, well, I'm just low carb, so I can have it. It's true. Yeah, you wouldn't do it now. Well, no. Uh, let's see. Gail said, how much did you spend in gas? Oh, gee. We oh, lost track. <laughs> I don't know. My credit card I, probably I does. I think we're still paying for it. <laughs> no, we're still paying on it. Uh, That's the American so, way, ain't it? So, yeah, I don't think it was too bad, though, on the gas. Uh-uh. You know, it's cheaper than flying. It's usually the least expensive, you know, because... We're a little bougie when it comes to the hotels that we stay at. Because yeah. we're not like, you know, the Dew Drop Inn. Which we actually came across a place called the Dew Drop Inn. Yeah. And I was like, I'm glad we're not staying at that place. I mean, I might be showing off a little bit, but we have two rules. Oh, goodness. Here we go, people. One, we never want to stay any place less than what we live in. And two, I never really want to eat anywhere that I can eat at back home. Yeah. Because what's the point of traveling then? Experience everything that's there. No, no, I know, but like, I don't want to go eat at McDonald's. Well, no, I don't, I I don't like to eat at chain restaurants either. But I mean, we've gotten better though, because we will find like Homewood Suites or. That's where um, we're at right now. Yeah, or Townhome 
love suites. And we really prefer to stay in a, uh, an Airbnb versus a hotel anyways. Yeah, we stayed at a Because usually few... they'll have a washer and dryer. Yeah, we try to do that, especially on long road trips, yeah. because then you can use the washer and dryer. And so, like, where we stayed in Oregon, that was an Airbnb, and it was really cute, because the guy who put it on, he was an artist. Yeah. So, he used a lot of his artwork in there and sculpted, like, um, a lot of the designs and the headboard and He everything. even got fancy with the, uh, the toilet paper holder in the bathroom. He, like, whittled or carved this little, like... I don't know what it was exactly. This little thing came on the wall. It looked like a tree branch, but he made it. And then just hung the toilet paper thing on there. But it was just neat. It was really cool. And it was a lot cheaper. And it, it was just a nice... Yeah. I, I love Airbnb. But I always do the entire house private. Right. I'm not going to share with you. I'm not sharing, yeah. And then also, we can just cook ourselves too and then we yeah being, and, 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 and then in the long run ends up being cheaper and then healthier too yeah because that's what we did when we were in washington dc because we booked like a week there because to see everything right and instead of going out to eat because we were in an airbnb that had a full kitchen a better one than this <laughs> but anyhow we uh just went to a whole foods and got all of our food for the week yeah. Because that Whole Foods was just like right around the corner. And so we just got everything we needed there. And that was still a lot cheaper than going. Because Washington, D.C., their the restaurants awful. are. Well, yeah. But their restaurants are so expensive. Yeah. And so it was like, well, even though we're getting ribeyes, the ribeyes are come out a lot cheaper. Yeah. Like, the, what we spent in groceries for the week was what one meal would have cost us out. Yeah. So. And we had a whole list of restaurants we wanted to try. And a couple of them we did. We weren't that impressed with them, honestly. Yeah. And I have built them up so much in my mind. Like, hearing great stories about them. Like, then we go and eat and I'm like, that was, that was, no, I'd rather cook it myself. Yeah. Cece Mama said, I'm from Amarillo, born and raised. Oh, wow. Oh, she goes, I know all about the Cadillac Ranch. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was fun. I didn't in Amarillo also where we went and I got to go to the uh, uh, wrestling hall of fame they have there. I don't think that was Amarillo. Well, I, I thought was... that was Dallas. No, no, it wasn't Dallas. No, it was, it was Dallas. Waco or something. No, no, it was, I think it was Amarillo because I always remember that it was that one wrestler from his, his family's from there. Oh, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Paul maybe said... you're wrong. Is that what you said? <laughs> I love you. Uh. Paul said, doing all right. Tired, but saw you guys were still up, so thought I'd pop in late as usual. That's, That's all right. Fine. At least you got in. Yeah. Have Thanks fun. for thinking of us. Gail said, you guys are cracking me up with the zip viz story. <laughs> yeah, I, it was fun. Ashada said, nope. Uh, Calistoga? I don't know what that I means. Know. I don't know either. Uh, Linda said, I'm going to dilute a Zevia tomorrow. Oh, well, <laughs> check out with us next Friday and tell us how it went. Yeah. Shauna said, Fess Parker is in Santa Barbara. That's it. That's what I was thinking of. Well, why don't we do that next week on the on the, on the live? We'll try the Zevia and, 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 uh, and, uh, and let me learn to talk. <laughs> I know, because I'm trying. Are you going to dilute the Zevia? I don't know if I'm going to dilute it. I'm just going to add it and use it to make a keto chow. Oh, okay. Sure. Let's do it. Do it. Do I do it in a blender or just in a blender bottle? Um. Because I'm just scared of what it's going to do in the blender. Right? But I think I can hold the lid down. But are we going to make it as a shake or you want to try to bake like a cake? Yes. <sighs> so next Friday, I forget, it's the pork tenderloin. Yeah, but we can do it with it. Okay, well, we'll see. I mean, if we're going four hours again, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll do dinner and dessert. <laughs> Uh, Paul said, I was going to say, I thought uh, Santa Barbara, Shauna, 805 country. I used to live in Santa Monica. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, that's beautiful there, too. We got, um, we had a guy, remember that's the one who did the uh, tour with us in the extended Jeep? He had, like, an extended Jeep in oh, Santa Monica. Oh, yeah, for no remember? reason. <laughs> no. It you was... didn't do nothing with it, but you drove around in it. Well, maybe I'm thinking of a different one then. Remember the guy? He was like total surfer dude. Yeah. And he was like, oh, yeah, I grew up here in Santa Monica. Yeah. 
And then he drove us around, and then we went to all the different wineries yeah. in the area. What I'm saying, though, is it was the extended Jeep, but we didn't need it. We just needed a comfortable car. Oh, yeah, we did. And it wasn't that comfortable, but it was still fun. And yeah. it, it was cheaper. Like, what was funny is that one of the wineries, uh, so it was, like, my whole family and he, <laughs> and at one of the... Uh, wineries we were there tasting wine well at each winery we were hitting up the uh tour from the cruise ship directly was also doing it but they had a big tour bus that holds like you know 50 60 people so they would get in they would do this tour real quick because there's you know 50 60 of them and they you know have their little samples and then they'd have to get back in their bus and we would show up and because there was just six of us, we'd get, you know, a little more personalized. And the way our tour guide did it is we would hit the uh, winery before, like, he knew the schedule. So we would hit it, like, 20 minutes before he knew the bus would get there. So then we'd get to sample this stuff first. And then we would get back in the comfortable-ish Jeep. <laughs> well, at least we had room. And then we would go to the next stop. And then at the one... Uh, we had like this really nice spread, uh, spread for lunch. Like uh, he set us up because this uh, winery had a picnic table and he set it all up. Oh, that's the one Rhonda was with us too. Yeah. Uh, that's my mom's best friend. So they set it up and ahead of time we told him, you know, what we picked out what we wanted for our lunch. So we weren't keto. So I had like this real nice, really delicious, like, lunch it had all these fresh vegetables you know because it's all local foods like they used a local bakery for our lunch so we had these beautiful sandwiches that were just so good and then the guy for dessert brought these strawberries that were just so That's freaking what you're dreaming about right now. they were so freaking huge like I could barely like fit it in my size. hand. Yes, they were huge. They were so bright red and so Tell freaking me those juicy. Were GMOs. Right? And they were so freaking juicy. Like, I mean, it was like eating candy. And even then, I wasn't eating keto. And I was like, man, these are sweet. And um, so we have this big spread. And we're at this table in a beautiful setting because it's out in um, Santa Barbara somewhere at a winery. And we're having all this fresh food. And everything's just so delicious and all the people from the bus they're like oh, yeah we had to talking to them about yeah that. they're all like walking by and seeing all this and they're like dang because you're all on that cruise with us aren't you yeah and we're like oh yeah and they're like well, what's this i don't remember this and we're like oh well, i did it private because i prefer to do private tours because one you support somebody who's local doing a tour and two generally especially if you're in a group it's going to be less expensive and they're like, oh, wow, that's really cool. They were like, well, that had to be expensive. And we were like, oh, no, it worked out to like $100 each person. And they were like, what? You only paid $100 each? And we're like, yeah, with six of us, it was just $100. And he goes, I paid $150 each for us. So each of the 50 plus people all paid $150. And he said, if we're crammed on a bus. Yeah, it's like a school bus. Yeah, he's like, we're pushed. Well, it was a motor coach. Well, I'm he not said, saying it's the same size, though. And we're pushed through these wine rings, and all we're getting for lunch is a cheap little sandwich and a piece of fruit. And he said, like, you paid less money. And you're getting more. And you're getting this nice lunch, like an actual lunch. And you're getting more specialized. He's like, dang, why didn't we do that? And I was right. like. Because that's what I was. Our, anytime we do. We rarely ever do a, uh, a tour through the cruise ship. Yeah. We almost always do personalized. Yeah. And it's that's just, why. Yeah. I mean, it's just always. And like um, when we were in. Was it? Punta. Uh, no. You know, we're um, HBO English. Yeah. We found? so we found this one tour guy. We went on one cruise in Puerto Vallarta. No, yeah, that's was not it bad. okay? And he, we hired him for a private cruise, and it was just amazing. It was just the and that's how we advertised too. Yeah, he has like HBO, HBO English. English. And so we went with him, and then when we went back there for another cruise, we went through that same area, and we hired him again. I mean, it was just like. A hundred times better than doing a cruise. Because we told him we wanted it the second time, wasn't it? Well, yeah. the tacos. 
We said we wanted local tacos. We don't want to go to like just some place. We want like actual. So he took us off into the barrio to a little truck stop. Not a truck stop, but a, a guy pushing a cart around. Yeah, it was just a push cart. And he said they were selling tacos. And then the locals, the, the, the neighborhood people walk up talking. They're like, what are you doing with all these white people here? <laughs> what were y'all doing? It's like, no, they want actual tacos. Like, they did? Is yeah. They, they asked like, me to take, take them there. Yeah. They were like, no, oh, they wow. want to eat our food because it's street food. Yeah. And, they, you know, most of the locals that go there just stick to restaurant. or most of the locals. I mean, most of the uh, visitors just stick to restaurants and the cruise ship will even tell you oh be careful don't drink the local water only eat at you know restaurants da, yeah. da, da. only these certain restaurants and i was like look i trust this dude he's lived here forever he did live in california for some time yeah and then he came back to puerto Vallarta, and i was like look just I i'm want... friends with him on facebook now yeah i was like i want like authentic tacos like that's what I like want. Real and, tacos. Yes. I said, I want where all the locals go for their tacos. And it was this street vendor who just, he's like, yeah, though, we should either park here or over there. They always have a line. And it well, was like fabulous tacos. Yes. Yeah. Like, it was so good. And where were we at that one time where the, fam, the, 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 the whole family was there? They're staying a week and we were on the cruise and we got, were eating lunch. San Juan. So, yeah. And he was so mad. Because his wife and kids were there. The wife was cool. She would eat whatever. But the kids only wanted burgers. And yes. we're over here eating that. Isn't that where we had the yeah, mofongo? Yeah, the mofongo. Yeah. And he was like, y'all are eating that? He was I wish I could get my kids to eat that. And they're like teenagers. And all they wanted were burgers. And he's like... Oh. He was like <laughs> visibly mad. Yeah, yeah. He talked to us more than he did his family. Cece Mama said those are some good rules, he. Thank you. Oh, Shauna said she lived in L.A. for six years. Oh, wow. Back in 94 to 2000. She was a nanny. Wow. Nice. My, my brother lived there for a little while. Linda said those are great travel rules. Everyone likes awesome. your travel rules. Uh, oops. Jumping on yeah. Okay. Shauna said, oh, I read that one. Shauna said, my travel rule is only local coffee shops. I'm with you there, yeah, Shauna. I too. like that, too. Because we always have to look at the menu, though, to see if I can at least order a, a soda or something. Or, or at least uh, make tea for me. Gail said, I can't believe how Delia has been sleeping so long. I wish I, I know. could sleep Did you give like her that. a pill tonight? No, I haven't given it to her yet. Oh, boy. Did we give it to her this morning, though, didn't you? Yeah. You should give it to her twice a day, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paul said, I was there from 93 to 2002. Now, the funny thing about your job is my ex-fiance coordinated nannies for many of the high-power players in Hollywood. Oh, wow. What? Shana we'll said, shaker, I worked huh? for two families. Uh, first family is supposed to be two weeks, but lasted eight months. She's a casting director. Her hubby's oh, wow. a producer. Wow. What? Well, it oh, is L.A. Mama asked Terry Funk? Is that yes. Her? That's him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because his place was the, the Funkin' Dojo. Wow. Oh, and she was with, uh, it was the casting director for NYPD. Oh, wow. Paul said, that's too eerily coincidental. Right? That's so funny. Small world. Ronnie said, I'm picky on road trips. I want to spend a little on hotels and spend more on attractions. Yeah. As long as it's clean and safe. KPL Hotel is expensive to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, Loft, glad my brother's going to pay for it. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it is a little high. I mean, we did get the little bit of discount uh, going through... Um, AAA? No, no, going through Autumn's Link. Oh, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, it would have been like know. an extra 100 bucks. Yeah. yeah, that is a little pricey, I think. Because, honestly, when we... Okay, so here's... He says that, right? Here's the exception, though. Because we're members through Caesars, yes, which is a casino. If we go to some place where there is a Caesars property nearby, or we'll plan the trip to it, to yeah, that. then we'll stay there because we can usually get a casino room for under a hundred dollars or free. Yeah. Uh, Often time I've gotten them for free, or so, you only have to pay like 50, 60 bucks or whatever. Right, under hundred. Yeah. So in Louisville, across the river is Indiana. And they have a casino there that is a Caesars property. So both times we've gone through Louisville, we've stayed at the casino, yeah. and we've actually gotten it for free both times. So that's kind of how we did that. And the only reason why we didn't do it this time for Akita Palooza is because all the everybody else is staying at the hotel. We want yeah. to hang out with everybody. Yeah, so I didn't want it because I have found when I've gone to conventions in the past, and I've only done a couple. 
is it seems like if you're not at the hotel where everything is, then you kind of miss out on some, like, after-hours things. Like, impromptu stuff. Yeah, and so I didn't want to waste time or be traveling somewhere and then miss out on yeah. whatever else I could just um, basically drop in and be part of, whether they wanted me to be or not. Right. <laughs> um, let's see. Shauna said, set up a nursery at her office at the Fox lot while they napped. I got to learn casting. Wow, that's, oh, that's cool, cool, Shauna. That's really cool. Wow. Did you ever want to, like, try to be in anything? Like, were you like, oh, I think you should, like, have me as an extra in this movie or this yeah. TV show. Because that's what I'd be doing. Yeah. I just want to be the extra back there drinking my water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Didn't we is, almost get to see it uh, taping? Wasn't it NYPD Blue? We showed up and it was like we were a day or two earlier, late or something. Remember, we saw all the signs. Was that in New Orleans? That was in New Orleans yeah. for that. Um, no, that was the CSI uh, show. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, the, yeah, the New They were supposed to be one. taping, but we showed up like a day or two early or something. Yeah, we were a day early. We thought about trying to stay an extra day and see and if we so could, be we could just see the taping, but we're like, no, let's just get let's home. Let's go home, yeah. But we did get to at Universal in yeah. California. We got to see quite a bit, and, and that then, was cool. The backstage and everything. Yeah, that was cool. And then we got uh, what's that one show? The night show. Um, Jimmy Fallon. We had yeah, to, we had well, to that be was in the, New York. Yeah, we had to be in a taping with that. Yeah, he. I mean, really, we weren't on camera, but we got to watch them. I mean, you could kind of see me on camera if you know what you're looking for, and you have a magnifying glass. <laughs> right. But he, then we almost didn't even get to sit with each other. We did get to sit with each other. Well, you were in the back and I was on a different road because we got called. It, it's like a lottery system. But we got in. and uh, But he actually got to like slap Jimmy Fallon's hand. Yeah, he went through give me a high five. He went in through and gave him a high five and a couple of other. What did he say? Love you, man? Yeah. I was like, of course, because I'm Heath. Rhonda said, nope, no roommate. I was going to pay, but since our birthday is the week before, he said he wanted to pay for the trip. Oh, oh nice. I'm going somewhere the week before for our 60th birthday. Wow, that's awesome, Rhonda. Hell, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, let's see. You're skipping a lot, huh? No. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Oh, Shauna said good night. Good night, oh, Shauna. Good night, Shauna. See you I tomorrow morning, you. probably. Uh, okay. Uh, Paul said, that is exactly the types of trips I love also. Forget the tourist stuff. Off the path is the best. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like too. I like to go just unusual stuff. And now that we're losing weight and everything, our next big, or my idea of what we need to do next is start hitting up amusement parks around the country. So I've always loved roller coasters, but I was always too big to fit in them. And now... I mean, I think I'm maybe still be too tall. My legs might be too long, but I'm willing to try it and see. Yeah, I definitely want and to. And I, I still want to go to Disney World, Disneyland. I've never been to either one of them. I think it'd be fun. But I'm thinking if we need to go, we need to save up and stay a week. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially at Disney World. There's yeah. so much to do. Rhonda said, "I've never gone anywhere by myself." Hubby wants to come. I said, "Nope, I like being by myself." Oh, wow. Right. Uh, I learned to be alone and love it because my husband works out of state most times. Aw, well, we'll wow. be there, Rhonda, so you won't be alone. Uh-huh. But she loves it. Yeah. Well, probably you'd like to have, like, a your own time. room. I do, yeah. too. I don't like to share. Well, I share with you. Oh, you're okay. you're part you of me. Okay. Uh, Renee said, I only go to local coffee shops all the time. Not a fan of Burt Bees. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Renee. <laughs> That's awesome. I like local coffee shops, but unfortunately, here in Houston, they're kind of me. No, it you there's not. They don't last. Like there was one at Old Town Spring, and it closed. Oh yeah. Uh, there was one right up the road here, and it closed, and now it's a different restaurant. Oh. They just don't seem to last. But Starbucks, Jesus. I mean, they... Yeah, when we were in Seattle, there was a Starbucks in the Starbucks. Yeah. But um, I, I what we have here is a lot of local roasters. Yeah. So I do get that, um, and I enjoy that. So, like, when we go to the farmer's market, I do like it because there's two local coffee places that will have hot coffee there 
that you can have at their coffee. So I will do that. I always get my coffee from them. But see, if we go to Tejas, they make their own too. Oh my gosh, we're not going to Tejas. <laughs> um, yeah, she's saying that because oh. it's $30 a pound sometimes for the brisket. I can buy a whole brisket for that. Right? Oh, Gail, Gail says uh, she hates traveling alone. She gets anxious. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was watching something on TikTok where this woman was giving all these tips. She's like, when you travel alone, make sure you do this, this, and this. Don't ever tell anybody. Right. Blah, 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 blah. If you're at a hotel and somebody's like, oh, are you alone? Just say, oh, no, my husband's already up in the room and stuff like that. Or, yeah. oh, or act like you're on the phone and say, okay, I'll be there at the bar shortly. So that then they think that, you know, you're there with friends. Right? That's smart. <laughs> Uh, ooh, okay, there it goes. Ear hustling on my way home. Awesome, Shauna. Renee nice. said, I saw a taping of one of the CSI shows when I was in New Orleans a few years back. They were filming the Finding a Body in a Thin Small Alley. Oh, wow. Wow, maybe it was, you were there at the same time we were. Because <laughs> that's what they were, it was like off in an alley and there was like a, a hotel. Isn't that really all there is in New Orleans? Those alleys. Well, that's true. That's true. I love New Orleans too. Yeah. I don't know if I like it as much now. Because I, I feel like I'm it. too restrictive on our food. Because the stuff we used to do in New Orleans though was eat, eat, eat. Yeah, we did. But you could still get all those wonderful oysters. No, that's true too. And I just love walking around New Orleans. Yeah. It's just a good vibe yeah. to me. Yeah, it just, is. I mean, it's cool. I love that. I, I love, love visiting. I just don't want to live there. I love historical, yeah. like really old cities because I love just walking around and just exploring. And I just think, wow, 300 years people have been walking these same streets. Right. Like, think of all of the people who have ever walked cool. here. All the stuff they've gone through, and like I'm here now walking through. Think of how the buildings have changed through the years. You know what? What were their lives like back then? I I, I daydream a lot, <laughs> and so I really love historical cities because they're just so much fun. There's just so much. Remember this we like Salem, walking around there. And stuff. Oh, I loved walking that around was Salem. Awesome. Salem was so much fun. I mean, some of their little shows are a bit gimmicky. But just walking around was a blast. I loved it there. And I loved Savannah was yes, a lot of fun. Was Charleston was yes. fun. I, I don't know. I love this. I just love traveling, honestly. Yeah. That's what that's what needs to be like my job. I need to get paid just to walk around cities. Linda said it's true. Travel on your own is fine. You get used to it. Oh, okay. Um, Paul said, I got to head out. Glad I was able to catch you guys. We'll hit the replay to watch the cooking part. Uh, thanks, Paul. Thanks. thanks for stopping in. See you in. next week, hopefully. Yeah, we need to stop this soon. Well, how long did we go? It was week before, last week, we cut it short. Week before, how long did we go? Four hours. We're almost there. We All right. We, ten more minutes. Should we go to the ten more minutes? Yes. Or no. We're 15 in minutes and break the four hours. Renee said, I guess small beach town area, we have several mom and pop coffee. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm excited to yeah. visit you because I really want to go to that coffee shop. I'm like really excited about it. Good. Wow, Linda said, we had a Long John Silver's turn into a Starbucks. It still looks like a Long John. Wow. That's hilarious. Like, does the coffee taste kind of fishy? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's hilarious. Wow. Well, I did go, like, tonight to Starbucks. That's where I started my Starbucks. I, that's my little treat. And sometimes you go in the mornings, too. Well, not often. Because a lot of times you're like, oh, I can't go today. Look at that line. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's one right, right before the turnoff to our house. And so we have to we have to basically drive by it to go to get to our house. So she yeah. has to look. She's like, mm -hmm. and sometimes um, no, nope, no, nope. <laughs> I can see the cars from here. No, nope. but uh, what I I did get because there's been people talking about the Odyssey coffee oh, from yeah. Starbucks, and I grabbed it back today because before people were talking about the Hawaiian Reserve blend that it was like phenomenal, and I missed out on it. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab the Odyssey if they have it. So I'll try it and see. I'm a, I'm up for any type of coffee. Yeah. I will drink coffee, and so I'm always gonna be like, okay, let's try it. And you know what? I think the last time we went four hours, we actually started early. Remember, we jumped on early because there's so many people in the thing. 
So um, I think we've hit our mark. Rhonda said, Hubby doesn't have anything in common with low-carb people. He would just be sitting around asking, can we go here or there? I want to enjoy being with light minds. Aww. Right? I get that. You know, you don't want... Well, Shelly made me go keto with her. So yeah. I'm... I'm, I'm but I, I kind of get that because, like, I've thought of, like, going to different, like, because I'm kind of geeky. And I was like, but I would be thinking the whole time he's going to be so bored. Even though he'll be like, I don't care if this is what you enjoy. Because how many times you go to wrestling stuff right. with me? But in you. the back of my mind, I would be thinking the whole time, oh, he's going to be so bored. Oh, he's so bored. He's just sitting there. I got bored. I know, but still, I'd be thinking, he's so bored. Well, I guess I'll go now because I don't want, you know, like, oh, I've been here long enough. But I can't help it. I can't get that out of my mind. I understand that it's just like, whereas if if it wasn't, like, if you you were into it or if you were going to something else, then I'd be like, oh, cool, I'm going to enjoy this. Well, see, that's kind of how it was when I was still trying to play poker all the time. I I was thinking about that the whole time I was in her playing. See? Because I know you're... Well, you, you know, but yeah, but mine, yours was more expensive because you were with the slot machines. <laughs> but I did pretty good. Did you? Did better than you some days. Uh, Cece Mama said, I wondered if they still have ro- uh, roasters around. We have a local coffee shop called the White Rhino. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, what's that girl? Her, her and her husband have one. Chris. Now. Yeah, Chris, yeah. Yeah, Chris and Alex. Yeah. yeah they're they're the... Um, uh, you're going to see them tomorrow. District Roasters. Because I bought a bunch of... Was it Stevia? Yeah. Remember, and I didn't realize it actually had some stuff in it, so I ended up yeah. just giving them to him. It was like Stevia and the Raw. We didn't know it had all this other stuff in it, so... So I just we gave like, the whole package to him to hand out like, to his customers. Hey, would you use this because we're not going to. We don't... We, uh, what it was, we bought it through Amazon. Amazon refunded it. And they were like, just keep it or give it away. So we were like, hey, do you want to use this to put out for your customers? He's like, sure. Because uh, they'll sell, you get bags of their different types of roast. And like, they actually have a new one this weekend. Well, and then you get the hot coffee, whatever flavors they happen to have that day. And they also do nitro. Yeah. And you can buy a whole growler from them too, can't you? I know. If they have it in stock, they yeah. usually sell out. Renee said, I love Acme Oyster House. Yes, yes. That yes. was good. And Felix. Yes, Felix's I mean, good. was really good. Yeah. Uh, she said, hashtag goals. Right? Yes, 10 more minutes. Because uh-huh. yeah. like I said, that night we went four hours. Didn't we start early that night too, though? Yeah, we did. So it means we've already hit our mark. Let's but go to the left. start early tonight. We, we did started tonight. right on time. I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Renee said, the one that roasts their own is the barbecue place, but a few other local coffee shops, the one that does amazing nitro on tap. You didn't tell me about the nitro one, Renee. She okay, okay, we're we're getting off here because we're driving to Rockport tonight. <laughs> but then you're going to miss your strawberries tomorrow. I'm sure we can find some along the way. <laughs> I'm serious. I can't wait to go to Rockport now even more. Do they sell growlers? <laughs> right? Nitro brew on tap? You didn't tell me that part. Is she not a Nitro fan, I guess? I love Nitro. I know, but it is Renee. Oh, I don't know. Linda says, wow, the white roto sound, right? It's <laughs> getting late, huh? <laughs> the white rhino sounds fancy. It does. Uh, uh, she said, uh... Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I, you think I'm crazy? Uh, she goes, but I really enjoyed their company. I tell Heath's testimony to my family all the time. Who's this? Cece Mama. What? Are you wow. talking about me outside of church? What? Oh, now they're saying, Gail said, he is doing awesome. Aw. Uh-huh. Rhonda said, love the slots. No. I'm really good. I... I Okay, I'm not that good at slots. There's no <laughs> no no. I'm good at finding the right slot machines. Uh, so I like uh, to look for ones that have extra bonus games attached. Uh, I okay. You're over there, but how many times have you joined me on the slots? I know, but it hurts. Cause I hate gambling. I really do. You sure wasn't hurt when he's like, "Can I have twenty more?" <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm sitting here bored. Uh, so I'm just feeding the machine. 
Well, and why were you feeding the machine? Because you already broke out of poker. Well, because the game broke out. Not because I did. The game stopped. Uh, Renee said, whoop, whoop. Y'all had 29 folks at one time, and there are 26 likes. Wow. Awesome following. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Linda said, I can pull some slots, too. Uh. Cece Bonnet said, Heath and Shelly are the true picture of the proper human diet. What? We got her fools. <laughs> oh, no. I'm trying. I really am. I think we, we do try really hard. That's why it's such a battle with the strawberry because I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't know. I mean, we try. I think that's just the best that everybody can do. We're all here like for the same reason. We're all trying to get healthy and live better lives and not be suffering. Because I was reading somebody in 2KK who was saying that before keto, they couldn't even stand up in a shower. Oh, wow. That's because their rough. joints hurt so bad. Right. And I just think, to me, it's like when people say that and they share how much keto has helped them, it really like saddens me when I see these other people who are like opposed to keto or putting keto down because whatever their... It's a crazy diet. Yeah, whatever their reason are. I mean, because we've had friends tell us, oh my gosh, you're going to kill yourself. And I'm like, why would you say that with such a closed mind when all the time, every single day, I read people whose lives have changed by going keto. It's not a weight loss diet. It's a health diet. People, a health optimization diet. Yeah, people are changing their lives. Because remember I told her. Yeah. I said, I'm down 150 pounds. I'm no longer a diabetic. I've lost all this, you know, I've gone down two shoe sizes, you know, but I'm killing myself. How does that work? Yeah. As you're eating your freaking McDonald's every day. And I'm like, but what, what? just the people being able to stand in the shower. Like, I think people who feel generally healthy, like, for example, uh, your younger brother. Yeah. He doesn't have issues. a whole lot of issues. So to him, he's just like, oh, just anything you eat, you just eat it in moderation. He doesn't understand there are people who are suffering and can't walk or have difficulties walking with canes and walkers can't stand in the shower, who have so much internal inflammation, but the doctors aren't telling them that it's inflammation causing it. The a pill. Yeah, you, you know, they're just giving them more pills that then cause these other side effects that then cause this. So they're just living thinking, well, this is the way it is. I'm supposed to be miserable. And then they go on keto and the inflammation goes away and all of a sudden they can stand up in the shower again. I mean, I just feel like that is like an incredible difference. And I just don't understand why yeah, it's opposition. not out there more to tell people you don't need to suffer. Right. Because that's what gets me. It's just, I have a lot of friends that all the time are telling me, like one girl I'm quote unquote acquaintances with on Facebook, she's saying all the time, like, oh, she's got this um, unknown hip pain and she's only like 30 this horrible hip pain MRIs and everything can't see anything wrong with it and they're like just take another pill there's nothing wrong with you and she's like it's oh. all in her head yeah it, well she's just it's so much pain every single day all this stuff going on takes her forever to heal well she's a vegan and I want to tell time. her well I know but she's suffering because she thinks in her head the vegan diet is what's going to be healthy but meanwhile, every day she, you know, she had uh, forever where she had a fever constantly. It wasn't COVID. She got tested over and over and over again. But she just kept having a fever that just wouldn't go away. She had all these other things going on. And she's like a nurse. But they're all like, well, no, it's just, we don't know what it is. Here's you a pill. Maybe it's fibromyalgia. And it's like. All she needs to do is cut out all of the carbs she's eating that's causing all of this and just eat some meat. Yeah. But I can't tell her that because she'll just be like, oh, you're just an animal killer. But I just feel sorry for people. Anyways, that's my rant. Oh, Linda says she loves nitro too. Uh, Renee said, and they have curb service with an app starting super early. Love Nitro. They limit your serving, so I buy two. Why do they limit it? To make sure they have enough for everybody? Whatever. 
over? I guess. No, I'm on my, my, my mask. What is decaf, shall I ask? I don't know what that is. Dirt? Dirty water. <laughs> uh, Rhonda said, I'm going carnivore next week. Why not tomorrow? Yes, the buffaloes. Rhonda said, I don't go out to clubs and I can play by myself. Okay. Right. I never do clubs either. Um, let's see. Renee said, work has a potluck next week for OT month. And they asked if I was bringing protein bars. They tried so hard this morning to get me to eat a dang donut. Why? So is your protein bar going to be bacon? Because that's what I would have said. Yeah, I'll bring bacon. Linda said, so true. The workplace is especially challenging. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's one of the things I'm really glad that I still work from home. Yeah. Even though I have to drive to work from home. But anyhow, because I, uh, some of the people I've talked to, because the main uh, office is in McKinney, and they were like, oh, yeah, at the office all the time. We have pizza parties. We uh-huh. have this. And we have this. And I remember when I worked at corporate, like all the time, there was either a potluck or, oh, we're going to go to Sonic and get everybody a smoothie today, or we're going to go here and treat everybody to this. And it's like, well, I'm kind of glad. I mean, yeah, I kind of miss sometimes, you know, the the fun um, inner office um, relationships you get. But then at the same time, I'm like, but I don't want to go into work and see all these donuts, all these other stuff all the time where I can just work at home and I don't have any problems. And Steph said, wow, y'all still here? Just got back, had a shower, grabbed a cup of coffee. We're waiting on you. I know. I've been waiting all this time, Steph. And you left us. I know, but here we are, hanging in for you. Can definitely tell we missed last night's workout. I bet. Shonda, it hurts me daily knowing what I know now and after years of watching my mom suffer. Yep. And now that she's gone, oh, I know all this info, just the thought of worry, could I have saved her if I knew sooner? Well, like I used to argue with, argue with my dad, remember? Yeah. Oh, he told me he could be carnivore. No problem. I was like, Dad, your favorite thing in the world is a plant. You will not give up your cigarettes. Right. I, uh, Sean, I'm so sorry for losing your mom. Yeah. You know, that that is, it is something that you think about, but you know, what is it Dr. Barry says, when you know better, you do better. Right. So don't punish yourself for not knowing in the past because, I mean, it's not really our fault because, you know, in case you deep delve into this, people in the main don't know. They just, oh, it's some bad weight loss diet. Right. That's what people think. Yeah. No, it's just a weight loss diet. But like my mom, I've tried to tell her several times, but she's in her 70s and she just, yeah, I know. I do better when I'm low carb. She just doesn't want to give it up. And in a way, I kind of get that. If I've lived 70 years and been eating mostly crap, you know, like at this point, why change? You know, I think in a way she's accepted. She knows she's not going to live. 10, 20, 30 years, so she's just like, well, why give it up now? I'll just enjoy it while I can. I mean, well, I mean, it's the truth. Yeah. Oh, Renee says, nitro is higher caffeine, and so it's uh, is faster absorbed caffeine. That's why she loves it. Oh, well, maybe that's why I love it. You're a little couple of drug addicts. <laughs> Renee says, I don't really want to bring anything because I won't eat anything. That is so true. Yeah. You know, why participate when you're like, why? So I could bring stuff for y'all? Right. Yeah, because nothing uh-huh. else you're going to have but yours. Yes. Remember, whenever that last company I was working with had pizza parties and stuff all the time, I had to bring my own lunch because they didn't have anything I could eat. Right. Yeah, Renee said, I'm not even tempted. And yeah. Steph said, anyone that has not read Dr. Barry's Life, my doctor told me, you need to get it. Oh, I think that's an awesome book. What's even book. better than the book is the audio book. <laughs> yeah, we listened to it on audio. We on that last free, trip, that's what we're doing. Yeah, we want a free... We uh, When he ever he released the Audible version, he had like several contests for free, and we ended up winning one. And I was like, oh, that's so great. The only thing I did not like about it is it wasn't Dr. Barry doing the reading. No. That would have been awesome. But it was still good reading. Yeah, and it was. Then, it was a good book. Yeah. I love it. And then we bought the book, too, and got him to sign it. we got to meet, meet him and Misha. Yeah. And Nurse Cindy. And Nurse Cindy, yeah. Yeah. 
They're and all, Terry. Yeah. And uh, Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rhonda said, because I'll have the grandkids and things are harder with them here. Not going off keto, but planning meals around them. Probably fast on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, why she can't do carnivore yet. Now, okay. I get that. Okay, you you know, you want to spoil your grandkids and spend time with them. I was thinking them. you make them the pancakes. You just eat all the bacon and sausage. <laughs> right? Uh, That's how I would do it. But And let's see. Steph said, we did 30 minutes. One mile treadmill and then one and a half hours or thereabout weight machines. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, but we Stephanie. did four hours of a live. <laughs> that's awesome, though. Good job, Stephanie. Yes, I'm proud of you. that's awesome. That's awesome. I'll do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Renee said, No, not just why I love nitro, nitro, but that's why they limit. Oh, I get it now. I guess it'd help if it went together. I obviously need my coffee and huh. my cup. Why are you laughing at me? Because you need it, huh? Yes. <laughs> Believe me, you want me to have coffee. Um, oh, that's why. Oh, I wonder. I don't know if Starbucks ever put some limit on it. But I'm sure that coffee place, their nitro is better. I like when we get the nitro from District Roasters. It's really good. And he does sell it in growlers. But I've never been there early enough to grab a growler. Linda said, I wonder about the nitro. It's been a long while since I had one, but I would. Yes. I Again? Sorry, y'all. It's popular. It's Robbie again. I hope he tunes into this. <laughs> Uh, CC Mama said, same here, Shelly. Watching my mother with lung disease and obesity is ramped in my, in my husband's family. Oh. That's why I'm on my son and husband. Well, that's good, CC Mama, to let him know. Isn't that, it, it is hard to watch, like, because I feel kind of bad, too, because my stepdad had a stroke. Now, look, my stepfather... Always been skinny his whole life. Yep. He's just a short, skinny guy. Yep. But yet, guess what? He has all kinds of um, heart issues and other things. But he's you skinny, know, what are they called skinny fat? Right, because he was always like, "Well, I always worked out." And it, it was funny. His like first wife was always um, overweight, and so everybody was like, "Oh, well, she was supposed to have died a long time ago because of some health issue." And they, but everybody thought, oh, but, you know, Louie's going to be fine because, look, he's skinny. But, you know, his wife was always overweight. Well, he grew up, like, on a dairy farm. And they just, you know, he was just like, oh, I've always just been skinny and a little whippersnapper. But he had a stroke. And he has lots of health, uh, heart issues and something else. I forget so all of his things. So I'm like, well... So, you weren't exactly healthy to have all of this stuff happen. You know, there's like a, you know, just because you didn't get fat doesn't mean that you're healthy. Right. And, um. Because what did the Dr. Perry, was it Dr. Perry who said it? That we were actually, we, the fat people are actually lucky because then you see something's wrong. Right. It's like, hey, your body's giving you like a warning. Hey. There's an it, issue here. There's an issue. Like, my brother, unfortunately, I know he never listened to me either because... Little Debbies. He is, like, the most hyper person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> like, so hyper. He bounces off the walls. He he can't sit. Like, you know, you see me. I sit here for hours. <laughs> he could not sit. Like, I'm surprised he even sleeps. But even when he sleeps, it's just for, like, a couple hours at a time. So, he's always going, but... His diet is, he drinks all of those energy drinks and the, uh, what is it, those uh, protein waters or whatever yeah. what were they called? I don't remember the name I'm, of it. I forget. Drinks those. He lives off of Little Debbie's, Little Snack Cakes, Little... And delivery food all the time. Delivery food, uh, whatever is quick and easy to go. That's all he'll eat and that's all he's ever eaten. Like, I remember growing up because I've always been overweight. Like, he'd sit there and he'd have a whole box of Little Debbies. I'm like, well, I can't have that because I'm on another diet. But he would constantly, that's all he's ever eaten. It's just pure junk. And I'm like, 
you know, he's getting to be 50. Oh, yeah, he'll be 50, I think, next year. Ish. <laughs> yeah, next year he'll be 50. And I'm like, I'm just kind of, like, concerned because what's going to happen now? And he's got three kids. Right. Everything's going to be catching up. I'm just afraid for him. But, you know, he's just like, well, why? I feel fine. Look at me. I'm skinny. And I'm like, well, that's not always a measure of health, being right. skinny. And because he's skinny, he never goes to the doctor. Like, never. Like, absolutely refuses to go to a doctor. Because he's like, what are they going to do? I'm skinny. I feel fine. Nothing's wrong with me. And I'm like, okay. But what can you do? You know, it's because who am I? That's what it is. It's like, well, who are you? You're just somebody. What do you know? And I'm starting to get a little worried, though. It's 1030 and he called me. He never does that. Oh. Should I call him back and see what's going on? Well, here, let's, we'll finish up. Okay, let's quickly finish. Renee said, I'm excited for the weekend because last week it was so full, I didn't get to make my weekend breakfast. Right? I can't wait to see what you have this weekend. Rhonda said, I'm also one of those Monday people. I start everything on Mondays. Right? <laughs> oh, Jerry's back. He said, y'all still up? We're waiting for you, man. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, uh, let's see. Well, that's here. awesome that they're checking in on us. That's cool. Thank you all. Jim said, hello, everyone. Checking in just before work. Have a good one, Jim. Yeah, be careful. Stephanie said, every time we go all Buffy, the guys are doing the free weights. <laughs> Uh, Shada said, all homework starts in 20 minutes. Client should be in bed by then or close to it. Awesome. We'll keep it down then, sling and sweet. What, uh, Renee said, that's why I like having weights at home. Need to buy kettlebells, but so expensive. Right? Maybe on offer up. Right? Steph said, my daddy always was in good shape, active, ate the best he thought he could, and died of a major heart attack. Well, that's that Dennis Leary joke about the famous jogger, Jim Fix. He said he died of a massive, he did a jogging book, a jogging video, and dropped out of a massive heart attack. When? When he was jogging. <laughs> Steph said, I have had, I have hand weights, kettlebell, and weight set bitch here at home. Well, why are you going to a gym if you have it all? Yeah. Rhonda said, I used to do kettlebell swings. Need to try those again. Right? Jerry said, we went out, had a great evening. I bought Patty the Apple Watch, and she's super happy. Oh, she's got nice. a new toy. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, Steph said, there's a, a lot more I want to try at the gym, but easing into it so I don't hurt myself. Right? We don't yeah, need you to do you. that. You don't want Jimmy uh, I learned for the first night. And Ronnie said, I remember you saying that about your age. That's why I assumed younger accountants remember numbers. Ah. Oh, what did I say about my age? I don't remember, I don't remember now. We so talked about so two. much. Sharing is caring. Uh -huh. uh, oh my goodness, with the jogger madness. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, like they say too, you know, I watch Law and Order. It's always the jogger. They either find the body or they are the body. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so Rhonda said, what you say? I hate it. Sir, accountant, banking officer at Yale. You know, what? <laughs> I think we missed that conversation. <laughs> Just that there's something about going to the gym. It keeps you motivated. I, I'm very motivated to you. not go to the gym. <laughs> I know. Uh, Renee said, I need 35 pounds and up kettlebells as they're so pricey, even on offer up. Ah. Jerry said, we did a walk around the mall. I run a half marathon 12 mile, 12 years ago. Wow. Now I get Wendy walking the mall. I need to get back into the groove. I'm probably right? going to catch a lot of grief over this, but I still, to this day, do not understand marathons. I know you get tired of hearing me say it, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. The first person who ever did it died. Why are y'all trying to replicate that? Why? People just like to move, and it's just I do a, too. a way to have a reason to move. Well, the jogger will always get away first when in a group. Oh, yeah? Huh? Except if I take my bat and break it <laughs> yeah, Why are you so violent? Dead. Why are you so violent? Because I just think of the walkie dead. That's what they did, remember? Oh. That's what Shane did to the guy. Well, here you go. Jeez. I just hate paying for She's a gym dangerous. when I have so much at home. I think that's my thing. I don't know. Me, personally, I just 
I prefer to do things at my home because I'm very self-conscious. Uh -huh. So I don't like people watching me. And I hate, I just absolutely hate having to drive to go somewhere uh -huh. and get it because then I'm just less likely to do it. If it's here at the house, then it's like, okay, I have no excuse. I'm here. I might as well do it. Uh -huh. But that's my mentality. I think you have to find what works for you and what motivates you because that's what's going to get you where you need to go. Um, oh, Cece Mama said, since the pandemic, I became more motivated working out at home in the garage. That's awesome. That is. Renee said, marathons and Ironmans are so fun, though, with the crowds. Okay. Because yeah. see, I'll you're all, you. like, encouraging each other. Let's go die together. Yay. <laughs> Uh, Linda said, I do enjoy walking trails also. I, I do too. Like, to me, if I want to go walking, I enjoy, like, sightseeing where I'm not like, okay, I got to hit this mark and get my, you know, pulse up to whatever. You know, if I just, I, I think when we do walking, like, we went to the Great Sands and stuff, you didn't notice, or Niagara Falls, we didn't notice that we had walked 10 miles that day because we were having so much fun just doing yeah. Cece Mama said she canceled her gym membership last year, right? Uh, Jerry says marathons are a challenge in your own endurance. If we never challenge ourselves, we never know what we can accomplish. Yeah, I do. I know I cannot die from doing a marathon. Like keto, if I just thought I can't do it, I wouldn't. And now I'm succeeding. Uh, okay. And then Renee said, I don't like all the judgy meatheads. I'm not judging. I'm trying to understand <laughs> how it doesn't make sense. That's judgy. No, it's not. Yes, it it's is. It's literally don't understand. I'm sorry, Renee. Uh, when, whenever we visit, you're welcome to just slap them. <laughs> no, what? You can't pawn off your violence on other people. You sure? Yes. I do not approve. Uh, Rhonda said, I do both. Hubby Home Gym, My She Shed Gym, and still have training classes, workouts. Oh, that's cool. Jim said, well, we have stuff here at home, but our fur babies cause it. Right? That's yes. true. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that they'll get, especially because, like, when I would work out with my bands at the house, Oh my gosh, the cats, they were like, what is this band? Let me just go ahead and grab it while you have it midway up. And, uh, yeah, so I had to, like, get the cats out of the room so that they wouldn't go after my bands. Steph said, I can't even do squats at the kitchen sink without Claude freaking out. Wow. Renee said, yeah, my pups get so hyped when I'm trying to do walking lunges and the cats go crazy when I... See? Renee said the cats go crazy when I use my bands. That's what they were doing with Because cats are evil. <sighs> They'll steal your breath while you're sleeping. I've seen the movies. They're not evil. They're just curious. And they're like, what is this that you're doing? Do I want to play with it too? That's exactly what Princess is thinking. Uh, and then uh, Renee, I mean Renee, and then Coco is just like, well, I want to be loved on since Princess is over here. I need to be over here, too. I don't know why, but I need to be. All right. Uh, Renee said, I wasn't calling Heat the judgy meathead. The dudes at the gym that throw weights and grunt and shout nonsense. Oh, okay. When you say meatheads, I was just thinking you thought carnivore. Yeah, see, I think that was my problem with the gyms is I, I just felt like, because especially since I've always been such a big person, that they're just like, oh, look, here she, look, she can't even walk on a treadmill, or ha, 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 is she going to do it? Or, yeah, she won't last. I don't know. It's just inner speaking, and I didn't like, I just didn't like being there in front of everybody. It wasn't, it didn't motivate me, because I was just like, oh, they're just going to be, you know, yeah. snickering behind my back. Or I was always scared of, well, what if I bend and my pants split or, huh. you know, things like that. I don't know. All well, how many times things. we were swimming and I was always afraid of my shorts yeah, falling off. Yeah, right. And so, you, you know, I was just like, well, I don't want to go and that kind of stuff happen. Um, oh, Rhonda said, I hate the band so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Rhonda. 
Actually, that's my favorite. They're the bands. Renee said, cats are heathens. Yes. Uh, Steph said, I don't know why the babies can't just go on and mind their own business and we work out at home. Not like we're making them work out. It's because they want to be involved. And instead of you playing with them, you're playing with these bands and weights. Uh, kennel. Gail says, cats are bed thieves. At least mine is. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, that's what one thing. Our cats, you know, because now with the house being under everything, uh, I'll just go in our bedroom because we never really let them in our bedroom before. And the uh, princess, we have kind of a tall bed. She's up in the middle of the bed just like chilling there. And I'll come in there and I'll turn the light on and she just, she'll look at me like, oh, I was sleeping. Do you mind? Turn that <laughs> light off. I know that's what she's thinking, but she's all like squinting her eyes at me and like, Grunting at you. Yeah, she's giving me that dirty look. Like, Thanks. How dare you? Okay. Uh, Jim said, okay, folks, y'all have a good one, but got to burn the midnight oil. Catch y'all night. tomorrow. Good Thank night. You. And Renee said, I feel you, Shelly, because I don't know what to do with all the weights or what if I lift something to get stuck and need help. Right? Yeah. That's why the bands are perfect. Yeah, I do like the bands. I really enjoy doing that workout all the time. It did make me feel a little stronger. Um, well, why'd you stop? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's just what it That's is. My wife. I'm, I'm lazy. I I enjoy just sitting and relaxing. I think part of it is just, you know, when the job got so busy yeah. and hectic last year, I just, it was just too stressed. Right. Steph says, shoot, we are. We were leaving the other day, and this man about 80 years old with a walkie cane came in, got on a treadmill. I didn't laugh. I actually wanted to cheer for him. Well, that's because you're a good person, Stephanie. I'm, I'm not, and I know a lot of other people that aren't good people that are like, oh, look at her. Look at that fat so over there. I know what, that's what they're thinking. Uh, Renee said, especially my jump rope as bands, even my foam roller, I have to hide because heathen gatos will shred them. Right? Jerry said, did you see the movie Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks? From so. now on, we live in a world where man has walked on the moon, and it's not a miracle. We just decided to go. Jim Lavelle. Challenges and goal setting. That's true. I think you're, but you're not a person that is into challenges. No, I'm not. Yeah, of any kind, I'm saying. Well, sometimes. Okay, what's a challenge that you enjoyed? Poker. Okay. Especially tournaments. So, that's just... That well, I can do of, that sitting right here. <laughs> but I'm saying that kind of mentality yeah. that you had for poker of, you know, becoming better and beating people, that's the same thought process yes. when people do running and walking. You can do that kind of stuff. But I'm saying is, why are you trying to replicate something that somebody... Died doing. Well, I guess because it's like, well, that person died, but look, I see. did it and I didn't. Uh, okay. Well. Well, he drove 500 miles into a wall and didn't die. Let me see if I can do it too. It's the same mentality. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. <sighs> yes, it is. All right. That's like saying, well, you just keep, like, like when people say uh, drinking alcohol or uh, uh, an acquired taste. I was like, well, that kind of thinking is, let me hit myself in the hand with a hammer until it feels good. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, wow. Gail's cat is also 15 years. She was feral along with her brother who died when he was four. Oh, oh wow. Our, my cats are 15 as well. Jerry said, Delilah's story is hilarious. And Renee said, wait till you hear Heath snore. <laughs> no. Uh, All right. right, let's. We need to end this. I got to make a phone call. Now I'm kind of worried. I'm not. I know it's just somebody who's been drinking. <laughs> oh, I'll call Heath. He's not doing anything. Yeah, but I haven't talked to him in like probably three, four months. Oh, CC Mama said, I've never heard Delilah's story. Really? Let's be oh, real quiet. Shh. Do you hear it now? How many people got shot or knocked off for poker deals gone bad? None that I know of. But throughout history, we even uh, went to Wild Bill and saw where he got shot and killed. 
That's because that was a dude was an idiot. Not Wild Bill was the other guy. Wait. Yeah, but people have gotten uh, fucking died in car wrecks for not stopping from driving cars though. You you're saying in your poker games you never met an idiot. Well, all of them have that. We call them donators. I like them people. That's how I made money. Yeah. That's but, how I was a professional for four years. I, because of people like them. But I'm saying, there's some. And you were never like, oh, this person might haul off and shoot one of us. No, never like. I never had that before. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because I remember some of the poker games I went to, I'm like, hmm, that guy's a little questionable. Yeah, but I think you're just not trusting in general, though. It's, probably, it's a good thing, though. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm a little too trusting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, what was it? Somebody came and knocked on the door and was like, who lives here? You're like, Shelly Heber? <laughs> Remember? No, I don't. Somebody came to the door. They're like, oh, we're doing a survey. Who's the owner of the house? And you're like, oh, Shelly Park or whatever the name you gave him. I don't remember. You gave him my name. And he was like, okay, thanks. And he left. And then you're like, something weird happened. Somebody called, came to the door just asking who owned the house. And I told them your name. And then they left. And I was like, you told a complete stranger that you didn't know my name? I don't remember this. <sighs> I know, dear, but that is the truth. Okay. Uh, oh, Rhonda said, okay, Cece Mama heard it. Rhonda was like, I was wondering what that was. That's her dog. My Cece Mama said, I have you on the big screen, by the way, Heath the Chili. Oh, Good. no. Uh, Renee, stars. <laughs> Renee said, not as many folks truly die running unless they're in a movie or TV nonsense drama. Okay. See? Most okay. people who run are okay. Okay. Other than the one she told us about that went running off and finished the race and then collapsed and died. Right. Steph said, have a good night. Good night, Stephanie. Good night. And we need to go to, so we're going to say good night. Uh-huh. Good night. Thank you all for watching. We'll see yes, you next week. Yes, thank we'll, you all so much. It we'll was go, another we'll fun see, evening. We'll see if we can go five, and six hours. And we're not going to listen to that. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Good night, y'all. Have night. a great weekend. Thank you. Great week. We'll see you next Friday. What's that cancel? To stop.